Hey everybody, welcome back. How's it going? Um, you're on break from work, Green Mist. Perfect timing. That's cool, dude. I hope your break is going well. Nuggies. Oh boy. Imagine you could actually have nuggies in this game. You'd probably win. It'd be too easy. Uh, unfortunately, your break has ended. Squelch. Uh, goodbye, friends, and happy new year. Happy new year to you as well, man. Thank you for uh, saying hi for a little bit. That's cool. This is me playing all the instruments in the background. I'm not sure if I could uh, <laughs> play all the instruments in that song, but maybe though. Actually, it's funny though because that that uh that artist actually is just one person, so technically he was playing all the instruments. <laughs> just have to pre just have to pretend it was me now. Time to cut the front. Yeah, I gotta get a haircut, dude. I literally. Oh man, I should have done that today as well. Uh, Caprian, what's up? Have a good New Year. Uh, Green mess is pretty good. Uh, how about you? Playing on playing Bloodborne PS1 D-Make. Uh, if if it's possible to play it on PC, yeah, we were talking about that, actually. Because it, it said it's on PSX, which is not actually something that's easy to get, is it? Isn't, isn't PSX actually a console? Or is that a joke? I don't know. Uh, Bud, thank you for the 15 months. Welcome back. Alright, so we just got the Cold Sword Fragment. We killed Champion Gundir. Um... Who was actually champion Gundir? And then I still have not gone to Yorm, so I'm gonna go to Yorm. We will just continue. Uh, so for anyone that hasn't seen this mod before, if you just tuned in today and you didn't see the other two uh, parts of the playthrough last couple days, uh, any questions, just let me know. I'll explain everything that I possibly can. Uh, and then there will be a full edited video of just one part through the whole entire thing, uh, if you want to rewatch it. And... Where am I going? Let's see. Distant Manor. There is no Distant Manor, so that would mean... Uh... Dude, this is confusing. Dark Moon Tomb. No, it wouldn't be Dark Moon Tomb. It would be... The church? Would it be the church? Hmm. You know, it's actually crazy. The quickest way to get to Yorm would be going from Pontiff Sullivan Bonfire backwards. Technically. That's pretty crazy, actually. <laughs> uh, how did I get my name? I just made it for my first PSN account. Um, there was no cool story, unfortunately. But it wasn't taken, so I got it. And then I've just reused it. Man, this looks so good, dude. Look at that. Look at that stained glass. Any new bosses so far? Yeah, there is actually uh well, you know what? Actually, wait a second. Before we even do anything else, let me show you. There is one that is really cool. Um, I wouldn't say it's new overall in terms of all of the games, but it's kind of like a like a throwback sort of thing. Um, but done better than it originally was. Happy New Year. But yeah, for anyone that hasn't seen, uh, there is there's one actual boss we can't really do a lot of damage against. I guess it's pretty hard. Um, and then, yeah, the boss that replaced Pontiff was better than Pontiff, in my opinion. You've eaten 15 jalapeno poppers today. You're lactose intolerant. Thought you'd start off the, the year with a bang. That's a legitimate bang. Yeah, that's crazy, man. <laughs> Dude, we need to get sponsored by Lactaid so I can give uh, Mighty some uh, some free medicine. Also, Sleepy, thank you for the, the bits, dude. I appreciate it. Happy New Year. Congrats on defeating not Pontiff. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, it's like Dark Souls bosses, but Bloodborne items and skills. So basically, the entire game has been reworked in some way, shape, or form. So every single thing about the game, every category um, that kind of governs the game has been changed in some way. So uh, there's different mechanics, uh, different weapons from every single game that they've made before that are brought back here. Completely new ideas that have never been done before. Ideas that were brought back, like this one, for example, from Demon Souls, but done better. So this is a Demon Souls boss. But actually, in a way, gameplay-wise, it's actually more fun. That attack is crazy still. I'm a little bit stronger, though, on this one.
Oh yeah, I'm definitely way stronger on this now. We might actually be able to win. some damage. I love the music for this, too. This is so cool, dude. It's like, it, it very much uh, reminds you of False King, but it's like even better, man. It's got some of the elements of that original soundtrack. In it. I think it's a completely different song. I don't know if it was meant to be made for this. I think it was just re re reused for something, but it sounds perfect, though. It's, it's a nice fit. I don't know what that was. Some extra wind there. Probably dead. Oh, what, what was that? Oh, yo, Ember. Ember. Can I? No, I can't. Can't Ember, can't heal. Uh oh. That's pretty cool. I like that moveset. So he's got some of the um, Pontiff moveset that hasn't been used in phase one yet that gets used in phase two, like that little spin. I don't think I saw that in the first part. And that got me. That one's really hard to dodge. Uh, Mani, what's up? How's it going? Fleshy guacamole. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Welcome. Uh, does this mod have any Bloodborne bosses? No, not that I've seen yet. Um, the whole point really isn't to make the game Bloodborne, it's mainly just incorporate elements of the game to make it feel like a combination of the two games. So I don't think that they actually put Bloodborne bosses in the game, at least that I know of, so. Um, but they made uh, some new stuff too, like this, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna wait actually and come back here, try to do Yarm first. Big improvement, that was a huge, huge improvement, like that was uh, the, the closest we've ever gotten before, it was like probably halfway or a little bit less than halfway. Uh, so, I'm trying to think if I go from there, it's going to take longer, I think. Because it's a little bit, yeah, it's like basically the same thing, this bonfire and that bonfire. I'm just going to do this one. Uh, ben, what's up, dude? Do I remember you? I do. You're Ben, dude. Who hasn't seen Ben 10? Unless you're going to, like, crush my dreams and tell me you're not Ben 10, then I'm going to be really disappointed. You better be the real Ben. <laughs> is this a blind run of the mod? Yeah, I've never actually uh, I've never seen uh, the mod beforehand other than just maybe like a couple minutes of gameplay. So pretty much everything I'm doing right now is uh, is new. Also, again, I have to say this. I think is this is the best looking mod there is on the game that's not even trying to actually be a visual mod in the first place. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like complementary to the idea, but not the focus, and it just becomes better than mods that are the focus of just visually being better, right? Uh, Frixian, thank you for gifting Clumsy a sub. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your melts, Clumsy. Looks glorious. It's really cool, yeah. And then out here, I, maybe I could show you guys what I was talking about before. Oh, I don't know. I guess I need another bonfire that's closer to the beginning of this area, because you can actually change the lighting but with a statue. As a feature of the like the storyline, you can pray at the statue and then like make the sunrise versus uh, the moon. So if you wanted Irithyll to look different, you have two different choices, which is pretty cool.
minor flesh wound, man. Just like that giant arrow in the in the shoulder. <laughs> uh, Mark, what's up? How's it going? I got one in the foot too. One in the heel or the like. That's like oh, that's that would really hurt, dude. The calf muscle there. That would suck. Am I excited for Elden Ring? I'm very excited for Elden Ring. I played it and it is good. Ah, uh, that's not gonna be good. Speaking of good things. Oh, you know what, actually? I don't know if I can cure toxicity right now. Can boost resistances. I can't really cure it though. That's not good. It's gonna last a long time, dude. I might die. Um, what can I do here? I can ember. But the ember does not solve the problem. Oh man. Is this going on YouTube? It will be, yeah. Also, they replaced all the Pontiff Knights with Ruined Sentinels. So there's some DS2 enemies right here. Or, uh, I guess. He played the uh, the Rune Sentinels boss fight. Make it to the bonfire. There is no bonfire here though anymore, so that's the that's the issue, man. I don't know where the next one is. I definitely have enough health to survive, but barely though. I can't really get hit now. When does Elden Ring come out? Ah, uh, it's in February. I think it's the 22nd or the 23rd of February. These things are ripped right out of Bloodborne anyway. Uh, should be added to your inventory? That'd be amazing. Find Elden Ring similar to any specific Souls title? Uh, no, it wasn't really similar to anything, actually. It was very it was very uh, individual to itself, but then it does use some animations that they've used in other games, so you, you get, like... A sense of familiarity with it but then it also still kicks your ass so it's kind of like you want it to be the same but it's actually kind of not but then it also has that um nostalgia too if like it feels nostalgic with with also being new it's kind of weird what is going on here no i didn't want to fall oh this is really bad now Well, at least we got all our stuff back. The roll felt like DS3. The roll definitely does feel like DS3. I will say that. They probably reused the same animation for it. Or very similar um, properties. Which I think would be a good idea. Because the roll in this game is probably the best they've done it. Because it's not too overpowered. But it's also nice in terms of how you recover. And then the travel distance based on those different uh, breakpoints of equip load. So I think they actually did it the best in this one. I hate the dungeon, so I'm not going to try to spend too much time here. Might do that on another playthrough. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be scary. Are there still Homeward Bones here? Or Hunter's Marks? Nice. How did the jumping feel? Like Sekiro or something else? Uh, no, the jumping is completely different than uh, than Sekiro. It's uh, it's very... The, the jumping, you can tell, is like something they just made for that game. Definitely not reused or anything. Oh, did they block this? Yo, they blocked that way. Or wait, this way though. Hey, Squilla just found your YouTube channel. Oh, so they made you go Christmas. to the giant. Been binge watching all your D series videos. Thanks for the nice runs. Funny guy, I'm gonna stay. Giant's like, I do not get interrupted by any magic. I'm too strong. <laughs> <laughs> he literally can't be defeated by anything I do. That's hilarious, man. It, it, it didn't even stagger him once. I, I thought that that was going to be my uh, safe way to escape there with the magic. Oh, this guy again, dude? These guys are hard, actually. I almost killed one, and then uh, I was like, screw this. And there's too many rats, too. Let's just escape here. Let's try to find another bonfire. <laughs> When's your next guitar video if you're doing one? I don't know, man. I don't have plans for any guitar videos. Uh, music for me is just kind of like, do it when you feel like it. 
uh, whatever's fun until it's not fun, and then uh, take a break and repeat. It's pretty much the process. It's nothing serious anymore. Uh, Path of the Dragon, I have it. Nice. Wait, let's actually get the shortcut too. Yo, this is uh, this is uh, Hazel, I think. Or um, no, it's actually Xanthus King. That is Xanthus King, actually. Pyromancy. Yeah, there will there will be more music related stuff. I just can't tell you exactly uh, what, when, and all that. I have many, many ideas, many things I've uh, planned to make videos for, but I can't say that they will be any more because I change my mind very quickly about that kind of stuff. If you give me like 24 hours extra for an idea, I usually will completely change the uh, the perspective on it. So there was one thing I was going to do and I thought about it. I'm like, eh, I could probably do it a bit of a better way. So I should wait until uh, I have it in that fashion to present it. Also gotta start doing TikTok for music too, because TikTok, like, it's kind of a waste doing music and not also incorporating, like, either Instagram or TikTok. If you're trying to do it for, like, content. Because it's so easy to grow on that compared to YouTube music. And then it keeps it separate from, you know, always having to be on there too. Does Path of the Dragon not work anymore? Oh my god, I just barely escaped. Insane. Um... Also, uh, Frixian, thank you so much for the bits, dude. I uh, found your YouTube channel before Christmas. Been binge-watching all of the DS series videos. Thank you for the nice runs. Funny guy, you're going to stay around. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Also, the charity command, I think you have to use it by itself. Um, for anyone that didn't know, we're actually we're raising money for uh, sick kids through St. Jude Play Live, which is a huge campaign that a lot of people on this platform use to raise money for um, children that have uh, chronic illnesses in the miracle network hospitals and all that that they have. I think they're they're based mainly out of the US. We raise money for like similar ones over here too, particularly Extra Life, but uh, that's gonna be a link that's there until next week. And we've raised uh, 1740 and then I'm gonna be putting 1740 in myself. So double that number, that's where we're at right now. Um, that's already insane, but I mean, hey, you know what? I'll, I'll leave it for a handful more days and we'll see if we can, uh, do even better. And thank you for everyone that contributed to it. You play jazz baritone sax. That's pretty cool, man. Saxophone is, is really, really nice, but... I wasn't able to play it when I was uh, in school. I wanted to. I didn't get to, I didn't get to choose that instrument, though. I had to play the, uh, the baritone, unfortunately. That was underwhelmingly fine. <laughs> I thought that was gonna go wrong. <laughs> also, Arch Dragon Peak looks amazing, dude, with all the color and everything now. Cause they kind of went with the same sort of uh, lighting situation, very similar, but just made the contrast and like the little details on the ground better. It's like grass is a lot greener and everything. Also like the, the color that they did for the blood, it looks way better when you're in like an area that's mostly the same kind of color scheme. down here. I need to find a bonfire, actually. That would be really good. You know what? Actually, I never knew that you could go around this way. Or at least I I don't usually do that, so that's pretty interesting. <laughs> oh, there's another one of these guys. I'm just gonna sit here and try to hit you, but I can't. But I'm gonna still try. And I keep trying. One day, I will backstab you. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. It'll happen. Just give me one more second. Just gotta keep trying. Just almost there, man. Just rotate a little bit to the right. Just come on. Just, yep. Nope. Can't do it. Still trying. Oh, man. There we go. <laughs> He's just like, dude, that was pretty crazy. I hope this one doesn't uh, actually help you. And then I'm killing him for no reason. He's not really attacking me. Let strength be grant so the world might be mended. Still trying. So the world Come on. might be mended. <laughs> that's hilarious. It lets you miss the backstab that many times. I guess that's what happens when the uh, the enemies are uh, 
still enemies, but they're not moving. <laughs> ah, fire any fireworks on New Year's Eve. I'm not a fireworks fan, unfortunately, Henge. Like, it's cool to watch them, but I, I wouldn't spend money on them, personally. Um, but, uh... Hey, it was still, it was still a pretty good day, though. How was your New Year's? Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Also, nod now. Thank you for the uh, two years. Welcome back. Oh my god, this move set here. Got some uh, some Sekiro vibes coming in. The drunken sword fighter Dragon Man. On ice skates. The production. Dude, he's about to die too. What's going on here? Oh, they can reach so far! I hope I restart at this uh, this area. That'd be really nice. Uh, wait, one second, I'll be right back, by the way, guys. Give me one moment. Okay, I think I died. Did I die from standing still? I did. Oh no. That's not good. Infinite death loop? Are we in death loop? Is the actual death loop game supposed to be me responding in Arch Dragon B? That's not good. Getting farmed? <laughs> Did you get me twice, really? Well, you know what? A bit better than a BRB screen. Maybe not better than the meme videos, but. I think a death loop of this dude is probably cooler than just uh, music. Awesome. Uh, there's a video on Twitter, not sure if it's a consistent thing, but Storm Ruler is used to knock down Nameless. Like, in the regular game it is, really? Also, uh, Bola, what's up? How's it going, man? That's a sad-looking clown. Past the bonfire, did I? Is it right at the beginning? To the left. So you mean, like, this the original time I went through here, right? Under the cliff, wait. There's an under to this cliff? I think that <laughs> I might be missing some basic areas of this, actually. Not this cliff, okay, so you mean like further ahead then, okay. Uh, did I beat Fat Pontiff? I don't think there was a Fat Pontiff. Oh, you mean you mean uh, Age Dragon Slayer, right? We did, man. It was actually pretty simple once uh, I practiced it, <laughs> and then uh, after learning it, used the poison, but I'm actually kind of glad we didn't try to use it first, because I've only found two poison resins in the entire uh, game so far. And I don't think I can buy it yet. So we basically have two chances to do that method. 
And the first time I think I used it, I think we won. Because I accidentally used both of them, so. Definitely was worth it. Oh, we got a Divine Herb, nice. Uh, in the regular game, people saying it's a discovered thing, but not sure if it's 100% consistent. That sounds really cool, man. That's That, that would be a really big discovery if um, it's consistent. Uh, considering I don't think that was uh, an idea I've heard of before. <laughs> so, also, it just doesn't really seem like it would make any sense, right? So it's pretty cool. I wonder if I could parry this dude. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what moveset this is. It's kind of like, um, kind of like Emma's moveset, isn't it? No. Did I kill the Pontiff replacement, dude? I have, yeah. We, we only have, um, Arch Dragon Peak, uh, Yorm, Princess Cinder, and DLC. And then everything's done. This guy just doesn't stagger though, this is really crazy man. The one with the axe I believe is actually the easiest. Oh wait, there's oh there's a bonfire right here, okay. That's a crazy place to put it with all these enemies. Yeah. Storm King getting rolled, I didn't uh didn't quite beat Storm King yet, but we got pretty close though. What I think of Mortal Shell. Mortal Shell is really good, man. I would say it would be my favorite Souls-like if it was longer. Um, but from what I understand, the company was trying to uh, just kind of do a test run for their uh, their game and then try to build an actual full game off of that idea. So it's more of a test run than I think it really was uh, a final product from them. At least from what I've uh, talked to them about and what I've heard. Uh, but they're pretty cool people, though. I really actually, I like the devs. Uh, they're very nice. They sent me some pretty nice uh, words of encouragement, and apparently they watch the stream, so I'm excited to play their next game. Code Bane. Code Bane is my favorite Souls-like, but it's it's just, like, much bigger overall, so I think with the um, the budget and the team, kind of just wins based on uh, the the scale of it. But if, if Mortal Shell is bigger, I think it'd be my favorite. For those forgotten penetrator. Oh man, he's so fast. So they they listen to what I said about Demon Souls penetrator being too slow. Nice. It can be parried though. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about the parry. Nice. Have I played the DLC for it? I haven't played the DLC for Mortal Shell. I heard it was just a, like, there's another character that you could use. Also, Guava, what's up? How's it going, man? Mr. 5K, thank you so much for the four months. Welcome back, dude. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this concoction over here? What is going on?
Okay, I want to try to get this other uh, jailer type dude, but I don't know if I want to go for it when he's beside the big guy. Oh, he came back. Nice. Uh, do enemies drop blood vials like in Bloodborne? So the blood vials aren't consumable. Um, they do replenish, kind of like Estus, but just has a different animation, a uh, different amount of health that it heals. And, uh... Yeah, it's basically just like Estus, but harder to use. Because, uh... It doesn't do as much. Is this actually DS3? It is, yeah. That's that's cool that you uh, didn't believe it was, though, or you were, you were even questioning it, because that means they did a good job. the double sword dude. <laughs> yeah, fall off. <laughs> oh, he's gonna have the, yeah, the pillars of light. Oh man, that's ridiculous. Very strong. I don't think I do. Try using this. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Damn. According to my sister's kid, your name is now Chase. My name is now Chase. Okay, I'll take that, dude. Chase is a pretty cool name. Although, you're gonna have to, uh... Assign me a, uh, a second name, too, because I don't want to get confused with uh, Chase the Bro. <laughs> don't want to be taking his PvP fame from him, you know? I don't think I'm that good at PvP. Oh, I wish you could, like, jump off this. That'd be cool. Oh, there we go. I think gave 20k, but it didn't drop anything. Um, but thank you again, though, for the, the bits, dude. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, also 12. Happy New Year's. What's up? Uh, you were tighter of DS3, but this looks like a whole new game. It's it's pretty much a reworking. There's a lot of things that are changing it. Uh, Green Mist. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your day as well. Good luck. Wyvern has to be Wyvern. Wyvern is a uh, penetrator, apparently. I've seen Arch Thrones mod. I've never heard of that before. Is that cool? Did it just come out? Have poise on this. If I didn't have poise on this fight, this would be a little silly. So he doesn't stagger too much.
<laughs> I actually had red tear stone. I was going to use it. Oh, man. Kind of looks like the Elden Ring character. The uh, armor that I started with actually is from Elden Ring, apparently. Or at least the uh, the helmet is. I think it's the tarnished helmet, so... Yeah, actually, this is uh, Elden Ring, technically. And then the sword is from Elden Ring as well. But it has a Sekiro weapon or... Or the uh, Mortal Draw, basically. Amdoff, it's going pretty good. How are you, man? Uh, also, Jason, Happy New Year's. What's up? Anyone have a video explains how to install mods on DS? You're new to PC. Uh, it's it's different for every single mod. It really depends, man. There's instructions when you download a mod uh, that it gives you on the web page. So just pay attention to the instructions. And I can't really say there's anything too complicated. You just might have some issues that are really weird once in a while with something. Um, but for this, is it's very basic, man. You, you literally just put the um, the files in the game directory. That's a it's like one of the easiest ones. But it tells you pretty much on every single mod page I've ever used. Let be granted, so, the so you should always have your instructions ended. given to you with the uh, download. So the and then if you don't find them, you can go into the README and just see if the README has any uh, information. But yeah, I wouldn't say that like typically videos for installs of the mods, like this one at least, would matter too much. Maybe if you're trying to do like um like a, cu a couple different things at once in combination that conflict with each other, then it gets complicated. If it's just one thing, though, it's pretty easy. The fact he can block is actually pretty cool. I like that. Seems like I only get one really good free hit when he buffs. Then letting him buff might be a disadvantage too. But yeah, like so the recovery from uh, that overhead attack, you can't punish it. You have to punish the two, but then if he does a punch or another backhand, you can't avoid the hit there. So you really, the only safe uh, opportunity is literally the buff so far. Or a block and then get like partial damage, right? Which is pretty crazy. So we can use that a little bit. That'll work. Arch Gina, thank you for the 21 months. Welcome back. Uh, doing okay. Excited for Ots to coach you on DVD. Do you know when you guys are doing that? Um, so I told him any day that is between now and the 5th and after the 5th is a good day to start it. So he wanted to start after the 5th. Um, and then we'll probably do like half of the week is just that for the first bit, just to like really get into it. And I probably will do some full streams of it as well. And then um, once I get situated, I think we'll just split it up. But, uh, yeah, so any time after the 5th, whenever he, he wants to, it should be fine. Is he parryable? I haven't been able to yet, but it could have just been because I didn't time it right. It's it's, it's kind of hard, though, because his, uh, his attacks are fast. So, um, reading them and then actually getting the parry is a little bit harder. But, I can use the magic. I should have, uh, should have got more Ashen Flasks. That would have been better. So on the next one, I'm going to do that. Also farming quite a bit, just going into the fog gate, like eighty-four thousand. Unless that was from before the fight.
Okay, that, that uppercut is also punishable, I believe. So punishable. So there's like, there's like two to three opportunities that are actually safe, and then everything else is a uh, risk right here. This one's good. This one's good. but he actually covers a lot of distance, so it kind of traps you. Nice, nice. Oh, Arvinek, I'm doing pretty good. How are you, man? This boss would fit perfectly in Bloodborne. There's a lot of things in this that'd be really nice in Bloodborne. But just imagine you can't use mechanics like limb breaking or um, you know other things to your advantage. It's, it's pretty crazy. Okay, we're going to go back, get one more of the vials, and then transfer over a few of them to the Ashen Estus. He needs uh, aura-like Dragon Ball character, because he might might as well be one with the speed. The speed is crazy, yeah. Insane speed. So much blood. They they added a lot more to the, um, the mechanics of how the blood works, so... I think the color is different, and then they just made more of it. But it looks nice, though, like I said, in some of the settings, like, because of the way the lighting is, it makes it look really cool. Okay, I'm going to try to use uh, three of the Ashen Flasks. Fire resin would even be good on that. Uh, I'm gonna try the dark moon resin. Use a bunch of that one. Some arcane mechanics re replacing Mikolash. Oh, that would be impossible, man. I don't think that people would like Bloodborne if this was an actual boss. <laughs> it wouldn't. It wouldn't be playable for the average person for sure. Like, there's a lot of problems with the way that the. Um, the requirements are to actually succeed, especially on like a basis of doing it perfectly. It's just a little too, uh, little too campy, um, a little bit passive for some people. Because like I think they would want to get in, even with Rally too. Like he's just hitting you so many times in like five seconds that you can die immediately if you don't pay attention, right? So I think if it was actually a thing, it'd be kind of annoying. But like for someone that already played the game and is like, you know, wanting something that's like more challenging, it's that's perfect. Oh, I didn't cast that the right way. Yeah, his running uh, stab too, he actually can outspace you quite a bit. It's interesting. I didn't want to chit chuck two of those. No, wrong vial.
Nice. GG. Look at that blood. <laughs> the soul dropped out of his head, or the item. Penetrating sword. Nice, man. wonder what the weapon art is on this one. Uh, Grim Sage, what's up? How's it going? Cheese? That was cheesy, yeah, for sure. Backstep give iframes, or is it just spacing? Uh, the backstep in this, uh, I don't think they changed that. Because uh, in Bloodborne, the backstep never actually has iframes. It's only in DS2 if you have uh, 24 ADP at least, I believe. Or 90, 99 agility. No, is it 100 agility? It's like 100 to 105, I think, that's uh, iframe backsteps. Ninety-nine is like the required amount to be on par with the other games, and then like yeah, I think one hundred to one hundred five is is the iframes. Um, dude, we got a lot of souls for that. That's crazy. Let's level up. Eating an apple would be better for health than those blood vials. They don't add much HP. They don't. No, that's the thing. So basically, it's the same mechanic as Estus with uh, replenishment. Like you get them all the time every time you go back to the bonfire. Uh, but they're a lot worse, though. Can you see the Penetrator Sword? Yeah, I'm going to check that out in a second. I just want to see what the stat requirements are. Uh, so I need more of the... Intelligence for that one. Uh, hmm. I wonder if that would actually boost the casting I have right here for this, uh, this spell. To Lothric. See the penetrator sword. Ooh, I like the move set on it. It's cool. I did not. I didn't expect it to be like that. It's really interesting. You get the thrust attack too. You get the running attack for it. The weapon arts like a running attack. That's a spin. Okay, I don't know if you actually get a weapon art with this one, or it's because I don't meet requirements. One of the two. It's either a spin, or you just... I don't meet requirements, so I can't use the weapon art. I don't think it's like a sword stance of any sort. New Year's resolution streaming-wise? I don't really make resolutions, to be honest, man. I kind of just do what I do. I, I don't like to think too much about uh, things that haven't happened yet, so... <laughs> that's, uh, that's a curse, I think, in my opinion, so... Uh, I think I'll just do stuff that is important, but I can't really say how it's going to happen. Uh, it's just going to happen. Do stuff that I find in enjoyable and important and provides value to you guys, as per usual. Um, one thing I've noticed with streaming is when you start to get too complicated with the thought process and planning, you actually end up doing worse than you already were doing because uh, you need to really just capitalize on what already works and then... Um, find out how to do those things better rather than doing different things. So I think the different thing is actually a problem <laughs> for a lot of people. And it ends up uh, actually making the the common case of like how they, you can't really get your content off the ground because you, you're just trying so many different things or thinking of so many different ways of trying to transform something that already can be very simple. So I think being really simple with it is, is going to be important to continue doing for sure. But there's a lot of good stuff we've already done, so I'm just going to keep uh, paying attention to what works. And then what you guys like as well. Okay, I'm going to keep the three Ashen Estes and see if that helps us a bit. Um, Alright, here we go. Cool. Best answer possible? Not even really, just... There's, no, there's nothing to complicate other than just let's just keep doing the stuff that works well, do it better, and... Uh, when things come out, they give us opportunities to do different things because they exist, then we do them, and when they don't, we continue to do what works for that time being. Short term, though, it'd be cool to end up actually successfully becoming good at DVD, so hopefully Ots uh, helps quite a bit with that, and his teachings are uh, are accurate. I think, he's, I think he's a good teacher. He's a really smart dude, so I think we'll end up doing something cool with that idea, but... 
Um, be nice if that ended up being really, really good, and then I end up being pretty decent at it. Uh, when will you start hitless runs again? So I'm not actually doing hitless runs right now. Uh, I was doing a damageless marathon, if that's what you're talking about. Uh, that will be when this is done. And when this dude doesn't kill me in one hit. <laughs> that was crazy. So that's the best answer. It's an answer based on the current situation instead of looking needlessly forward. Yeah, it's, it's easy to do that if you make content for sure. The people that do the best don't actually do anything too crazy. They just continuously do things. And then they uh, think about it after. So I think thinking about it too much before is uh, the problem. That fire is so scary. Imagine thinking it all, I know, right? Imagine the brain working. Uh, also, uh, Maholdus, how was your uh, New Year's, man? Welcome. I bet you that NPC is probably really strong, too. Unfairly strong, on top of the fact he does crazy damage. His health is probably like a million. I wonder what they did to Nameless, because I feel like Nameless is so good that it's something you, you gotta leave as is or not change too much. So I wonder if he's replaced or he's moved or what's, what's going on. He comboed, he comboed me like nothing, that was insane, yeah. Really wish you fought Ornstein again in Dragon Peak, the, the lure would hit different. The lore? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I agree with that. It'd be the perfect opportunity. If you're going to put ONS in this game, you get one chance in uh, in Orlando, and then you could probably just put Ornstein in this area, and that would be accurate to the actual story, too, like the base story. I haven't seen anybody do that yet, though. Can improve Nameless by changing or removing first phase. That's true. I think I think a lot of the, uh, the changes would be better in the first part, like you said. The second part's really good already. Uh, I don't know if anyone can help, but my Discord doesn't show up under connections, Doff. Just send me a uh, message saying Discord uh, invite, and I'll send you a link that expires in seven days. So as long as you use it within the week, then uh, I should be fine. And then just confirm with me that it worked, and that will probably be the easiest way, because sometimes it doesn't sync with the connections properly. So about like 50% of the time it doesn't work. I've heard a lot of other people have that issue too. Phase one, still the same. Easy. What's my Discord tag? I actually have no idea. Um, you just need to message me on uh, like a whisper message on on um, like Twitch, and then uh, I will get the the invite request, and then I can send you the link through here. Like if you just send me a private message on here or a direct message. I don't I don't know what my actual uh, tag or the ID is off the bat, like the numbers and everything. thought you meant discord dm oh sorry no my bad um the easiest would be the whisper messages just because you can do it right here um and then if that didn't work i guess like twitter or instagram would be fine oh that's definitely uh that's definitely uh hitting different okay 
Yes, yeah. Interesting. It's a lot of lightning, dude. That's a lot of lightning. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> uh, Desai, what's up? How's it going, man? Uh, Eddie, uh, excited to finally catch a stream. You're super good at DS games and inspiring. Happy New Year. Thanks, man. That's very nice of you. Uh, I hope you have a good New Year as well. You are about to see me get destroyed, so your, your opinions may shift into the, uh, the contrary. Could be very possible. I thought I could go under that, damn. Uh, TV, thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, stuck at where do I go after I kill Princes and Grand Archives? Uh, you go to um, Firelink and then you uh, go to like the actual bonfire in Firelink and just I think you, have to, you might have to talk to the Firekeeper first. You just place the uh, ashes on the throne first in Firelink. Go to all the chairs, go to the center of it, and then you can continue. Should you, be, should you level or is 85 good? 85 is a pretty decent level overall to be at for the end of the game. It's not too bad. You could definitely beat it with uh, even lower levels than that. Like Usually when I do runs, uh, the character's roughly level 60 by the end. That's without leveling health. So you could definitely do that. I think the most important thing is uh, your weapon levels will be a bit more important. Especially at that point. So getting them closer to the maximum uh, is definitely more valuable than the character. As long as you can actually uh, get decent damage with the stats you have now. Uh, spending the souls on the weapon upgrades is a bit better. Ooh. 
no. There we go. Right in the eyeball. I feel bad. Oh, I could use the magic on it too. I forgot about that. That was a crazy double up right there. Oh my god. Insane. And then that does win too on the follow up. His stagger is still pretty good, so I can actually use that. Oh yeah, that's that's broken. <laughs> Ooh, Nameless King thought he was cool, but he's not. It's like 10, 10 million explosions of lightning later. Oh, that's instant. That's on the actual uh, Q there. Crazy, man. I, I, I like what they did. There's just certain things with the lightning that's not like it's not really intuitive. So to make it more fun but harder, I feel like they'd have to actually maybe like you still use a lot of lightning, but I guess it's like how you actually present it because it's kind of happening as a residual effect of attacks that don't actually make as much sense. Like there's one that makes a lot of sense where he actually hits the ground and then it charges, and then the the, the call of the lightning the there, perfect. That like that works really well. But the the stuff in between is a little bit weird though. I will say that. Game looks so good like it's like fine, but like if you wanted to make it, I guess like a little bit more. Um, it see like seemingly intentional, I guess. I feel like they'd have to give you um different time frames of the lightning. Especially because it can, like, again, double up and then you're actually, it's impossible, right? So. That might be a bit more frustrating for someone that, uh, isn't looking as farther and far into it, right? Dude, that missed actually, that's hilarious. Easy nameless. Lactose intolerant people beware. Oh man. A little battle cry for nameless. Playing your first Bloodborne randomizer at the moment, it's really fun. Definitely recommend. I'm jealous, man. But I guess like if I really wanted to have done the randomizer, I would have priority bought the the jailbroken console. I just I feel like having two PS4s is kind of silly if you're just using one for the the randomizer itself, but now we're at a point where there's a there's enough content where the price you'd pay for that actually would be made back in content value, so there's probably a good solid five runs you can do now on that game, so like paying four hundred dollars isn't actually that crazy of an idea. Or whatever the hell it would be. Um But yeah, i I'm definitely looking forward to doing the Bloodborne mods. I think those are gonna come like super late though. Like once they can change the conditions for the jailbreaking. So I could just do it on my uh Console's already on. Also, Guava, thank you for the uh, 31 months. Welcome back. So, Ashley, what's up? How's it going? 
I always imagine Christmas at Gwen's house. Name. Was that a dragon? Straight wait. Oops. I thought that was gonna kill me. My bad. I always imagine Christmas at Gwen's house, the Nameless King, just staring at Gwendolyn like a fight's about to kick off. I think there actually is like a concept art of Christmas Dark Souls. It's pretty funny. They're just chilling at a fireplace. Uh, what am I doing after finishing this? Uh, we will be going back to the uh, Master Run for a little bit, and then there's going to be some other things too. So after um, the fifth, uh, Otstarva wants to teach me how to be a pro on DBD, so we're going to be playing a lot of DBD as well. It's so my pro upgra upgraded to 9.03. It's on the current patch at the moment. Surely you barely use PS4 anymore? Uh, actually, I use it for, um, like, if people want to play games and they come over or something like that, usually. Uh, is there a chance for Bloodborne on PC? What are your thoughts about it? Uh, I, I don't think... It, like, to me, it doesn't make any sense, but uh, I, would, I would hope to be wrong about it because I'd pay full price for it on PC, but I don't actually think it makes as much sense for them to do that. Uh, but I hope they do. I what that item is. I think I can get it. Tight, nice slide. Caved and got the face cam drinker. Uh, so I've always had one. I actually started my channel with one for a long time. I think that some people tuned in, uh, like, maybe after the first year and a half, two years. When I started doing it less, and then they, they kind of, like, that was their standard. So, actually, I, I did start with it from day one for quite a long time. And then I brought it back a little bit before that. But I think now it's the most important to use it because we're doing a lot of different content that requires it. And it's better to have it seamless instead of just turning it on for those things. It gets me some better opportunities that I've really worked for. So, um, it'd be kind of annoying to, like, be like, well, you know, we'll, we'll consider you for... Uh, you know, trying out this really cool thing that you already endorse, or like maybe, for example, the racing wheels. So I'm already into that stuff. It's like less um, applicable or presentable if I'm only going to use it for that segment, you know. It's possible, but there's less opportunity, I think, out there for things that I was working towards. Um, and also, I was given a free camera, so I was like, you know what, I might as well use it. It's pretty cool. And it's also kind of a social experiment, too, but... That'll take about a year to fully pan out, I, I believe. It'll take about a year of just seeing how the the carryover for new traffic on different ideas um, changes based on, like, the previous information I have on that. But the feedback's pretty good, though, so far. I appreciate you guys enjoying it. First speedrun, you're going to do an Elden Ring. I have no idea, dude. Basically just going to play it, and then we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. I like how this rock is white, but like not even textured at all. It's like just blank. <laughs> all right, that's our Dragon Peak, I guess. Um, let's go to Yorm. In a level first, though. so atmospheric it's actually crazy i didn't think that'd make a big difference but it all it almost makes you want to play for like more time or it, it, like it kind of makes you it, it sucks you in more that's the best way to put it. it like it actually sucks you in and you don't realize how much more of an uh, effect that the visuals in this um have right like it plays a pretty big role oh wait we can actually ascend this past the titanite slab with the amethyst crystals so the world might that's really cool actually Good luck. So you can plus 10 or beyond be weapons careful. that are plus 5s usually. Uh, will I add Elden Ring to your master run? I have no plans to do that, but hey, if, honestly, if it were to be the case one day, I would be concerned with my future self right now, so I don't know about that. <laughs> Can't say, like, impossible, but I have no plans for that at all. So I would be, I would be surprised if I came to the conclusion in the future that that would be something cool. Because I feel like there's going to be so many other things at that point that are just specifically based around that game that it'll take a really long time to even get through all that stuff and settle into it. And then in the the whole time frame of that, more stuff's going to be released. And then there's still other things I want to do before now that are pending. So it's kind of like, you know, what what I think whatever yields the highest variety of interesting things is better than just doing that idea as far as I think of it now, because of um, the fact that we're already going to be doing the master run, and that's already 90% of the content 
that you're proposing. So I'd be basically, it wouldn't be the same thing as doing the trilogy and then adding two games, which adds 40% more content. It would be only adding like a little sliver. So it's not like enough of a bigger run for me. Um, I think most of the ideas already enjoyed and, you know, finished at that point where it would be cool if they made another series. So let's say they did like Elden Ring and then they made sequels to that and then that was a franchise or a spiritual succession, then that would be a better idea to do a marathon of those games. So that's kind of how I'm looking at it. But who knows? Maybe there will be a reason to. Um, but yeah, that's a, it's a good question, though. There's a lot of people that are asking me that. Because I 100% guarantee you someone's going to be doing that. Probably multiple people, and I could probably guess who, but... Uh, they might also be just squeezing it in with a bunch of other things, too. Because at this point, I think the, the ambition for completing certain things is uh, it's wild. It's like the actual capacity is like 10 times more than it used to be. So people are doing like runs that are this big with other big runs on the side of that run with variety, with sponsors, with like other things. And then trying to do all of it at the same time. And also for the people that really grind and do like 8 to 10 hours a day. It's like just so much stuff that I think your brain just starts to crap out on you a little bit. So... Um, it's different if it's just like, oh, I'm going to be a journalist and review all these things and casually just sift through them. But if you're trying to actually have like a really high standard that hasn't been met before on several different items at the same time while doing other stuff that needs to be more of a journalist kind of thing, it's 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 not the, the average case scenario. So you're having people do like way more than what the average channel would do in terms of effort, right? And I think that burns you out a lot quicker, so... Then you need to consider what is the most important to you, what do you enjoy the most out of it, and what's the most manageable. Where, uh, you know, you can make it more enjoyable by having more fun with it. Uh, Let Riff, what's up? Also, iFox, how's it going, man? I wonder if we have, I don't think we have the key to this window here. Let me see. Nope. Uh, Eileen, this will be, yeah. I'm going to be putting it all into one big video, hopefully. As long as today doesn't take more than uh, a handful of hours. And then uh, there's one part where we were kind of just like sciencing the one boss for like most of the stream at the end of it. So I'm going to speed up some portions of that just so I can fit it all into one video. I don't have the torch up. I need that. scales the lightning work is awesome They're, it's really really cool all the effects they they did got that winter storm today i didn't get any kind of storm over here man where are you loving where you got a storm you can watch the full playthrough Eileen. i appreciate that that's uh that's awesome yeah this is a really cool mod dude i'm actually i'm more and more impressed with it as we keep going through. Um, but it's almost like I don't want to figure out everything about it yet because I'm going to be playing it again. So it's like I want to actually save some things in terms of the character build, especially. Oh. Ugh! I tried. Tried to save it. Oh, man. Why the Blood Vials instead of Estus? So this is a Bloodborne mod for DS3. That is why. Are they changed to the same? Some are the same, some are different. Mostly everything is changed to some degree, even if it's small. And then some things are completely different and, and brand new. It's such a stressful game, this one. This mod definitely makes it a bit more stressful, I'll be honest. A little bit. But, like, not at the point where it doesn't make sense, though. They actually have a really good um, system of trying to balance things still. There's just a couple ideas where I think that for anyone that's modding game, even me, if I did it, if I was able to play all the roles and make a full package mod, it would, I, there'd still be some problems I'd have to go back over and make several updates for. So I think that when this gets its final update or the, the most finalization of it, most final version, uh, there might be even better stuff. But it feels pretty complete already, so... I don't think there's going to be like a crazy amount of content added. I think it'll just be uh, refining the, the stuff they did. Oh, 
After all, dude, the rats have poison. Oh no. That's not good. New bosses like in Convergence? There are, yeah. There are. There was, uh... Three so far, I believe? Maybe four? That I can recall. That are just completely different, like just not even in the base game. Um... But they are also throwbacks from other games. They're just done in this engine and, and better than they previously were, to some capacity. Oh, the heal. Can we make it? Um, didn't you open a shortcut here in Irithyll? Uh, oh, the um, you're talking about like the lift from the very, very beginning of the area, yeah. Uh, you are right about that. See, that's a weird thing because there's very few playthroughs where I actually use that, so I'm still thinking like, oh, okay, we don't have access to that part, but we did our Strike and Peak first before doing this area, so it's kind of reverse. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Because I'm usually used to getting to this bonfire from the last one and then running backwards up here. Because it's safer. May this year bless us with good RNG and glorious runs and games. D. Oh no. What is this thing? Oh, it's one of the... The cell dudes. Uh, TB it will be, yeah. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Oh, it's another one of these enemies. <laughs> okay, we need another bonfire before that's even happening. Actually, no, wait, no, we have, we have one really close. We have one really close over here. I have an idea. Because this might actually help us get the thing so we can transpose the weapon that we want. The wheel. Have I played Cinder's mod? I have, yeah, there's a playthrough on YouTube if you want to see. Uh, should be in the modded playlist. Uh, might be in popular uploads if you scroll through enough of them. Also, Trump, thank you for the 23 months. Welcome back. I just wanted to eat him and he... I wanted to eat and he wanted to eat and he ate me. Damn. Hmm. Uh, Nexus mods. If you want to actually download this one, just type in exclamation point mod. There's a link to it right there. Uh, I live in Tennessee and we're, we are in Tornado Watch for the next three hours. Oh man, that sucks. That's pretty far from where I am. I'm in Canada, but um, I hope you guys stay safe, man. Let me let me know how everything goes if you're still here after. If if anything happens in the the meantime, I know there's been some people where they've just been in chat and then they're like, oh yeah, like the you know something just like something crazy just happened, like there was a massive like disaster of some sort, like just you know, and they were they were maybe not in like the center of it, but really close. So yeah, let me know if everything's okay. Very disrespectful. I actually find it crazy that he didn't get knocked back more than uh, just like a couple feet there. That was really weird. Because he's already like on the edge right here. So. He's getting knocked forward. I saw something. Never mind. Wait. Never mind. Wait. <laughs> uh. 
See how you can just block all of that? Isn't that wild? Should that be allowed? Not good. Must have been the wind, yeah. <laughs> How long am I going to stream today? Uh, Oter, not super long. Uh, we're just trying to finish up this mod. I was actually thinking of not streaming today, but um, I do really want to finish it, so... Today I'll be a little shorter. Tomorrow I'll be a pretty serious one. <sighs> Alright. Although I guess if I die on this enemy a million more times, it could take a year. Watch how many health points? Uh... 1170. Let me just check something really quick. Yeah, I still have two of the Lost Souls. I need one more for the wheel. And then the wheel would be a good weapon just because I'm assuming it would be De Demon Titanite. That makes sense. Uh, and then I have the strength already, so I should be able to use it right away. that. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. You're happy 2022, dude. Look at that combo. 1816, dude. I don't even think he's at 50% yet. Big finish here. Boletarian Knight Armor. That's pretty cool. An Arcane Herb. So I guess you pick up the full set from getting each piece uh, on these enemies. I, I'm, I'm assuming that there'd be four of them then. Because we've seen two. Um, might have to go back and kill the other one now, actually. What is that spell? It's just a bunch of stagger. <laughs> It's called Stagger in a Can. Open with caution. Open with lead elixir in uh, your digestive system. Uh, Big Brad, thank you for the Happy New Year, man. Also, Heaven Gold, thank you so much for the two months as well. Welcome back. Happy 2022. Uh, what is going on here? Excuse me. Oh, Yarm can kill the, the gargoyle. Dude. That's cool. I'm assuming there's no Storm Ruler, or like to get Storm Ruler, you're basically just trying to... Uh... Oh, he actually takes damage, okay. I'm thinking like the way they set it up, maybe Storm Ruler is there, but you have to kill two gargoyles or try to survive them to get it. And if you just chill here, you don't need to do one. Oh yeah, isn't it the weapon hand we need? 
it is. Okay, Stomp didn't knock over. That's interesting. Cool. Okay, we got some crystals, the amethyst crystals. I'm pretty sure those can continue to upgrade the weapon too. That's nice. Um, Brad, thank you so much for the prime sub. I appreciate it, man. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Welcome. Uh, also, having gold, it will be on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, if it finishes today, I'm gonna have to render it for probably 12 hours to 14 hours, and then if the render doesn't fail, it should be good Let's for be tomorrow. So and if it fails, ended. then it might be the next day. So the world might be made. Um, and then if it fails more than once, I'm going to have to make it multiple parts, but I'm going to really hope that my GPU can handle rendering it for about a dozen hours or so. 12 hour render. Yeah, usually they're about 14 hours. Um, I'm hoping this one will be 12. So I have to, um, I have to compress and then reformat um, and then kind of just have it all as one part, right? Okay, so it brings it brings you back to Dancer Bonfire, but now that we've killed Yorm, you'd imagine you'd be able to go to Princes. I don't know if you can though. I feel like that's what Yorm should have been, to be honest. Uh, like you could have hit him with the weapon normally and done damage. Is that what you mean? Uh, Diamond, thank you for the 17 months. Welcome back, by the way. Petition to email Bandai for Bloodborne on PC. <laughs> Uh, how did you approach the run on Returnal where you beat Nemesis? He's whooping you to the point of wanting to quit. Uh, honestly, I just played the game and paid attention and tried to beat it. That's pretty, that's pretty much the best. Uh, I know it's not really the advice you probably want. There's no there's no secret that I can remember. I just uh, tried to make it count. Um, but I think that, that game, the way it works, because you basically restart the game if you screw up right too much. So... Uh, you have to be okay with actually like redoing the game multiple times and you shouldn't have a limit or an idea of how many times that would be to actually succeed and I think that'll make you think less about that and then just focus more on what's actually happening if that helps. If not, if you're already doing well with that, then congrats for making it there. Uh, but it is it is pretty pretty challenging at the end of it though. So I've, I'm assuming some people will just beat it right away. Some people will take like six tries, some people will take two. Some people will give up. It just depends on... Depends on like what you've actually acquired in that uh, segment right before that, like based on some luck, and then how good you're already at playing the game and just trying to play it safe to, you know, actually get the win on that last part. Just watched uh, Spider-Man Sublin. Nice man, it's it's really good. Glad that you liked it. 
I have a feeling that this might not be open still. I think we need a key for this part. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. But the key might be there now because so there's the something on the ground. Might be mended. There is the key. Okay. Happy New Year, nice. everyone. Squeal pray, squeal pray. Uh, Tazita, thank you for the five months. Welcome back. Oh. No, thank you. Ember, I'll take that. Twinkling, nice. You hope for a good run and a good weapon. Yeah, I think you could still kill Nemesis on like a a, a more unlucky run on Returnal, but you need to uh, definitely. <laughs> I think I think that if once you are okay with uh, it going whatever way, and you don't really have like a predisposed idea of what's happening, and you know an urgency to like just beat it because you want to beat it, then I think it becomes a bit better. Like, if you really enjoy replaying, like, the earlier parts, too, then it's going to be probably quicker that you'll beat Nemesis, because then you, you're just, like, looking forward either way to either situation. You're not really, like, held up too much on just trying to win and making silly, silly decisions, right? That's a lot of magic all in one area. I don't know about that one, dude. That's some co-op stuff right there. <laughs> Are there new bosses in this mod or just different enemy placements? There is new bosses, yeah. Uh, I will show you. Should we go and kill the other one? I'm trying to think. Like, should I do that now? Hmm. I have a bone shard. Okay, we could get, we could use the bone shard, and then try to kill uh, false king. Oh man, archives is pretty scary. I don't know whether there's a bonfire in that area too. So that's gonna be a long run back unless I missed something. So I have to look around the beginning of it. What's over here? Book of Eclipse. Explore again all ceremonies to unlock a specific new challenge for the Ashen One. Old enemies are awakened, new bosses and treasures now can be seen. Last known areas, High Wall. Undead Settlement, Road of Sacrifice, Fair and Keep, and Catacombs. That's pretty cool. Um. Hmm. I wonder if that has to do with like the the eye that is required for dancer. Ashen one. DS One Nightfall is out now. I think it's coming out in January, so the twenty second, I believe, or twenty third. I think it's twenty second for Nightfall. Um, okay, I don't have enough of the uh, amethyst to reinforce the weapon. Right. Uh, Majud's is really cool, man. How are you doing, by the way? Gonna do the hard mode stuff if you beat the main run is the hard mode gives you a lot of bosses, new attacks, and stuff in the world. Uh Thunder, I could. Um because I'm trying to debate because I'm gonna do more than one playthrough on this one. I'm gonna try different character setups, so uh I could always save this file and try to like have it like kind of separate in a folder and then re reuse it. Cause I know I'm gonna delete it if I don't uh put it somewhere else, so I don't back it up. What's uh, Nightfall? Nightfall is like a reworking of DS1. It's very very similar to this in the sense of like it incorporates a lot of new things, but um, I think it has a different storyline in it too. I'm trying to figure out where we're going. Uh, Dark Moon Tomb. Okay. All right. Maybe I can beat this. Uh, you missed a lot of stuff from me rating you when you had about 10 to 15 viewers. Sound engineering and stuff. Wasn't here for a long time. Now you get face cam. Sherlock would have been excited. Oh, you remember Sherlock, man? That's awesome. Dude, Sherlock was one of the coolest people ever, man. 
I know he's still around randomly here and there, but um, definitely misses uh, streams, man. But yeah, welcome back. What's up? Remember Sherlock Stone? Oh, yeah, of course. I think that the actual AoE has tracking on it. I was wondering why it turns. I don't know if it turns the same way every time. It's big damage too. Uh, Ember, yes. I can't use one. Oh man, I <laughs> I thought I had embers. I didn't. This boss looks like uh, like T Pain with the the hair. <laughs> one time, I actually, um, I think I hosted T Pain. I'm pretty sure I raided him. I, I don't know if everyone from chat came, but he was playing a racing game, and dude, the guy was having like more fun than anybody I've ever seen play a video game. He was like literally in tears laughing and he didn't even read chat because he was laughing so hard he couldn't pay attention to anything but just laughing and it was awesome i should remember the name of the game it's some racing game that was really funny It was like in a circle too, yeah, so it does track actually. That's really cool. I've never seen that before. Like from a non-projectile, but more so an AoE. It's, it's like a combo of both. It can be uh, based on like the uh, site. So what happens is sometimes the audio encoding goes really weird. Quality options sometimes do that too. So if you're in low quality, um, it'll sound underwater or like almost like there's electronic feedback sort of. So it could be that. Could be, I don't know, if there's audio issues with the setup, I think most people would probably say something about it. Remember when Pursuer or whatever you said couldn't stop laughing? Uh, I don't know if I remember that, no. I don't think I, I might have been there for it, but that was a long time ago. That's crazy that you remember it. The heat, his stream was really fun, though, for sure. That was not over there. What is going on?
What happens over here? It's like the fun zone of the arena. Still got me on the third, nice. Something weird happened there. Oh yeah, there is no rally in this actually, so the rally is not a thing. Maybe that's going to be added. I just realized. Because we were talking about it yesterday, and I couldn't tell for sure if it was happening, so... There's no rally though. <laughs> Dude, the range on that's unbelievable. Let's see. Soul of False King Ameth. Oh, beyond the grave. Bye bye. Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> Getting uh, his nice white coat and all this, all stained with red. I know. I know. We're gonna have to take it to the dry cleaners, man. <sighs> that was pretty bad. What's <laughs> uh, going on, Toronto? How are you doing? Uh, miss catching your streams. How long have the runs been going? Or sorry, how have your runs been going? Uh, well, this is going pretty decent. We're actually almost done this. This is a modded playthrough. It's called Hollow Overhaul. I think I have... We have Princes, Cinder, and then DLC. It, that I know of, at least. At least are the things I know. What is this? Alongside the Dark Moon's mission, I'll become the sword that hunts the enemies of God. Inspiring. Uh, cool. Oh, yeah, I have Cold Sword Fragment, too. Forgot you could use this. What do the Amethyst Crystals do? So they seem to upgrade Twinkling Titanite weapons once they're at maximum. So you do the plus four and then use a slab for plus five. After that, you can use the Amethyst Crystals. So actually, let me see if I can upgrade this right now. Where'd I buy this shirt? I really like it. Honestly, it was like a limited uh, campaign. I was actually just trying to get a gift for somebody and then you have to buy two to actually get the uh, the deal. So I bought something for somebody else and then this was like what came with it. Um, I have no idea what the website was. I don't even know if it's still around uh, and I've only bought something from there once. So you probably could just find it by searching a Sekiro Death shirt, but yeah, otherwise I have no idea. It's been a while. Actually, I think I only wore this like twice. It doesn't really fit that well. Uh, yeah, so I can't actually use any more Amethyst Crystals as far as I know. Ooh, we could use regular Titanite Shards on the Beast Talisman. Remember I was talking about that before. I wanted to check and see if it could be uh, upgraded with the regular materials. So it's plus nine now, nice. Ready. 
Uh, blue, yeah, that's basically what, what it is. So, I mean, you could probably search it and find the exact same type of idea printed by a different company. You could just design it yourself, too. You could just make a t-shirt on a one-off uh, designer website and then just vector the graphic onto a black shirt if you wanted to. Uh, popped into you stomping Yorm with the Bloodborne aesthetic and we're confused. Was there a remake? <laughs> yeah, I know, it's probably really confusing. It's funny that actually people weren't sure what game it was, because that means someone did a good job, right? Like, if that's, a j if that's not a joke and it's a genuinely confusion, that's pretty crazy. I don't think the person that made it expected that. So the world might be mended. All right. Happy New Year. Time to go to archives. Firestar, thank you so much for the 11 months. Welcome back, man. Also, uh, Happy New Year, Dragoon. Yeah, so I, I don't know why, but I guess um, in terms of the anim Amethyst Crystals, it might actually not go to plus 10. It might just be plus 7. Because uh, I have more of them, but I couldn't do anything with the upgrades. I have 5 right now. Oh, we have the 3 Lost Souls, dude. Wait, let's go back and actually get the... Let's get the wheel. Apparently the... Um, the wheel is a thing. We can do that. You were genuinely confused, especially before your arm. That's hilarious. Mods like these make you wish you had DS3 on a PC instead of the console. It, it is definitely an advantage, but... Um, I think that eventually one day there will be a similar thing where, like, you know, for example, there's a jailbroken console uh, firmware for Bloodborne. I, I feel like there'd be the same thing for the other games. If the right person had interest in it, but I think that it's because people don't have enough interest to actually make it happen, so... Uh, it's definitely possible, though, because if, if it could be done on Bloodborne, there's no reason it couldn't on the same kind of stuff. Hmm. I'm going to sell some of these. Uh, jailbreaking consoles and modding on them sounds annoying. It's very restrictive in terms of the process because... Um, there's probably not a lot of people that are experts on it, and then you you need like an earlier version of the software. Whereas obviously, like for PC, you can run any single OS you want. So you could run like Windows 98. You could run maybe, maybe not, maybe not that because the compatibility with certain things. But you can run older versions of Windows. You can run newer ones. Um, could emulate Windows, I'd imagine, even and still do something weird like that. Oh, this the wheel needs five lost souls. That sucks. So I can only get the Sanctum Mace, and then stuff that's not as exciting. But this one poisons, though. Um. <sighs> I might have to wait for the wheel. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait, because uh, the wheel is cooler. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. 75% off on Steam. They did a, they did a lot of sales where it's like 15 bucks total. Uh, I know that we promoted it for Humble Bundle one time. It was 15 bucks, and it came with the first DLC. So I think, um, yeah, if you time it right, you can get this game for pretty cheap. Uh, love, thank you so much for the one year. How time flies, it does. Who gave those clock swings in the first place? Terrible idea. Okay, I kind of want to test to see if this Crystal Sage is the same one that is upstairs, because if it is, then uh, might be worth killing. I think it actually is. The design is cooler though. He's got like some green and then there's some like tree roots. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. 
so the world might be mended. Happy New Year, That thing buddy. looks really scary. <laughs> what is that? The dark. Oh, okay, these are the things for uh, Rosaria. Uh, Dragoon, thank you so much for the, the one year as well, man. Welcome back. Imagine seven for a year on New Year, New Year's Day. That's crazy. Thematic. Oh no. Torch will not save me on this one. Walk it off, dude. Walk it off. Just spam the vials. Feeling good. Red M red uh, herb? No, we don't have the red herb. It's too late. Twenty-nine visceral. Get out of here. Uh, so thought someone found a jailbreak for the newest patch. Uh, I haven't heard about that yet. I've been talking to Ghost a little bit, and uh, I think Ghost is like the most knowledgeable on Bloodborne and just all the updates with those things next to Lance, maybe, or people that, you know, are helping develop things. And, uh, yeah, there was no current patch jailbreak as of, uh, weeks ago, but if you're saying it's, like, brand new, you can definitely send me a link for it. Or if you uh, have any information at all, definitely send it over. Okay, it is the same Sage. That's good. They didn't try to throw two of them at us. Too strong there. I don't know about that. No thanks. This stage is almost dead. There we go. Ooh, that's cool. Tomb Prospector set hood. That's um. Uh, Tomb Prospector. I was gonna say that's Henrik's set. No, Henrik has a hat though. But that is from Bloodborne though. Looks pretty cool. I'll probably get destroyed by things very quickly, but it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Baltarian Knight. Whoa, wait, do I have no legs? That's crazy. Look at that. My, my, it could be because of the uh, chest piece. Or maybe, oh, maybe it's just this set. I'm so confused, actually. What's going on here? I might have been, <laughs> it might have just been like a random thing that happened. That was really weird. Uh, Ancient King Greaves, there we go. We're floating, yeah. We're actually floating. Well, there's a character that has uh, prosthetics, so I was wondering if maybe the uh, the way they create like the character model is in favor of that type of design, so like they can quickly just change the visual appearance. Um, 
between having like the limbs and not maybe for different armor sets. I don't, I don't know that that just seemed like a complete glitch though. But there is a character apparently that has uh, prosthetics though. Pretty sure they're arm ones. This mod's UI is very Bloodborne. It is, yeah, it is. But I like the simple UI. Where it's not like they, they try to make it look like fancy outside of all the information you really need, so. It's pretty cool. Not much of a run then, it's a float. It's definitely a float. Okay, we got a wing knight. send the lift down first then come back here because we have 147k here uh, what if this mod made your footsteps sound like squidward walking i actually can't remember what squidward sounds like when he walks is it is it like a specific footstep sound because he's a squid. Man, the scaling on this goes really high. Like, it's like up to 60. We're still getting pretty good numbers. So on 54, if I put in one, that's six damage already. Just on one level. Um, that's probably about like four times more than I thought it would be. <laughs> we get seven on 56 to 57. That's crazy. Any concepts in these mods that you think might be some inspiration for mechanics in Elden Ring? Um, Elden Ring's already finished being made, so if you're talking about like them, like the developers of uh, the base game looking at someone that made a mod for their previous release and then using that in the new game, I don't think that's possible just because the game's done. But um, if you mean like, did the person that played the Elden Ring network tests or like watch the uh, mechanics? from the gameplay trailer and then make some sort of like similarities between that game and this game when they made the mod maybe but i don't think developers are going to take any inspiration from it because it was already done before this actually came out and i don't know i don't even know if they know that this exists so uh maybe the developer of this mod specifically um liked certain things in Ring. i think it's pretty clear with like even just like if you look at this gear right i thought we were going to princes actually we need to go the other way um, yeah, like this helmet is from Elden Ring and the sword is. But in terms of mechanics, uh, I haven't seen anything yet that I could relate to it. What about some of the older mods? Don't know what's all out there. Um, well, from having played Elden Ring, I can't say there's anything that uh, related to a third-party mod at all. Um, but... Maybe, though, it's possible. I think it'd be smart for people to keep an open mind to that, because there's, there's a lot of stuff that people do third-party that's really cool, so. But yeah, I'm not sure, though. I haven't, I've never noticed anything carry over uh, into that network demo, or the um, the um just the, the test for it. Played Elden Ring? Yeah, I played... Well, there, everybody had a chance to play it, technically. There's, there's a chance. Or the possibility, sorry. There's the there's a possibility to play it. I did play it for an hour and a half.
when you just want to parry, but the guy is getting scary. 10 million damage with a two-hand axe and infinite stamina. And one spinny boy that will make Beyblades look slow. Yeah, so I was trying to just parry taking the hammer to the face. Oh man. Might have to do some, uh... Oh wait, did the gates close on this? They don't? No, okay. We can do some funny things here. Granted, so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. I can use this healer and Jack's kill. Let strength be granted, so the world might be oh, mended. So the world might be mended. Damn, almost a year. I have come and gone in your streams, but your videos have been such a great part of my life. Thank you so much. Who, who, who be this? What is this thing? Oh man, it's got some like Nightjar ninja. Oh wait, that's the that's the Ganichiro attack, not the Nightjar attack. So see, this guy's flying like the the kite dudes. <laughs> uh, fabulous. Thank you for the uh, 33 months. Welcome back. Also, Toucan, thank you for the 10 months. Welcome, dude. Uh, went to. You went to Cho Point and dealt with them with magic. Uh, Wonder, I'm enjoying it quite a bit, dude. It's fun. I seem to remember where I'm going, dude. Like, the one thing that's the hardest about this for me is uh, the bonfires are removed, and then some are still there. But then the way you progress through certain things is different. So I'm trying to think of, like, what's the quickest way to get here and there, and it's it's all jumbled, so. Other than that, though, it's going, it's going pretty damn good. I want to see if I can dunk uh, at least one of the NPCs in this lift right here. Elden Ring was fun, but you didn't see anything in the network test carried over from any mods you've seen or played. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't either. Uh, I think developers of an original game aren't even allowed to check mo mods, like with writers and fan fiction. M maybe. Um, I think there's a low chance they they know about anything, just because a lot of the stuff that's being made that we know is uh, Western, and they're based out of uh, um, Japan, so. They wouldn't have, like, there would be no point of them really looking into the stuff here if they have their own things, right? So there might be mods being made in by players that play there. And, you know, they have their own streaming platforms in the eastern side of the world. You know, at least there's some of them. Um, so I don't actually even know how often they, they watch Western content in general. Because, uh, like, the only time I've ever even heard of Miyazaki acknowledging something that he saw with his eyes was in a written interview where they went to like their headquarters and they showed them a, a clip from when they made the um, like the random generated playthrough of all the people just typing in commands and that was like the only thing I think he ever spoke on seeing with his eyes. So even other things that have been just discussed, I don't even know if he's actually seen the stuff. Um, it would be a bit different if they were based out of this area, but I think that makes it a lot harder because they might not even know what to actually look at to see something. So it's just not really their norm, right? The only hopes for that would be community management in the western side of the world, um, relaying information, that's pretty much it, but that's not their job, so it all depends on that kind of stuff, I think. Ooh, spicy, dude. I got parried. Nice. That's cool. Ooh, but can I knock you off? But can I knock you off? I can, I can try. I can try. Ooh, I did it. Get out of there. Oh, it's still, it was worth it. It was worth it. I think it counted. Using a claymore. Um, so it's actually 
it's like basically a claymore, but then it has the weapon art of uh, Mortal Draw, and then it has the move set of what would be like a straight sword in Bloodborne, kind of like a Ludwig sword kind of move set. Um, it's got like the diagonal um, one hand heavies and mix ups for this, the light attacks, and then it has this for the weapon art. So the actual weapon is called Sword of War. Went for a backstab, got parried instead. <laughs> hey, viewing on mobile, using your laptop to record your bearded dragon's behavior for the day. Put him in a new 120 gallon terrarium. That's pretty cool. Do you ever like watch it back and then like learn things about him that don't happen when you're uh, when you're trying to like feed him and stuff like that? Is it just like a, like a experiment kind of thing? It's like other than just uh, like their diet and then like minor exercise and stuff like that. All I really know is they uh, they can just change color like right here based on uh, like emotional stuff and that's it. You sure do, you sure do. Um, gotta be sure he's not anxious and glass surfing. Like to make sure he's cool and comfortable. Okay, that's cool, that's, that's really awesome. Um. Will this work? It will. And let me show you how. Actually, I have a better idea for uh, this. Let me put the talisman offhand on the left. Or sorry, uh, the right and then the left will be the shield. Do this one. The fact those still do damage is pretty funny. So he, he seems to have enough time to actually kind of read the projectiles. I don't know if that's an input reader. He's just kind of evading damage. But Oh, I need more, um, more Ash and Estus. He could probably just kill this dude normally, but I, I'm, I'm very convinced to do it this way. Here we go. We need the dunks. Ah, uh, Racked, how's it going, man? Uh, watching the stream building Lego. Uh, hope your new year was good. It's good, yeah. Um, what kind of Lego are you doing? Uh, 80 percent cricket protein diet until they're about 12 to 18 months the 20 percent vegetable diet um once they're grown you switch to the opposite you start younger and slowly transition into more more of a mostly vegetarian diet that's interesting yeah my um my friend that had one um he was big on trying to give them spinach and raspberries and then um he would do crickets as well there's like those three in rotation uh, crazy help any similarities there are, there are in Bloodborne to have to the point where you can actually make a mod for it. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's a nice balance though. It's like you could do this idea, but like it could be it could be really terrible or make no sense, right? There's so many ways you could do this and not do it well, but this is done very very intentionally, and it 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 almost in some ways is better than uh, the regular game. So 
I think that's pretty cool. Where is the Dragon Slayer Armor Bonfire here? I can't actually see it. Like, is it... Where, where the hell is it? <laughs> I know it's on the list, but I don't know where it appears. Must be, like, before this area. Uh, he'd be happy to eat a gummy worm, but his insides wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> it's technically live feed, and a Buddhist wouldn't be okay with it, but not like mice some people do, but that's not your thing. Yeah, I've seen um, seen my other buddy's snake when it was alive do the uh, the mice, and that's that's interesting. That's an interesting one. It's like just a big lump. What's this mod again? This is um, Hollow Overhaul. With AGDQ around the corner, do you think we're ever going to see DS1 through 3 Marathon, or are there people in charge against long runs like that? Uh, I have no idea, dude. I don't really know much about how GDQ works, um, so I couldn't say. All I know is um, uh, I've seen things on it before that were challenge-based on a bunch of different games, but in terms of the time frame that everything lasts, the longest I've seen for the average run is like, you know, maybe like two hours or so and then there's bit there is some longer ones there's ones that are longer than that but they're not as common and then a lot of them are really short too so it heavily depends on how much time the person needs if, if they think that it takes up too much time in the segments of you know trying to have like everyone have their time slot then i don't know i guess it's up to them but it would be a bonus category if that was a thing so that's that's all i know but i don't really know how, how their decision process works for challenge runs right now so yesterday v switch showcase ds2 no hit yeah, that's not a it's not as long of a run as three games though. <laughs> so if we're talking about just time frame, it's it's probably just based on whatever they can uh, see being sensible because yeah, they have to fit on like a large variety of people. So maybe if they were short on people and someone had a really big run, that would fit the gap and they'd be able to run the marathon for the same time. But I think that if you were being smart with like choosing like you know a little bit of everything, that'd be too much because it'd be like the equivalent of three people's runs. Or maybe even more than that, because each run in the marathon would be longer than a speed run in some games. So it would it would be up to three to six times longer than what one person would do. At least on like uh you know the lower end and then on the higher end, I don't know. I'd still be a longer run than I've ever seen on that. How's the master run going? It's been going pretty good, but we haven't been doing it as much, so I'm um, definitely looking forward to going back to it after this. Looking forward to Elden Ring? Uh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I played it. It's really cool. Saying they included every game separately so you don't think they'd do a trilogy. Yeah, that's another thing, too. If they can get, like, different runs or different people playing all three, that's probably more valuable. That's a really good point. Oh, dear. Another dogged contender. Welcome, unkindled one, purloiner of cinders. Mind you, the mantle of lord interests me none. He's like, you will go blind from the light source that did not work to the game's advantage in the cutscene. Uh, are you going to casually run Elden Ring your first playthrough? Yep, definitely. Now have your rest. I also want a PvP on it too. It looks really fun for PvP. Also, uh, Sir Nick, what's up, man? It makes you want to replay DS3, but you have to reinstall. Wait, and then uh, run through Lothar Castle for the 80th time. Only 80 times, dude? You haven't even made it to like the 800th time? I think Lothar Castle for a first timer. You either get it in one go or it takes 800 tries. That's what the game requires. So if you didn't do it in one, then I wouldn't worry, man. You're still, you're still, uh, just getting warmed up. <laughs> Wonder if this will be a crazy stagger, like on Nameless, because uh, yeah, his stagger ability is not the same as a lot of things. Like Nameless and this guy, they stagger pretty easily because they're they're typically pretty hard to hit a lot of times. I think that spell, for whatever reason, too, it has, like, the value of multiple attacks per orb. 
because he staggers almost from like the first or second one, right? It's like within the first two, he's he's down. Yeah, really good choice of soundtrack for this one too. Try something that we don't normally do on this. Oh wait, I wasn't able to heal there for a second. That's interesting. Can you just not heal with Beast Talisman in your hand? I just want to parry. I think if he hits you, he actually like makes it impossible to heal for a certain amount of seconds. It's a pretty cool effect. They might have taken the parry away on this, I don't know. I'm gonna actually give up on it for now, because I keep messing up. If it even is possible still. That was a little weird. <laughs> I don't know what happened there at the end. That was kind of glitchy. Ah, <laughs> uh, you love this music so much. One of the reasons why Bloodborne is uh, your favorite Souls game. Yeah, the soundtrack for that game is solid throughout the entirety of it. Even the like the song that I would like the least still is really cool. And the same thing for DS3 as well. But um, the other games, they they definitely have some tracks that are just not as strong. Like you can tell, like the ones they they went really hardcore on, and then the other ones where they were just like, okay, we have to have a song for this, right? Uh, Crimson, thank you for the 16 months. Welcome back. What is this mod that puts Bloodborne and DS together? It's called uh, Hollow Overhaul, exclamation point mod in the chat. And it will give you the link. So I have four of these now. Um, we almost have enough for the wheel. I want to at least be able to use the wheel for the DLC. That would be a cool. Sekiro OST is really good. I, I don't think they've included any Sekiro music, but that'd be really interesting, though. But I think it's very thematic, though. So it might throw off the, <laughs> it might throw off some of the stuff, but I think there's a few songs from it that would work really well. Okay, scaling is not going up anymore on the weapon. Till we do dexterity. So I'm just gonna get a bit more vigor. Wait, can we even go to Cinder? Is there even such a thing? <laughs> we might be able to. Hello, that guy on YouTube that makes bosses from different souls. Barnes game fight each other. I think his name is Guarding the Eyes. Um, 
really like that channel. Oh, I think I've seen that channel before. It's like uh, Yorm versus 40 something Abyss Watchers or whatever. It's like an army of Abyss Watchers and, uh, and Yorm. Is that the same one? Because there might be more than one channel that does that. I know it's a super popular idea. I've, I definitely have seen more than one name with a video that is kind of like that. But that's a super easy um, format if you don't want to actually speak or like have a personality in the channel. Like the channel's content is more um, just based off of the game related stuff and nothing else, right? It's kind of a ta detached from the person, so it's pretty cool. It's like a hypothetical sort of sort of format. Garden of Eyes, that's what it's called. Farewell, Look how much better that fire link is. Bonfire VN. I've heard of Bonfire VN before. Except the random tree. I like the tree, though. I think it has a reason uh, for being there. Does this mod have the DLC? It should be in the DLC, yeah. And the lords go without thrones. We can double check and see if it was changed. It might be very similar, but even if it just looks better and it's the exact same, that's fine for me. Because the DLC for this game is already really good. There's not. It would be crazy to think of like how many things you could even change on it. Because there's there's really just half light in my opinion. Everything else is really good. And then you might be able to uh, add a little bit more to Great Wolf. Or like take stuff away from it and just make it harder. Uh, favorite non-gameplay for Soulsborne is Zuli the Witch. Yeah, Zuli does some really cool stuff. Some cool experiments. Uh, also Effie, it will be, yeah. It might take a little bit though because rendering these videos takes some... Um, usually... Um, more than half a day so it will be there tomorrow earliest if we finish it today just depends on how we do because we have let me see one two six we have seven bosses left that i know of at least Let him grant death. so i think this playthrough actually has more content than the base game does because we've done one extra that i can recall Zuli saved the whole Bloodborne player, player base with um, the save edited dungeons. Really? I didn't know that. Is that the, the dungeon you used to farm? Uh, Dis is really close to improving his world record on DS2 Scholar. Didn't he just get a record on DS2 recently, or was that one of his older ones I was thinking of? Because I remember I saw he's trying to test a skip with um, Earthen Peak, and it looked really weird. Oh, he's burning me too. And then we can't heal while that's happening. Red Tear Stone set up. Oh. Dude, the aggression on that phase one. Let's see if the magic staggers though. Because then if we can prove that at least Nameless, this and um, Princes can be just kind of cheesed with that spell, then they might want to they might want to nerf it a little bit. damage is, is pretty OP. The, yeah, the damage on this character is actually really good, because the weapon, I think, is maxed out at this point. Or it's very, very close, because I couldn't upgrade it with uh, the Amethyst anymore. I have seven of them. It doesn't show up on the, the list, so I think this is the, the highest that a Twinkling weapon can go. It would be hilarious if they had uh, German's voice, since they also had the music. <laughs> That'd be so scary. And he just like takes off his helmet. It actually is German. He's like, I never had a peg leg, I'm just cheating. Can K 
cancel the uh, the running animation. That's cool. Is that Mini Yorn? Uh, this is Cinder. Not gonna get the bonfire. Oh, yeah, dude, I, I do that when I normally play the game. You know what's actually funny? It's because, uh, it's all because when I get to this part, we're usually doing the damages run, so there, there wouldn't really be a point of hitting the bonfire. I would just kind of waste time, right? Cinder, Cinder's on the stamina. He's, he's just drinking stamina. He's got the, the quick moveset. He's like, what the hell is a cooldown or a window to attack? Like... Fool me, I have no idea what you're referencing, but you might have to give me some background so I understand what you're saying. <laughs> Fool me coming in with his, uh, his daily random statement. <laughs> I feel like Fulmi, dude, I feel like you're cultured and you keep up with memes and relevant uh, ironic or unironic subjects, and I don't know enough about like what's currently being discussed, and then you just pull out a thing that's like really common knowledge for like a Redditor or something like that, and I have no idea what you're saying. And that happens a lot. That's my, my theory, I don't know if it's true. Because there's definitely other people where that's the case for sure, and I have no idea what they're referencing. Because I don't actually know where you get the information from, so you have to tell me it. But it's expected that I know it, and I'm like, I can't. It's impossible. Fool me knows too much. I think he does. But it might come in handy. He might be like a, a prophet of memes. Who knows? sucked <laughs> definitely a really smart idea to cancel the running for the uh, javelin attacks very cool okay so if he heals i'm gonna have to use that magic use this ember no i thought it would work i actually insulted you to the core thinking you're a redditor i, I don't know if you are but it reminds me of like when someone says something crazy that's just like out of there or out there but it's actually like a thing that's like relevant or like trending or whatever and i have no idea what it's from and then you think that i already know it because you think i like read into what you do and then i have i'm like where, where did that come from and you're like how do you not know that and it's like i don't know where you're getting this information from because <laughs> that just happens like uh pretty often but i i felt like that was the case with you though because you say some some wild things sometimes I think sword phase is uh, harder than, harder than um, the entire game of DS3 without mods. <laughs> oh no. Uh, do all the bosses fight different in this mod? Uh, no, not every single thing. There's some things that are just like subtle touches and then there's like complete uh, replacements and then some other things that are just uh, done kind of 50-50 where there's like enough differences that are actually kind of functional, like they make sense, and then the rest of it's just unchanged. Cancel that too, that's crazy. And you can't you can no longer he's so fast you can't uh can't strafe the overhead running attack. Uh hyper, what's up? Been a minute since you've hung out here. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good, man. How are you? 
Cinder ate the Wheaties, Karmic. Yes, he did. <sighs> he actually did. I wonder if there's any other rings we can use right now. I know um, Wolf Ring 2 is pretty good. Oh, that's actually stamina in this, apparently. Interesting. I, we, we usually don't have problems with stamina, but that could be cool. Hmm. FP restored with Ash and Estus Flask. That's pretty cool. Um, then the gradually restoring HP Sun Princess. Should I use that? I'm trying to think if we want to use the magic on this or not. I think if he's healing, it makes sense. That's, that's a good way to do it. Does he have a different moveset? Uh, so far, no. It's just... Um, the uh, permission he has for certain things is different. So, like, it's the same moveset, but programmed differently. And then, um, there's, like, residual fire if you get hit, where it stops you from healing for about three or four seconds, and you also continue to take damage, too. So, that's a, that's a nice touch. I like the fire thing. The fire thing's cool. It'd be crazy if he could, like, actually combo you in the air with that. Just so fast. Okay, magic versus magic. Let's go. Oh, dude. Instant Calming Soul Mass spawn as well. No startup. Curse would better be unchanged, or I'm gonna I'm gonna take it personally. I was gonna say that's a little too much if we're if we're getting like infinite combo curves sort of overlapped with <laughs> homing soul mass infinitely spotting. <laughs> he's got fireballs coming out of like places that don't exist as well. That's fine. So I wonder if it overlaps till the next stagger, or now that he's used it once, he can keep using it. I think it's just if he gets staggered. It seemed like that lasted longer, though. Storm King, yeah, we beat Storm King. I think everything's done. Everything's done that I've seen other than um, DLC in this. So, it'd be cool to do this, to take a quick break, finish DLC. We'll see if uh, there's enough time for that. Maybe aside from Gale, Gale's pretty awesome. <laughs> Dude, imagine Gale with like uh, 20 times more versatile moveset, same health, same defense. But he also regens. And you also can't heal the entire fight. That'd be pretty funny. Don't know how that still has an effect without me being touched by it. Proximity, I guess. That's weird. Okay. 
get the homing soul mass out of there, dude. Oh, he's got the grace sword too. Oh my god. Oh, I'll read his. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> this is gonna be uh, quite a bit of magic here at the magic show all of a sudden. Oh, oh boy. Watch out, Cinder. Or maybe I should watch out. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna take a really quick break. I'll be back in like two seconds. Joke's on you, I was muted on purpose. I just told you guys the secret to everything. Sp spin so hard the whole screen movie. Yeah, sorry if I made you dizzy. My bad. Okay. Round two. I told my birthday, I did, I said everything. I said everything within like two seconds that you could possibly say. I will not throw up. <laughs> I wasn't even, I thought it was actually like staggering it right there, I wasn't. Does magic stun him like Nameless? It's a little bit slower, but it's it's like maybe half as good. Nameless was like immediately, this is maybe every like three orbs. Uh, you've done this boss hundreds of times, haven't you? How are you dying to it? Uh, so it's actually, like this is a mod for the game, it's not the base game, it's different, right? So there's a, there's a lot of factors that make it uh, not the case that you'd normally have. Um, best way I could put it is uh, play the normal game if you already played it. Play this mod, then let me know what you think. 
I, I will. I, I would imagine most people probably wouldn't do exactly the same as they normally would on this one, unless it was unchanged. But this one's actually changed quite a bit. I think they did a nice job with it. Yeah, so I think it takes about three or four of the orbs. But if the last one hits, you get a double stun, though. So if you actually can uh, place it well, you can get two staggers every time. crazy. What's going on? That fire eats you, it does. Yeah, it does. What's different other than fire damage? So his moveset um, permissions are different completely. So the do's and don'ts uh, pretty much have like a completely different structure to them. So different checklists. Um, the residual fire, obviously, like you said. Uh, and then his entire phase two is a different weapon, different moveset. So it's kind of like a redesign for half of it and then like a maybe 50% redesign for the first part. And then there's some extra projectiles on the, the curve sword as well. So like the backhand melee does a projectile. Uh, he can cancel running attacks as well, which is pretty interesting. So I think this actually is the most changed of anything that's still the same character model that was already in DS3. So it's actually pretty good. I think that this is a... Uh, it's, it's a good reworking because I know Cinders did it a bit differently but this one's like it's not trying to change the actual enemy too much it just kind of makes what already works really well uh, about it even better I would even say if you just like took the magic phase from phase one you kept that in the main game that would actually be even more fun it's like a vanilla uh, change It's also one of the things too. So he actually he has uh, like a de like a a preset soul mass that's not casted for phase two as a feature too, which is uh, a glitch in the regular game. So they use the glitch as a feature. And then the spawn rate of it has no startup. Or it's like very quick startup. Nice. Imagine you beat him and there's a whole other phase. That'd be crazy, man. Yeah, I think that if we respect the um, the vials a bit, we could probably do it right now, but I just wanted to see what the hell they were doing with the fight with the redesign. It kind of suck if they had uh, a lot of different stuff you put in it and then you beat it qu too quickly to see that, so. Puked on a Persian rug, you owe me $60,000. Damn, that's a, that's a weird agreement. Can we can we negotiate that one? <laughs> Action one. Be sure to bring <laughs> German first hunter OST so amazing. Yeah, actually I tried to um play a classical adaptation of it. I learned most of it and then I stopped. I might actually relearn it. Uh there's someone cool that transposed uh they did like a they took the I guess the choir and they put it into like classical guitar and then they sent me what they had worked out with it and I tried to 
also see uh, what I can do with it. And it was, pr it was pretty fun to play, but it's like really weird because the way it's tuned is standard still, but you have to like do some extremely like uncomfortable things with your hands. So um, that'd be that'd be actually something fun to do for the video game music because I know a lot of people like that song. It's very recognizable. What class am I playing on this one? I honestly don't remember the name, dude. It's uh, the very last one on the list when you start the game. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, Bloody Wolf, that's what it's called. Uh, are you really good? going to play DVD with Ots? If so, you're looking forward to it. That's what he wants to do, yeah. He asked me to... Um, do it based on the whole notion that people believe you can't uh, be effective as a killer in DBD. So he's pretty good at the game and he wants to show that he could teach somebody with what he's learned to be uh, fairly effective in like a very small fraction of the time. And then kind of maybe debunk that myth that the, the killer is not balanced, that you can't effectively use it. So I think he said he wants to put in about 50 hours or so, which is not a lot actually to be good at something, so. We'll see how good he can teach. that again <laughs> yeah so that's a cool design too though because like the the guy that made that knows that he and probably a lot of other players would want to punish that uh curve sword uh, animation because it's the only one most normal people will go for in general that's like 100 percent safe so that's hilarious that he actually did the one thing that would just completely screw you on that I like that some new windows for the, uh, the magic on this part uh when you start in the future with the hitless run uh you're talking about for this this mod retribution i don't have any plans for that right now <laughs> if you're talking about the run that we were doing before the damages playthrough of the five games i'll be doing that again tomorrow what about not locking on and rolling instead uh, so the thing that's the issue with that Apocalypse, I was trying that, uh, because his hitboxes and his tracking are really good compared to the normal situation, you can't really strafe as much stuff, so there's actually no advantage on Cinder normally uh, locking off other than strafing, right? Like, it doesn't actually give you any advantage, so there'd only be a point if he could miss me with attacks. Because they actually ended up making the quick step pretty effective. It almost seems a bit better than Bloodborne's. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but like the iframes aren't too bad. Uh, Striker, happy new year. Just got off your flight, Nigel. How was your flight, man? What's my PB on the run so far? If you type in exclamation point PB, there's actually a clip you can see. Also, zombie, I don't know if I said hi to you. What's up, Vixit? What's going on? Uh, I play a warrior or the one with the fire. Hmm. Is there a stream schedule? I don't have a schedule, no. Um, but if you want to know when I go live, I'll usually post on Twitter beforehand, and then you can kind of get like a rough range within the um, hour or like, you know, time of day. It's usually the same time. It's uh, Eastern Standard afternoon till evening, somewhere in that time frame, but there's no schedule at the moment.
Okay, I'm gonna try to be a bit ballsy here and just use more magic on this burn. Just burning through all the heals here. Because if he gets uh, Javelin or the uh, Catalyst, it's so much safer. anymore so that actually tracks really well too you can't space that unless I'm just not trying the right method like just maybe sprinting really fast would be better but it's harder to strafe it for sure and that misses sometimes so like if you're far away and you're trying to do magic it's kind of a toss-up because if he starts doing the uh the whole deal with um jumping it's like you gonna miss your uh, magic so it requires that kind of attack right there for example I think it gives you like false heals too so like if you're on fire you try to heal it gives you the animation which is pretty crazy Thank God. That would be so brutal if it wasn't. So it's cool. He actually has two two phase twos. If anyone didn't notice that, that's awesome, dude. Uh, very, very, thank you so much for the four months. Welcome back. Have ever defeated Cinder on this mod? We've been on it for probably like 30 minutes or so. This is the first time I played it before. Also, Clover, what's up? No, <laughs> it's close. Almost, but not quite. I'm going to buy some more embers, actually. Try that. Let's oh, yeah, Vix, it probably is so most likely because I turned it up a lot, actually. So the world might be made. I had a feeling I was actually going to ask like during that last Happy fight because it was birthday. pretty it's loud on my end. It's on five. I'll put it to three. Cheese, thank you for the 71 month reset, man. Welcome back. What did you uh, what did you do on DS3 today? Because I saw you were going back to it. Also, this is what I, I don't know if you caught what I was saying uh, before. I was telling you, you should check this out. It's pretty cool. If you're looking for a playthrough of this game again, like a casual one. I bought all the embers, man. Damn. That is wild. I guess I can get Dark Moon Resin. Could try that. Then I'm gonna switch up. Oh, actually, yeah, my rings are pretty good already. Could take off the Lloyd Sword Ring and then switch it for a healing one. But I feel like the damage is actually more valuable. Tell me about this, it looks crazy. It's really cool, man. I don't want to spoil anything for you. We're about to actually do a part that's like really big. Probably the biggest uh, thing so far with the main content. Uh, if you guys know Cheese was, by the way, though, um, he is. I think he's doing a playthrough of DS3. I, I want to say it's with like the door shield because he uses that a lot right now. Or he's, he's used that a lot in the past. He's done like a, a lot of different challenge runs, bunch of variety content. Definitely check him out though. He is a good friend. And uh, yeah, we might actually be on his channel for the uh, snowboarding streams whenever he does them, if I can make it in time. And if it actually snows too, that'd be cool. <laughs> but yeah, check him out though. He's pretty awesome. And if you like beards too, he's got like a, he's got like the beard that made beards basically, like it invented it. So you might get lost. You might actually not be able to find your way out.
tracking on that's so perfect now, it's insane. seen that yet that was crazy overhead explosion what? is cinder on speed cinder's on some crazy stuff dude that's insane wow stuck in a massive border border control line nigel well i i would say that you are one of the few people that have ever actually tried to watch the stream while in such a situation so i appreciate you being that dedicated man that's crazy Oh man, Ots is rating us too. Someone was actually asking about Ots um, today, so you, I'm, I'm actually going to give the credit to that person for summoning Ots to this, the channel. We opened the box and we came. Oh no. It's actually, it's not good to open boxes that you don't know, you know, the contents of. That's dangerous, man. What if like you opened the stream and I was hanging upside down from like a jungle gym with no clothes on, making monkey sounds, man. Play ad quickly. <laughs> get get that ad revenue, man. Oh man, the Ots, thank you for the raid. If you guys don't know Ots Darva, he um, I was talking about him before. He's really good at Dead by Daylight. Um, good friend. I've known him for a long time. It's been probably like six and a half years now. Six years. Uh, I used to do a lot of Souls content too. He's probably one of the most innovative DS2 players I've seen. Um, a lot of people know him if you like DS2. He did the first all bosses run on that with uh, no hits, which is crazy. I think he had he had the first zero damage DS2 run specifically too. But if if you're really into uh Dead by Daylight or you even play the game kind of casually, I would highly recommend checking him out. He's gonna be trying to teach me how to play it well. Because I've only played it very basically. On a very basic level. Okay, I'm gonna need to redo that one. <laughs> So what we're doing right here, if you're coming in from Mod Star stream, we're trying to do the Hollow Overhaul mod for DS3. What it does is it takes a lot of elements of Bloodborne and some of the other Souls games, combines it together. So there's Bloodborne mechanics, lighting, uh, some of the music, the UI, and then, for example, weapons from different types of games that didn't make it to this one originally. So like even the helmet of my character is from Elden Ring, actually. Got the Beast Talisman from Demon Souls. Um, it's like Bloodborne armor. You got the Tengu Let's mask from Sekiro. So the weapon art is... Uh, Wait, let me see if I can so the world might be do the weapon art. Weapon art is um, Mortal Draw. Squeal, squeal, hype. So lots of really cool stuff in this. I think if you played the game and you want a casual playthrough again, uh, it might be one of the, the best ones if, if you don't want it to be like too crazy or too insane. Because Convergence is really, really like a huge learning curve with the magic and everything. There's so much information in it, uh, even though that is probably my favorite. Uh, is there a way to play this mod without deleting your conversion save? I would just try to back it up first, and then when you when you remod the game, then you can load that file and it should be fine. As long as you have some backup of the file saved, it, sh it should be completely unchanged. Let's go risk and burst. Thank you for the 25 months, man. <laughs> Gotta get a good start on this. v -Sweat, you would like this Cinder, man. This Cinder is crazy. And then, like, the part two, they made it They made it different, but they made it different in a way that's, like, not really similar to anything else, really. It has a lot of variety in it. What is Cinder week two? Usually lightning. Um, the best buff I could find so far that I can buy is this Dark Moon Resin. So I would imagine that's better than lightning or pretty similar. It's usually it's usually a really strong buff, so I'm gonna try that first actually.
Okay, that still missed. Didn't track perfectly. It's just a bit better. Sir, not working. Oh yeah, the explosion. <laughs> My high friend. <laughs> I've already seen that and it was even better the second time. Cause, Cause like you genuinely forget like this, the guy that made this or whoever made this definitely thought of that. You know, he, he thought like, okay, you're gonna try to, you're gonna wanna do this, but then this is gonna happen and you're still gonna try to screw, do it again and it's just not gonna work. <laughs> That's so funny, man, I, I love it. Cinder just turned into a spaceship. That's, yeah, that's a good description. This looks a lot harder. Uh. It's funny because the parts that actually uh, are harder aren't actually that like aggressive. They're pretty subtle. Like the 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 hardest part about it is actually pretty subtle. Uh, looks a lot more engaging, definitely. <laughs> DS seems to me like a incredibly hard game, and it seems like it requires a lot of focus and patience from like a like the base game. Um. Definitely requires a bit of something. You're gonna have to try to beat it. Just kind of depends on how you want to go. But I mean, if you have help from other people in terms of like summons, co-op, could kind of handicap it if you wanted to. But if you're doing it by yourself, yeah, it's gonna take some focus. Canceled that too. Interesting. projectile <laughs> burn damage seems brutal it is yeah i forgot that he like when he does um the combustion the combustion sends a projectile and then also his sword can uh shoot a projectile too on curved sword so it's not even the hitbox beast but he actually shot like a separate attack at the same time as doing the combustion unless i'm, I'm blind or something so there's like a little dig that's, that's what i'm saying like when it comes to difficulty it's like the subtle things are actually the hardest part it's not even like the flashy stuff. Which is kind of cool. That means I think they did a good job. See how there's like a little like um, pyromancy fireball in the middle of that? I haven't seen poison yet. It's interesting. He's got the overhead from convergence, nice. I don't know if that was an unused move or the heat they actually like took something else because that's exactly the same as the overhead from convergence this little gray sword
Oh, explosion. Two hand overhead, yeah. <laughs> so sneaky, dude. So sneaky. The backflip, yep. Backflip's crazy, too. Oh, I wonder, actually, I was going to say, because the other bonfire is here, too. I wonder if we can just go to uh, Ring City from here. Might as well just open that up. Well, you keep laughing the exact same way every time when you die scares me. Honestly, it's just funny, dude. It's hard to it's hard to not laugh. Also, the game crashed there, so that's a, that, that's a normal crash as far as I know. I think it'll normally do that if you play too much content in a short amount of time and then do DLC. But we didn't play a short amount of content, so it's probably because the mod. But yeah, it's kind of it's it's hard to not uh, laugh at some of the things. Like, I think it's just the comedy of like how the dude decided to de design that part is. Uh, it's it's funny because I would do something like that if I was making it. So I feel like it's just it's perfect. Like it actually is is just really well done. Okay, let's try loading this again. Crash number two. All right, it's fine. This mod is Bloodborne. Well, it is, yeah. The There's actually people telling me to change the game directory, which is pretty funny. That means like you're completely fooled. So the world might be mended. Uh, Lucas, thank you so much for the 21 months. Welcome back, man. I appreciate it. I'm gonna take some of your resub power. I'm gonna use it to beat Cinder right now. DS restole that battlefield from Sekiro. Wow, the game that the company that made the same games took ideas from the future, from themselves in the past. Yeah, I think there's some proximity damage there, because I didn't get hit by anything, there's already uh, health ticking, so I think the fire actually can be damaging without the attack sometimes. That thrust is uh, really good too because what he does is um, like it keeps you basically having to only heal in a situation where the cooldown is like very limited. Like there's, there's like a limited amount of things you can like get the heal on from the cooldown. It's like a lot of pressure on that one. So he has to miss a jump or you need him to do the two hand overhead unless that can be cancelled too but so far it's the only thing that looks slow and then um, lightning obviously in the the later part of the health bar. What moveset is that with the Claymore? It's a combination of like Ludwig's sword, uh, Bloodborne moveset, Sekiro, uh, Mortal Draw, and then just like the base Claymore itself. Yeah, see there's some proximity damage on the stagger right there.
Oh, and then that has an explosion after it too. Nice. That's awesome, dude. Uh, are you going to be learning a certain game with a, with a certain person for a certain thing? I think we, I think I might, man. I think I might. <laughs> uh, the way you and the boss seem to deal massive damage and still struggle reminds you of your first playthrough of DS1 a few weeks ago, where you died to ONS a bunch of times, even though you could four shot Ornstein. That's that's kind of the uh, I think the, the true sign that they designed it well, because if you can still do quite a bit of damage and it doesn't completely diminish the entire design, you know, that's pretty cool. Ever get sick of hearing the same questions over and over? Uh, well, if you think about it this way, so any job you have with customer service or like people, uh, you're gonna talk about the same subjects or the same thing's gonna be repeated a certain amount of times regardless. And I've done a lot of things where they're repeated at a rate that's like much higher than this with much less room for uh, freedom of speech and creativity, right? So I think this is like the best possible format to repeat certain things. But uh, I, I don't think you can escape that with a lot of different types of things you can do. projectile on that one? Was that just a random thing there? What was that about? There's, so basically, you take damage from him without giving a hit. Uh, if you're close to him at certain intervals, you just start taking damage from the fire. So that makes a lot more sense because I thought I was playing a lot worse than I was. And then I'm like, why am I taking damage on stuff that's not happening? And I'm like, oh, okay. So in part two, it's the same thing as well. Uh, you have the same conversations every day. It's part and parcel, though. I see. Yeah, I think that just comes along with, like, you know. It's kind of like th that is very similar to the idea. It's like, oh man, I hate the fact I have to breathe oxygen every second. Like, you know, I, but why can't you just live without having to breathe or like blink or, you know, why are your senses so limited or why do you have to drink water to survive or eat? Or, you know, like all those different things. It's like you have to do those all the time, right? Those are like the most redundant things in general. So it kind of boils down to being similar to that in the sense that that can have a certain level of thought and energy expenditure too, but it's even more frequent. And it's not always ideal either, right? But at least if it's like related to another person that can help them, then like there's some value in that. And it might be greater sometimes, so it's really important. Peeing. I've heard so many people say that before. That's why I was mentioning that, because it's like, you know, you can complain about pretty much anything if you're going to look at it that way, right? Because there's, like, there's a bunch of things that you have to do all the time. More frequently than a repeated question of some sort. Uh, kind of hyped for the OTS coaching sessions. Any certain date on when it's happening? Uh, so he was uh, asking me when, and I was just saying any date before or after the 5th is fine, and he was saying after the 5th works. So whenever he has an idea of what his schedule is like, we're going to base it off of that because he's the one teaching. And then we'll do it. It's 
kind of funny because it actually doesn't make sense to try to kill him in this phase like I was before. Because you just take too much damage waiting, so it's like you actually have to try to be very fast. Uh, unless you're going to be perfect on everything, and then you're still going to burn down a full health bar or more because of just proximity, right? So you actually have to um, be very quick. You have to stagger. You have to do something that doesn't involve being like point blank a certain amount of the time to manage the health. Who's being coached and what on? Uh, Ots wants to coach me on DBD to kind of debunk an argument that is in that community right now of like how usable a killer is versus a, the survivor component of the game. Because some people believe that you can't uh, be an effective killer based on the meta of survivors. So he wants to show that you can teach somebody how to do it in like, you know, around like 50 hours or so. Uh, you know, fractions of the time it would take a professional player that does it full time and then still debunk that argument. And then also, I'm a, I think I'm a perfect candidate because I haven't really played it a lot. Plus, I've never actually played Killer before. I've only played Survivor in it in the uh, few times I did play it. Stagger there. Okay, I assumed there would be a stagger. So it's like an experiment? Kinda, yeah. Kind of. Don't jump into DVD, it's not worth it. I think that I don't care enough about the politics and the meta to actually that's like another reason I might be a good candidate, because like I'm I'm not attached enough to the um emotional state of the like game itself and its uh timeline. I don't know anything about it, so uh I can just kind of get down to like just actually performing the stuff well and playing good rather than having to worry about the drama because there's a lot of drama and controversy between people in that community and uh, I'm coming in at a time where I can avoid all of it pretty much. I'm going to have a different perspective on it. I thought that was the explosion. It's cat versus mouse. DVD isn't horror at all. Well, the aesthetic of it is horror, right? Like it's based on like ho it's, it's based on like slasher films for some of the the content, like uh, obviously like Jason, Freddy, Grim Reaper, you know, stuff like that. So, so I think the I think the genre itself, gameplay wise, is is definitely not well, horror survival granted, so the world in the traditional sense, but the actual aesthetic is pretty pretty horror. So the world might be many. Um, Ak Akhenaten, thank you so much for the prime sub. I appreciate it, man. Hope you enjoy your notes. Welcome. Also, CP, uh, thank you for the six months. Welcome. Enjoy your brand new badge as well. How much harder do you think this mod is than normal DS3? Uh, it's about one and a half times harder so far. 
Because you have to consider when someone's playing it, like they've already played the base game, so... I'm not going to be able to experience that at a difficulty rate that someone would if they never played either. So it's already diminished a bit, but I think if you played this first, it would be more than twice as hard as playing the, the original one with no prior experience. Killer's being frustrated by the new survival boon perks. I, see, I don't even know what that is, so I'd ha I'll have to have a rundown on everything, man. <laughs> There's a lot of bias, negativity, and entitlement in the community, especially regarding some big content creators. Yeah, there's there's someone in particular I won't name drop, but uh, like they were one of the first people that ever hosted me, and like we had started making content like kinda at a similar time. Like I think they had like maybe a year or two on me, um, but I watched them uh, kind of transition into DBD, and. Um, I heard that, like, I guess they had a lot of problems with other people kind of trying to hate on them because they were playing it really well. Because, like, this, this dude's, like, really good at everything, basically. He's played a lot of games tournament level, like, world class, so he's pretty much good at whatever he, he needs to be good at. Um, usually top percent, but also apparently caught a lot of drama on it just from playing really good. And uh, there's actually people trying to, like, cancel certain aspects. Like, before the cancel culture was really popular, it was, it was, it was like, kind of, like, um... Like, a, a situation similar to that, right? Like, where they're just, okay, let's get enough people to, like, agree with an opinion they don't know enough about so that they can stop this person from doing something that they actually don't understand in the first place. Uh, you really want to see me get this but you need some sleep psp definitely if you need to sleep that's way more important i would suggest sleeping because you'll still be able to watch me uh complete this if i at least get it done today i can upload it maybe tomorrow or the next day i'm starting to think we'll probably have to do part four uh just based on this fight because this is taking probably uh, almost an hour at this point or more and then it could be another half an hour or so and that's basically how long i plan the stream so I think we might do a part four for the DLC. But what I'll try to do is condense as much as I possibly can into one video. Whenever that's done um, being rendered, then I will have the full thing for you so you can watch it. And therefore, you don't have to be here to sleep. Oh, actually, the fire in the environment is also harmful, too. Maybe that's actually more of the issue than uh, where Cinder is. That could actually be our problem. I don't care, stamina. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thanks, man. Also, Nigel, congrats. That's awesome. <laughs> That's good to hear. You want to like DVD, but you can't. Too bland for you. Maybe if a nun and paranormal stuff gets added uh, and enhanced on, you'll play it. That's yeah. I was gonna say they 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 have infinite potential for the uh, like the actual characters they can add. I think, but you're saying that you don't like the way the game works, like from a like an overall gameplay standpoint, like the the whole point of it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> nice. Don't like how simple it is. You knock stuff over, get stabbed. Don't like that. True. Like you want more complexity to it. It definitely is like a pretty simple idea that can be done in many different ways. Uh, Lawler, if I didn't say hi to you, what's up, or Lol Robot? Sleep, you never heard of it. Golden, you need to go for it. Yeah, no, we were actually taking fire damage there from not touching the fire, so it's still something to do with uh, Cinder then, too. Should name this one Stamina. Cinder, they should, yeah. And Ember would be uh, really nice on this one. Not sure if I can get them from patches though. I might want to save patches and see. Let's try that first and see if that works. Because it could be a big advantage in the second part. Also, Toby, thank you for the 19 months. Welcome back, man. Would like it if the bad perks got a buff. Wouldn't it just be like, so the bad perks being that you have to choose them? Is that what you're saying? Because I don't know how it works with the perks. Like you'd have to be forced to choose bad ones until you play a certain amount of time. Like, what are the good perks gated with? Did I get Grey Rat? I didn't know. We could. We could try to go save Grey Rat. Um, actually, you know what? Normally, there actually is Embers right here. Let me see if they're still there. Because I remember I checked this area originally. I think I might have picked them up already. But maybe not. Members. It was nice. Uh, they gated with DLCs and a shit ton of grinding um, and in-game currency. I see. But like, isn't it popular for people to like kind of like de-level on it or whatever, or basically like restart? Like that's like what the high-level content is—is is you just basically have to like be disadvantaged and you. Do your thing and then you restart it again. Um, Mikhail, what's up? How's it going? Charter and more tedious to D rank with MMR. Okay, I'm gonna have to actually like get a crash course on all the terminology first before we can <laughs> talk about this effectively. <laughs> Ots will take good care of you. He'll 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 tell me. He'll show me the way. We'll be good. Man, that kind of looks like Aldia. I wonder if that's that's um, similar to the trees that are used in Convergence for uh, Isleth, or um, basically like the lake, like the smoldering lake. Kind of like COD skill-based matchmaking. Uh, was that always a thing? I don't remember that always being a thing. Hmm. Uh, sir, I didn't know. We're trying to get patches to see if I can get some embers. I had to, but then I realized as I did that that the kicks do damage. So we can't do that too many times. Uh, Hinteria, what's up? How's it going? Hmm, is this uh, human pine resin? I try those two.
uh, why the tower lifted in Homeward Bone. It's the quickest way to get patches to uh, become a merchant. Otherwise, I think you have to uh, do some stuff in the cathedral. But if you had beaten the game to the point of where distant manor bonfire would usually be, you can go back. Or I guess I think it's like as soon as you get to Irithyll, basically. You get a bit into Irithyll and then um, go back and then he'll lock you in the, the tower you escape and then he'll apologize. Completely dominate one game, the next game you'd get stomped on. Oh, okay, I see. Based on the matchmaking specifically? There's one other thing I can think of on this that could make a huge difference, but we'll see if we need to do that. Might not be necessary. Also, first heal should just be an ember at this point. That was super lucky right there. Oh, you know what, actually? I just realized something. Let me try this again. I wonder if that jump is something that happens a lot. I think it's literally the intro. It's like a scripted one. Yeah, there's like a basically there's a free opportunity on the scripted jump. The others are a bit too uh, quick. Sucks because, like, if I had it, oh, that might have been a good, good enough. It's close. Okay, let's see if we can get the. If I might be able to punish his first jump that he does. Dipping your sword in hot sauce would surely buff it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> might. Uh, you want to be in that choir that sings all the final boss fights for the RPGs? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, only played FromSoft games for years now. Playing something different would be so strange. Really? You've only, you, you only... You don't play anything else? Hmm. See, like, even though I made content for them, I've never actually done that before, so that'd be interesting. Like, I can kind of understand, but I can't fully understand, though. There's always other genres that are fun, too. Sucks. Nice. How can you be so chill, kangaroos? Well, the way it works for me usually is like, we're just trying to get it done, so we gotta figure out how that works, uh, figure out if it's possible, and then prove that it's possible, and then reassess everything we already just figured out, and then change the things that seem to not be true. So that's uh, this is just part of the process. We're basically just trying to win um so i know how to win now i know how it theoretically can be done very well and now i have to actually perform that but then i have to go back and check like i said what's false right because there's, there's going to be some things that aren't exactly how i thought they might have been sometimes it's fine sometimes i'm pretty good at judging it but 
because I haven't really actually full, fully completed the process, it's hard to really have a opinion fully yet until we've seen that through. And if that doesn't work, then, you know, I take it from there, I guess. Could get pretty frustrated. Could just be like, okay, we got to go and get this now and then try this instead. But I'm not really at the point yet where I can really say that kind of stuff, you know? I haven't really done enough. It's, it's enough to do it, but is it enough to actually do it well on a frequent basis, right? so hard to do the magic. Oh, but this is really good. Very good. He can't stagger during that, though. Unless it's, like, not happening as much for me. I don't know. It's... It takes a lot to stagger on that. Just barely. So, like, a lot of the health in that, like, even though I, did, I got attacked a little bit, like, I'd say, like, 20% of it's still just from, like, you know, doing this. Oh, no, see, that doesn't do any damage. It's literally just, okay, so it was proximity then. Interesting. All right, well, that's Soul of Cinder. That's basically everything in the main game, and then there's the DLC left, but I think I'm going to save it for tomorrow, though, just because it could take, like, two hours, three hours, and I, I had about four hours today, so. Um... Yeah, but also hopefully that answers that question. I'm sorry, man. I would definitely do more, but I only plan to do four hours, so. I thought we could actually finish it in less, but only on, like, if the fact was that they didn't change too, too much um, towards, like, the end to make it, like, really hard, so. Definitely did something like that. <laughs> Haven't watched a stream and all of a sudden face game. Uh, Antec, when was the last time you were here? Having gold complete, can sleep in peace now. Oh, boy. Um, Silv, what's up? Do you can never know where you stand on a deal? Do you can never know where you stand? Game knows, but the player doesn't know. Wait, are we talking about something else? How much fire resistance do I have? I have a decent amount, actually. The armor I have on is a combination of the best fire resistance plus um, physical defense that I can possibly get. Have you had moments where you had to catch yourself being too frustrated with games in general? Oh, all, all the time, dude. Pretty much mostly every single time I do something except for... If it's something that I've done for a while now, like, I just don't have the time to waste for the the stuff that just wastes more time and doesn't actually make you better. But if it's something that um, just, you know, unfortunately hits that mark, then yeah, it's possible. But not as much, though. I think that's something you do. Like, that's a part of the whole... Um, procedure you're going to go through when you try to learn something um, but it can kind of be better the next time you learn something different if you use the learning process as a indicator 
from the other subject, right? So like if you think of that as a separate idea, so there's two things going on. You're basically conceptualizing with the actual idea and then you're also um, trying to um, have a system you're applying that's based on how you learn things with that concept. And that is the same, that's just gonna be a system that works pretty much exclusively or universally for a lot of stuff, right? And then like the actual concepts will be separate. So I think if you've done things like, for example, I played other modded runs before that are really frustrating. It, it probably made it easier to do this without being like completely uh, upset about it, but we didn't really spend a lot of time on anything on this though. I think that like for me, like you could spend like eight hours on a single boss. That's pretty normal. Like that's not really like that crazy in my opinion, you know, 10, 12, 15 hours, 20 hours. Like then it starts to get a bit more frustrating, but because I've already done that, um, if it's not that, then why would it be worth complaining about, right? As long as uh, I'm figuring things out, you know, if I can be better. If I'm not getting better, then obviously there's a problem, right? But I think the way I would not get better is doing, um, you know, a bad job of paying attention. So I think that when you get really pissed off, you're not paying attention, really. Uh, anyways, for anyone that hasn't been here for what we've been doing the past handful of streams, uh, we're playing this mod called Hollow Overhaul. Basically uh, combining elements of Bloodborne and other Souls games into Dark Souls 3 and kind of reworking the playthrough into a new playthrough for people that have played it quite a bit. So we're gonna be finishing that actually. Got the DLC. And then um, we gotta switch back to the master run, but I was debating if I should unmod the game right away and we should play DS3 first or what, so might do that in between, but that is what's going on today. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. Rula, what's up? Did I finish the master run? I have not, no. I have not yet. Also, fish. What's up? How's it going, man? Uh, Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. Uh, sick. You're gonna have to actually ask a moderator so to give you permit, or if you if you just let me know what you're gonna post, I can give you a permit, and then you can post a link. Just just let me know what you're gonna put there. Uh, also, nice chicken. Thank you for the 15 months. Welcome back. Thank you for the prime sub, dude. Playing Hollow Knight while watching. Is it your first playthrough on Hollow Knight? Other Souls Runners like uh, Redeem Redeemus, Distortion 2. Not many, though. You're the mainstreamer you look out for. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Also, uh, Liv, heard you're going to be Let's coached by Ots on DVD. I will, so yeah. The world might be mended. It's going to be in a handful of days, so I guess. The world might be mended. A bit crazy to say it's been a couple handfuls. Wait. What I say, What is what is crazy to say? I'm confused. Uh, also, Stabilizer, thank you for the 22 months. Welcome back. Uh, you haven't heard about this mod before? It's super, super cool. So I actually, I just uh, finished rendering and then started to upload the uh, the part one of it because it's going to be in part one and two. So if you want everything uh, with the main game, pretty much. Uh, wait, let me, let, me, let me actually think about that for a second. No, it's going to be everything except for some of the end game in the first part. Then the second part will be the DLC, the end game, and then a couple optional things. Uh, so that'll that'll be there either tonight or tomorrow, whenever it's finished. Also, uh, by the way, we're still raising money for sick kids through St. Jude Play Live. So here's the charity link for that if you want to contribute towards it before we're done. I've left it going for a handful of days so far, but we're going to be doing probably a few more days of fundraising for them, a few more streams. So this will be like the third last stream, for example. Um, and so far we've raised uh, quite a bit for for um, a pretty damn good cause. So if you want more information on the charity, it's right there. Um, and whatever the total is, we're going to match it. So I'll be putting up the same amount that you guys contribute uh, myself, and then we'll combine it together. And that is the plan. Uh, and then, yeah, let's let's continue this. It's got 154,000. We got to try to level or buy some stuff. Ashen one. I don't think I can get the wheel yet still. Let me actually double check and see. I really want the Logarius wheel. I need I need four of the lost souls to transpose them into a weapon that's like unique or whatever. So you guys notice there's some pretty cool weapons we can already get. The other one that I wanted to get is the Sanctum Mace. You'll need three of the lost souls, but I want to wait and get the wheel. The wheel looks really cool. And then uh, apparently Ludwig's sword takes eight of them. That's crazy. So like if we figure out where we get all these next time I play it, I'm going to go for that as a goal and then try to get one of the unique weapons for the playthrough. 
Do have any guns yet? I don't have any guns yet either. That's another thing I haven't found. I'm not sure, like, if you pick them up off the ground, you have to start with them. Uh, or, like, where you find them. If I donate a million, would you still match it? I would not match a million. Um, there will be, like, a limitation to it being, like, ridiculous, obviously. So, I mean... I think if it, hits, if it hit, like, you know, maybe double, triple what it is now, it'd be a little bit hard to do that, but I'm going to try my best. I didn't even think we would raise much in total as we already have so far, though, so my mindset wasn't uh, thinking of that. <laughs> but it's cool, though, so we've got 594 damage, nice. Admirable first, first uh, stream ever that you've been in, nice, man. Welcome, Admiral. Okay, so how do we get to the DLC the fastest? We already have the bonfire for the second one. And then the first one is Cathedral. Uh, I don't know if the bonfire and Cathedral is still there, though. I haven't been there yet, so... Hmm. And I, I'm assuming you can't get into the first DLC by going into the second DLC. It's only the other way around, right? So... I think I'm going to do the second DLC first, and we're going to finish with the first DLC. Spain, what's up, dude? Had COVID a few months back, Mighty. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Uh, you're only sick for one night, but it ruined quite a bit for you. You got lightheaded, threw up, and that was about it. Thought it would have ended you because of how long you smoked for. Thought you were going to... Get a taste of karma, but you got lucky. Nice, man. I'm glad you're okay. Also, uh, Tatten, what's up? How's it going? Man, the screen's actually a little bit dark. I might have to, uh... It's a bit of a glare, actually. I'm gonna have to <laughs> deal with that, I guess. Because the DLC is, uh... It's very dim in this mod. You gonna go give your good friend Mr. Beast a call? Yeah, dude, just tell him to throw in a couple million for me on the, on the way over. A Lamborghini, maybe. What's going on, Toman? Uh, also, Polly, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I appreciate it. If I didn't say thank you for that yet, welcome, Polly. There's actually there's a really cool ring over here. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna try to get it. I think it's uh, Steel Protection plus three or something that like increases defense, right? Where's my torch? You actually need a torch to see in this mod. It helps. Murky Longstaff? Okay. It's uh, up on the ledge. I don't know where to go from here, though. Oh, the staircase right here. Okay, cool. Uh, that's not a chest, okay. Oh, they made this part really dark. Great soul drags. Okay. Is there no ring up here? I thought there was a ring. Maybe down here. There it is. Covetous Silver Serpent Ring plus three. That's going to be really good. Just for absorbing souls and all that. I'm gonna actually use it in place of Sage Ring when we're not casting any magic. That is that is a ring I should have been using the basic version of on this, but that's gonna help a little bit. Health bar looks uh, different. So basically this, this mod incorporates a lot of Bloodborne user interface uh, materials. It has mechanics, um, certain types of uh, music, and like the loading screens are different. Uh, they kind of like Bloodborne as well. Pretty much everything. If you want the full uh, bit of information on what actually has changed in this, there's a command that I made. You type an exclamation point mod, it'll actually explain. And then if you want to actually see on like the full list of stuff, there's the website. But there's a little bit of like a, a synopsis. Nuts that people can do this. I know the person that made this is super talented, man. 
I wonder if I could do Angel Skip. I'm gonna try to. If I can do Angel Skip first try, I imagine. Wait, let's first make sure. Am I going the right way? That's not the right way. <laughs> I was thinking, like, maybe I should hit a bonfire over here. Did I already do that? I think I did, like, two seconds ago, right? Yeah. DSU with the Whirly Gig saw? That'd be so cool. We're just going to try to go for it again. That's not the right way. Might need a torch to see. Okay. I think the angel's been rebalanced to do less damage. That's what it seems like. Because I usually would be dead at this point. Okay, I'm just gonna go this way. <laughs> the angel skip is not working in our favor. Not today. Twinkling side night, nice. Cadex has the modded run going. We're trying to do the DLC right now today. And um, I guess whatever else. I don't think there really is any other things. Um, aside from the game was saying that you, or this mod was telling me that you can replay through other stuff. Uh, if you find the statues that are according in the areas you've already gone through. And then we have to offer an item to them or do something like interact with them and we can replay stuff. And then it was saying there's also um, like harder enemies and stuff like that too. So... Can always check out and see what that's like after this is done. How much damage was the weapon art? It looked like 20,000. I think it's about like 1,800 or so. <laughs> it's it's a lot. It was a lot for sure. Um, got Dancer Part 2. Yeah, I wonder if we can go back and do that now. Hmm. Listen to anything cool recently, Hunter? Uh, nothing that I haven't talked about before. Or that's like newer than the last time I found new music. I don't think I don't. I, the thing is, I don't really find new music like periodically. It's more of just in like waves, and then just kind of gets combined with my existing playlist. Uh, what about you? You guys definitely have pretty damn good suggestions for new music. Definitely better than I end up finding myself, just because way more uh, people are gonna find some once in a while, right? So it kind of equals a pretty big amount of new music every time I ask for suggestions. Well, this damage is pretty good. Oh, the, the torch can't be out while uh, you have your weapon in your other hand. That sucks.
like the music. Definitely good music. Ooh, early stagger. This is uh, Lawrence uh, music, right? Or am I thinking of something else? I think this is Lawrence music. It's so cool the light goes out right when uh, his health is at uh, zero there. It's awesome. What kind of risk do I listen to, Pyrex? If you type in exclamation point playlist, it'll give you an example. It's probably the best way. There's a lot of stuff, dude. Do you have any problem in your life? You seem so wholesome, bro. I think everybody has problems, dude. I think that's the point of life is to have problems. Otherwise, there's not really a lot of um, contrast or like growth, right? So you kind of actually need to have problems to, to live. Um, not that you should make problems for yourself that aren't necessary, but I think you have to have conflict for life to have meaning in, in a lot of cases. That's my perspective, though. So, yeah, I'd say so. Uh, Ace Moon, what's up? Got to go through the bad to appreciate the good. Well, it's also like what makes you, right? So you're a product of the, uh, the situational outcome, right, for a lot of decisions and uh, events. So... It's kind of like the idea that, let's say you have a math problem and you're trying to become better at math. If you don't solve the math problem, um, you don't get better at math. Therefore, the problem is actually necessary to become better at the subject or solve the equation. So it's the same thing. You could apply that to like a lot of other stuff too, even though it's more dynamic or less, uh, you know, um, governed by a more strict rule set. It's still similar concepts, right? What's over here? Ooh, that's new. Hello. Oh, uh, what? It's gone. That's uh, Lawrence's uh, song. Didn't score part way through. Yeah, I was kind of confused once the music changed up. I'm like, that is Lawrence music, right? Because they, they basically remix the uh, Cleric Beast soundtrack. Making demons look like scrubs since 2016. Dude, 2016, what the DLC wasn't even released. Am I a time traveler? Are you are you telling the secrets that I had early access? This didn't this didn't even come out in 2016. I'm a cheater. Uh, do I know Sludge? They do Lovecraft themed black and prog. I've never heard of uh, Sludge before. I've heard of the like a, a subcategory of music called like sludge metal, but I've never heard um, of sludge as a band, an artist. Lovecraft theme black prog sounds pretty interesting. Wonder how you would even make something sound like it was Lovecrafty, and like what is the sound of that even supposed to mean? Is it kind of like horror music or horror horror kind of uh, vibes? What about Old Demon King? Uh, yeah, okay, De Old Demon King counts, that's true, that's true, you're right. Oh, what's going on there? I uh, saw your Bloodborne run and you were shocked at how easy you made the lava dude in church look. Lava dude in church. Oh no. 
<laughs> the curse was was imminent. Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence is typically pretty easy if you cheese him, so I probably cheesed him in that run. When did Ring City come out? It was 2017 for this DLC. Man, the frenzy takes so long to go down. I need, um... What are the things that you use in uh, Bloodborne called again? Um, sedatives. I need sedatives. I don't even know if that's in this. <laughs> that's how crazy it is. Also, when you hit those dudes, once they disappear, I wonder if that's some sort of puzzle. Like, oh, there's only one left now, so... They must all equal to, like, one enemy in the end. The Frenzy Meter, your worst nightmare. Yeah, they brought it to this. DLC is dark. I didn't think it was gonna be this dark. Time traveler exposed. Don't don't tell anybody, please. Uh, the theme is conveyed mostly through the lyrics, but the music has a really mysterious and eerie vibe to it. That's cool, man. You gotta send me some of their music if you can at some point. They're a must against winter lanterns with low frenzy resistant builds. Yeah, you definitely need them for that area. Just Menzis in general, Menzis Brain, Lanterns. Uh, what else even can you get Frenzy from? Hmm. I know those are the worst. There's got to be something else, though. What am I drinking? I'm always drinking water on stream or coffee, but I finished the coffee, though. Milk. Oh, man, that'd be crazy. Dude, if you, if you streamed full-time and drank milk the entire time, I feel like you would be doing things that are unneed- like, they're unneededly difficult, or more difficult than they would have to be, and you're just- you're just flexing that you can drink milk and be hydrated. <laughs> that would be- that would be like an attribute of some sort. Uh, how's- I'm doing pretty good, man. How are you? Let's get the shortcut over here, too. Garden of Eyes builds up Frenzy if they grab you. Garden of Eyes. Where is that specifically in Bloodborne? Imagine you're fully pumped up for Elden Ring. I'm definitely excited for it, dude. It's such a good game. I, I played it, and um, that's enough for me to be convinced, man. So, uh... I mean, I don't know the best out of anybody how awesome it's going to be because I haven't played every bit of the the um, the tests, the network tests, but I played some of it. So I think I have a huge uh, advantage in terms of dictating if I'm going to like it or not. Unless they change a lot of stuff, I would imagine they don't, but, you know, from a very basic level of uh, having tried it, it's, it's pretty cool. Okay, let's see if we can dodge Madeir Fire. Oh, it's coming backwards now. We are supposed to do it the first time. Hit the reverse way there. Oh, of course there's just a Black Knight right here, too. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Donald uh, 2.0. So 
looks like Bloodborne. It does, yeah. Oh, he just... <laughs> He's just like, oh shit, I'm scared. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I don't think I've seen that before. He, he like backed himself off the ledge. Oh no. There's another Black Knight here too. Oh, but there is more to the story here. Well, that's a little that's a little bit of a dramatic uh, situation on the staircase. <laughs> Can I try to do the first uh, Elden Ring no hit run? Uh, not really. No, the goal is to play the game, and then uh, if I like it, um, that's a good thing. Obviously, I, I I'd imagine I'd probably like it on a casual basis, but you're just gonna complete it. And then go from there. Uh, I definitely will need to make a PvP build as well, so I'll probably use my first character uh, if the stats are okay and if you can respec to do some PvP. Uh, and then I'll try some other stuff after that, but I can't really tell you what is going to happen. Because um, that's de definitely not the plan, though. Other than just uh, trying to complete it and test the game, see what it's about. But if it becomes the plan, it becomes the plan. That'd be pretty cool. It's definitely not the priority right now. Uh, have you seen this emote yet? <laughs> I have not seen that one though. What is that? I think a lot of people try runs on Elden Ring. I just don't know exactly like when in the timeline of it being released and what the plan will be. I think people will have to play it first and then decide. As much as you want to decide before it actually happens, like you'd, you'd have to still see, right? So that's worth uh, checking out first and then deciding, I think. That's Vixit's face. Put on to Squill Smug. Oh, okay, that's interesting. January 6th, you're ready, Teriyaki. What is happening January 6th? Uh, are there usually Black Knights here? No, like all these enemies are, are uh, not here at all. It's This place is empty, other than a couple skeletons. Elden, Elden Ring released January 6th, so it's actually coming out in February, unless they change the date a third time. Like, unless that, that's a new piece of information. Oh, but can he beat it? Oh, boy. Okay, he's doing the good attack at least. This is nice. These guys are getting roasted over here. But then there was the skeleton that survived. Not even knowing the rock he hid behind for safety was about to fail him because Madeir eats you for breakfast. But then, the skeleton tried and ended up dying. There we go, now he's dead. It almost went with the story. I feel like we just gave him like a like a nice uh, visit to the dentist there with the sword. Just like, is that tooth feeling like it's hurting? And then just like, boom, let's knock it out of there. That's, that's what just happened. <laughs> oh, we got a dark wraith here too. Going pretty good, Jay. How are you doing, man? Have I done a Thrones Armor run on DS1? Uh, what is that? Thrones Armor run? 
Also, uh, Barb, dude, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream, man? Be granted, so the world I didn't know that you mended. finished at this time. Oh, no, you, you do the two streams still, so right? I haven't watched you for a little bit because I've been starting a bit later, and then, uh... You're, you're, you're not even on the list sometimes, you're off. Yo, he hit me through the ground! That was, that was uh, anyone coming from Barb Stream, welcome. Uh, if you don't know what we do here, I play a lot of Souls-related games. Uh, I do some variety, too. Uh, we've been getting more into, like, racing simulation. Uh, sometimes I'll do, like, action platformers, such as Hollow Knight. Um, gonna be playing Metroid Dread in the future as well and then we got this run that we're working on right now which is a modded playthrough of ds3 that is meant to play more like bloodborne it's called hollow overhaul and if you want more information it's in the modded command exclamation point mod uh, i'm also working on a zero damage run of the entire series back to back minus sekiro if you count that and if you guys don't know who Barb is, he is one of the best uh, kaizo mario players there is uh, so Kaizo Mario is basically just like hacked Mario. So it's like way harder than the normal game. <laughs> he also designs a lot of uh, so the world might be a lot of worlds for Mario, Kaizo, and uh, Mario Maker. Three years now. I'm trying to give him a shout out, but I spell his name wrong almost every single time I do it, even though I know his name. So I have to be extra careful, extra slow. There we go. I think it worked. Yep. He's oh, you're playing Enter the Gungeon. Nice. That's a good game. That's pretty cool. Uh, Jay, thank you for the four months. Welcome back. Also, uh, Jay Gator, thank you for this 36 months. Can't believe you've been watching for over three years now. I know. How do you? How do you? How do you still do it, man? I, I, what we got to do is you got to figure out. Got to do a psych evaluation on you. Figure out exactly what's working, and then we got to extract that and then use that. Got to make a product with that. All right, I have almost half a mil right here that we got to put in the character somehow. But it sucks, because I still need to... I, I want to get a transposed weapon, and I only have four of these Lost Souls, which you have to get more of to get the really cool weapons. So we're going to wait and hope that this DLC, I get one of those. Like, you'd think it would make sense you beat the DLC, you get, like, one of the best items in this mod to, uh, you know, access all the cool weapons, right? Okay, I'm going to start putting in more Endurance. And then we might as well scale maybe faith or intelligence at this point. I don't know. I guess maybe dexterity because the the damage. Nice. Uh, when do you change your room setup? Nice chicken. Uh, so I actually moved, but um, you might have not been here since then. So it's just a different room. It's not the same one. Uh, by the way, good news, if you remember that half marathon you did a while ago, you managed to get a better time on it. Sebla, congrats, congrats, man, that's awesome. Um, I'm trying to remember the time you told me before, it was in the three hour range, wasn't it? Or something like that, or no? Soul of the lost Wait, from its best yes. Day. Was it three hours and something before? Also, so what are, are you planning on eventually once you get a good enough time on the half marathon? Are you going to do a full one or do you just do full ones on other occasions just be, like when you can? Uh, all right, let's go back to. Oh, no, I don't have the bonfire where I made it to. Oh, I got the shortcut. That's why. Okay, I'm like, what? Uh, Dark, thank you for the brand new sub. I hope you enjoy your modes, man. How's the mod so far? Um, it's really good, dude. I really like this mod. Also, because we have the opportunity to tell more people, um, probably should have said this when we got hosted. Uh, so we actually are raising money for charity right now um, through this link here for St. Jude Play Live, which is basically just helping sick kids that are um, suffering from chronic, or not chronic, chronic illnesses. Um, and it helps, uh, you know, operate their facilities and help families. It's about $100 a day per family. So, so far, what we've raised is... Uh, around almost 1800 or so and then i'm going to be matching whatever the donations are so we'll be doubling it and then that should help some families that have a sick kid and uh yeah thank you for everyone that's donated so far but if you are interested in that we're still raising money for that for the next few days and now we're going to try to kill half light if we can uh 
uh, Spotify link, which do you prefer? YouTube or Spotify? Um, if it's on either, it's fine. Um, I can't add the music to the playlist that we play on the stream and have it be listened to, unfortunately, because it's a lot of it's copyright stricken, but um, if it's on Spotify, I can add it to my personal playlist, so that'd be a bit easier if it's a Spotify song. Just depends on uh, if you want me to check it out to add on my own playlist. It's really sweet of me to do. Well, I mean, we usually we do annual fundraising regardless, but I haven't raised as much money for St. Jude in total. Um, we've done quite a bit for Extra Life, but not, not St. Jude. It's the same kind of concept, though. Just wanted to, like, spread it somewhere else, you know. That Tarnished Helm. Yeah, we got Elden Ring equipment on this, too. I forgot to mention, uh, for anyone that hasn't seen this mod, if you just popped in, like, a lot of the equipment in this game now is from a lot of the previous games, plus uh, there's some of it from Elden Ring, too. So I have a sword that I think is from Elden Ring, and then this helmet is the Tarnished Helmet, which is pretty cool. Now I'm PvPing with half Light. Will it be enough? Oh, dude, Half Light's bow looks really cool. Wait, is that even Half Light? Who is that? Why's he got a hammer? Look at that guy. Infinite bow with a hammer in the hand at the same time. I don't believe that. Alright, so the DLC was changed, and this guy can basically take 60% of my health with one arrow. Nice. <laughs> that hits that close range. Nice, dude. That's insane. I have an idea. The amount of time he holds the arrow for concerns me. <laughs> so there's a chance if I do this perfectly now, if I use this herb, I get enough health back. We could win, but he hits really hard, though, so I can't hit get hit by another arrow at this point. Oh, I meant, of course, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go back in there. Oh, man, that's crazy. Sword looks cool. The sword looks really cool. It's kind of like a bloody claymore, but it has the moveset of... Um, the mortal blade from uh, Sekiro with the uh, mortal draw and then the rest of it is kind of like a combination of the bloodborne ludwig sword moveset so it's got like the diagonal attacks it's got the diagonal uh heavy attack the regular horizontal claymore attack and then this that's like the mortal draw attack Uh, a little late on your Christmas gift, but you bought me three guitars used by Jimi Hendrix in his personal car. All you need to know is your name, credit card info, your birthday to be able to send it to you. Damn, dude. How did, how did you know I wanted all that stuff? That's crazy. I'll, I'll be right on 
I'll, I'll, I'll be as quick as I can with giving you all the information you need that's totally not incriminating or will allow you to uh, commit identity fraud. What a great present. This guy seems completely believable and totally harmless. Fight seems impossible. Oh, this is pretty easy so far compared to the other ones. This will be pretty... Uh, I think this will be done in a couple tries or so. I just have to get a good start. It's mainly just based on, um, can you kill the painting guardians? Because, um, well, that's assuming at least that there's no phase two for half light versus just the, the painting guardians being the, the only trouble. Also, there's one ring I gotta change back to. <laughs> Nick, that's funny, man. <laughs> Can you parry him? Uh, you might be able to, yeah. The problem is if he's gonna shoot the arrow point blank and he's gonna take 60% of your health, is it worth trying to set up for a parry if most of the time he's not even actually attacking with a weapon, right? Like he will, but he'll only do that once it's safe to, so it's kind of like the priority is the magic. And he's got other magic protecting him when he's casting the main magic too, so it's kind of like a, a a tough situation to actually like hit him in the first place, even just normally. So pairing usually only works for me when it's like okay, I could I could definitely find some more room to hit the the dude normally. Like it's not like there's uh, no time, right? See, like, and he's also got poise too. Which means that when I attack, even if I time it right, I get punished still because he doesn't get staggered by my attack. So I can't hit him without getting hit back sometimes, if not all the time. That's another issue. Okay, there's a stagger, so jump attack will work. Just gotta hit with like a heavier attack, but that's also slower, so I have to time that really well, like almost perfect. Good. So he even has hyper armor on staggerable attacks, if the angle or the timing is weird. So if he roll recovers or he like input reads 
what I do and then he recovers from the roll, he doesn't get staggered out of the jump attack. Unless it's only like a partial hit. So I actually have to hope that goes over my head if he roll recovers. Unless I can punish him with like a running attack sooner and then like try to evade the next one. Could be possible too. It's a little dangerous though. I'm gonna play this really slow because I have a thing on healing me a little bit, so we're gonna wait till that's full. Or like close, so I can survive at least. Also, Assumption Boltron, thank you so much for the uh the prime sub. I hope you enjoy your modes, man. Welcome. Is this what Half Light normally looks like? No, he doesn't. Half Light Arrow of the Church, yeah. <laughs> I played Mortal Shell. Yep, there's a full playthrough on uh, my YouTube. I also ran some tournaments for it too. Or I practiced quite a bit for a tournament, and then I think we did uh, multiple rounds of it. So did some runs on it too. Uh, Jack, what's up, dude? Welcome back. Jack J Owens, or is it Jones? The mystery. It'd be funny if you could use uh, that spell that makes magic basically like kind of useless. I forget what it's called again. Um, what's the name of it? It basically stops magic. I wonder if that would work. This fight seems annoying. It is a little annoying, I'll be honest. It's kind of funny, actually. It's a weird way to make it more challenging, but it, it's simple, though. And it looks cool. It's not even really the concept though, it's just the way it's calibrated. It's calibrated very aggressively. The AI. Oh wait, you know what? I think I could use number, can I? I can, yes. Nice. Okay, that helps a lot more. That definitely helps. Let's try a bit of a different strategy here. Yeah, that works. Okay. I think that's the only actual guaranteed way. Because the stagger, it's like so much of a commitment that you end up getting hit still sometimes. Just a little bit 
dangerous. Okay, what other items do we have here? Firebombs. Okay, input reads the firebombs too, nice. Uh, I could try attempting to cast a spell as soon as he rolls, targeting him and see if it works, but that's a pretty big risk though, we'll have to see. Oh, got it. <laughs> okay, maybe not now. Maybe we'll have to wait. What about a magic resistant shield? Uh, that might actually work. You are correct, there is one shield we have. Oh, we don't actually have it, sorry. I was wrong. I don't have a magic resistant shield. But there's one in the game, though. The lock shield, uh, I could, I could probably, I, I think I can unlock it if I use the lost souls, but then I can't get the wheel. So, do they want the Logarius wheel? So I'm gonna wait till my health goes back up for a while now. <laughs> I guess we could just sit and chill. Never heard this song all the way through until now. Some of the music gets pretty cool if you let it uh, play a bit. Is this the most challenging boss you fought in this mod? No, definitely not. It's like the least accessible though. Like just from a design standpoint. Like unless of course like something uh, such as the lock shield would actually help, then you'd have to have probably played it and then went back and tried to re-strategize with that. But I don't think we would need it. It's just going to be like not getting hit by too many of the arrows would just be the way to survive because they take a lot of health, right? So if it's a one shot at half health, then we just need to be careful. Hmm. Renaz didn't even do anything there. I wonder if, like, if I threw this, it would make him input read automatically. Yeah, it does. Okay. So there is, like, there is another way. Yeah, that makes him run. Okay. So if we have to do this again, we'll try using those for the early fight.
I just discovered the che uh, cheese, the cheesiest boss rack. Oh man, I wish. Does he still target from across the entire arena? He does, dude. That's actually wild, dude. So his range on targeting you is like across the... It's like much longer than the normal amount of range that they have.
This is some really interesting programming we got here. I don't know what to say about this. Nice, GG. Whew. Kirk Hammer, nice dude. I love the Kirk Hammer. And we could actually use it too. Does it transform? Okay, I don't think it transforms. It has an L1 attack though. That's pretty cool. No phase two, yeah, thank god. <laughs> uh, how much damage does this do? 152 plus 36. Okay, that's not a lot. I might have to increase that after. So much sweatier than it needed to be. Yeah, it's because the, the aggression on, or how aggressive the tracking was on that and the um, the conditions for him to actually attack was, uh, was part of the problem, right? I feel like you just changed that, but then you did the, everything exactly the same. And then maybe increase the difficulty of how he handles melee and stuff like that. It'd probably be better, but it was kind of just difficulty in the sense of the tracking and the um, the priority of the like when he shoots the range attacks. Because it's probably it's a good idea that that was harder than normal, but I don't know if it would, if it being that hard is necessary for it to be fun in like that specific aspect. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Gale time. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna go back to uh, the shrine and try to level up a little bit more. Also, Knock Gamer, thank you so much for the nine months. Welcome back, man. I feel like the mod turned a bad boss into a bad drawn out boss. I, th I think it was a bit cooler, but yeah, definitely, definitely not much cooler than the normal one. It's pretty much the same thing, just a little bit different way of doing it. In terms of how annoying it was. <laughs> Did I kill Madeira? I haven't killed Madeira yet, no. So the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Kirk Hammer takes Titanite shards, that's Happy pretty cool. Happy birthday, Senpai Yu. Ooh. Not sure if I should use the amethyst on it though. Because I might not be able to get the wheel before we're done the playthrough, so I guess maybe maybe we should. Uh, Lord Dindu, thank you so much for the tier 2 resub, man, in the 43 months. Welcome back, man. Happy birthday, thanks, dude. <laughs> Giant's coal. Oh, I can actually infuse everything now, that's cool. Nothing for the, uh, the Sword of War. But I can do heavy gem on this, right? We still need a heavy gem. That'd make the strength scaling A, and then this would be ridiculous. This would be a really good weapon. Uh, so, where do you normally get a heavy gem in this? I'm trying to remember. Friday. I used to I used to have to do it for the um, the hitless runs with the Exile Gray Sword. I'm trying to remember where I get them though. Yeah, because like with these stats, Kirkhammer almost fully upgraded or pretty much maxed out, and then with that infusion, it'd be, it'd be ridiculous. It's already, it's not as good as this, but it's like, it would it would be crazy though. This weapon's insane. This weapon has A scaling without any infusion. So basically, I guess if you pick the Bloody Wolf, uh, the point of the base weapon is to not have to have a gem to scale well. 
it just does scale well. Five gales and two times HP bars. <laughs> oh man, I'm trying to remember where the heavy gem is located. I think it's... It's in the early game somewhere. I want to say in Farron, but I don't know if it's in Farron though. Shall not pass. <laughs> Just like stop here forever. Hawkwood drops one, does he? Oh, maybe I killed Hawkwood for the heavy gem then. That'd make a lot of sense because you usually get him in the, the shrine pretty early, right? Fair and keep. Oh, yeah, fair and keep tower, lizard. True. It's another one. Okay, we're gonna have to go grab that after this is done or maybe in between. Uh, kit, is it? Oh, no. Oh, my God, dude. Wait a second. Let me fix that. That was not supposed to be a thing. Why was that turned? I, I had no idea. Sorry. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> the nostalgia. <laughs> Everyone comes back. Like, there's like a million people watching all of a sudden. It's like, oh, man, I missed it. Miss the nostalgia. Kirby can come back now. Okay, cool. If Kirby comes back, it was worth it. It was definitely a good idea. What still here? And if Okay, so it'd be really cool if they could change the cutscenes. That's the next step, I guess, is being able to make cutscenes for the mods. Then, then the story elements could be even crazier. Oh, I'm not, I'm not tapped in. Whoa. Okay, now we are. No way, that's new, isn't it? That definitely is not a thing that I've seen either. Oh, and he's got... Is that bleed? Who's that man? What is that spell? Oh, it's in this. It, it's um. It's called uh, recollection. It's pretty cool. You're leaving now, BS Groundhog. I'm sorry. <laughs> leaving Madir for last. I'm gonna do Madir next, and then we're gonna do the first DLC. So we're gonna basically defy the timeline by killing Gale, then going back to Gale after we just killed him to get into the first DLC. <laughs> Uh, there's no music on that fight. Uh, maybe there wasn't supposed to be in the first part. I can hear music right now. Might be a bit quieter, though. No free to yet? I haven't done the DLC one yet, no. Oh, he can run a new crossbow. Oh. Oh. Cool. 
That's so cool, man. What? Oh, no. Man, the guy that made this mod, made, like, the, all the changes for the movesets are done so fluidly. And, like, they just, they, they just work really well. Maybe some of the choices for the weird stuff is not as good as it could be, but this is a pretty cool one. That's so funny, dude. I love that. Oh, and he's healing, too. He actually is healing, too. Oh, man. That's crazy. Hmm. I should probably buy more buffs, actually. Let's do that. Cast Miracles seems fair that it heals. Yeah, it would, it would make sense. I'm not sure if it was the Miracles healing him or he just heals, because some, some things in this uh, mod, they just heal themselves, right? Lots of stuff just regenerates just because, not even from a specific event. So I wonder if it actually was the, the Miracle. How many more embers do we have? We have none. Fire sword, Demi Lord? What about fire sword? Like, does he have fire on it? Is that what you're asking? Uh, the way of right corn is good on Gale, but terrible for us. Is it? Like, he he's using the symbol? Is that what you're talking about? For, like, the covenant? The fog waterfall? <laughs> uh, Mincraft? What's up? How's it going? Alright, let's try to finish Gale then. We're gonna have to probably use the, uh, the recollection a few times. Especially if it's, like, a DPS race. Uh, thank you, Mincraft. I appreciate it. As in when Gale uses it, it does damage. Okay, it's actually an attack, my bad. I wasn't sure if you're talking about like the actual emblem that you have to put on the the Covenant uh, slot, or you mean like a, a spell. I wasn't sure what that was. Yeah, the regen in the first phase is just, it's just perpetual. There is no actual event. He just regenerates. That's pretty crazy. Probably for the best though, because we're actually hitting more damage on him anyways, so. Makes sense. Oh, is that a front flip? What is that? He enables his own plunging attacks. Uh, where do you get the mic? It's nice. Uh, this is I just got it from Amazon. You can you can pretty much get it anywhere. Probably even their website. Ha! <laughs> 
Dude, he shot. He shot. He was being staggered, and he still he still attacked while being staggered at the same time. <laughs> that looks so weird, dude. It was like he was like trying to like attack at any cost, and it wasn't letting him. But he's like, I'm still gonna do it. That is so funny. How do you dodge the attacks that leave the cape trail? If you want uh, like a regular guide on the game, exclamation point guide. Uh, the fourth link will have some information on how to do this fight perfectly. That'll probably be the best example of like the commentary on how to do it, and then showing you the example of it. But uh, yeah, it's just, I mean, if you just want like a quick bit of information, um, you just have to be a bit more precise and prioritize that more than the actual attack, right? Because that's the part of the attack that's gonna actually do the damage if you're sloppy, so just think of it as like a longer attack itself with no break between it. It's all one thing. So that means the first bit you have to be really accurate. At least he gives you a chance before the uh, the cutscene there. So you can buff and then we don't have any embers still. I'm gonna try to use this and see if it'll work. Does some funny stuff here. Whatever that is. Okay, I'll be getting lots of health back here. Oh no. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. His health goes back up really fast, dude. Like, really fast. So we're gonna have to poison him, actually. I'm trying to think of, uh, now, what, what's the best way to do that? And the only thing I can think of is the Sanctum Mace, because the Sanctum Mace, I'm pretty sure, deals poison in this. But actual poison resin, I'm not sure where to buy it, so... But yeah, it's going to require poison, though. We don't, we don't really have enough DPS to, like, continuously kind of keep his health at the same level. It's going to kind of, like, reheal more than we were actually doing damage at time. So it's going to be a little bit of a tricky one. Do I play God of War? I don't play God of War, no. I've tried it before, but I wasn't really a big fan. Um, I heard the new one's coming to PC, though, for anyone that's looking forward to that. Hopefully it ends up being fun. <laughs> we get the poison resin now, maybe? Now that we've turned in a bunch of stuff. Is there a poison spell, though? No. Okay. Ashen. Might have to actually not get the wheel on this playthrough, get the Sanctum Mace instead. Oh, man, that kind of sucks. And that's a question of, does the Sanctum Mace actually work on this fight? Um... Also, I guess we can kill Hawkwood and get the heavy gem. What is it now? Lock your head, lad. Then I suppose I'll have to stop him. And avenge the poor soul. He is bloody mad, is he like? Too much of a movie, God of War is an MGS. <gasps> Definitely not MGS, yeah, oh. MGS is pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, Alright, I don't think this will outdo the damage on what we're using now, but... Maybe it staggers better, I don't know. That's still 296 plus 359. This is behind by uh, almost 100 damage, but... I wonder, what's the weapon art? Just, just the attack. Mm. Uh, so dude, Squelch, thank you for gifting 10 subs, dude. Uh, Arrow, Jess Megala, Many, Bongo Jeff, Oledge, uh, Selectly, uh, Illyrial, Mathalius, uh, Bro, and uh, Pickle as well. I hope you guys enjoy your notes. Welcome. Thank you, man. In celebration of your last day at work, you work, get your emotes. That's awesome, dude. Let strength be granted. Uh, so congratulations for doing your last day. Wait, is that like 
the last day before your uh, ending. Might be oh, it's poison Happy knives. What, birthday, am I, what am I even room. saying, dude? We could probably throw a million poison knives and eventually he'll be poisoned. It might take a little bit longer, but I'm going to try that and see. Might actually help a, a little bit more. And then we'll see if this weapon does more damage, too. Or, um, not damage, uh, stagger. How about an E-Train instead? We haven't done an E-Train for a while. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can I hold 40 of them at once? That means in one fight, if it took quite a lot, that might not be too many opportunities to repoison. Because you usually try to poison them uh, twice, sometimes three times on a regular playthrough. Uh, Salt, what's up? How's it going? How many arrows or uh, throwing knives do you guys think it'll take the poison gale? If you had to guess a number, we're in account and see. 24. <laughs> it, might, it probably isn't nearly as much as I think it is. That one didn't count. That's too far. One. Two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. Seven, eight, nine, ten. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't enough on that one, so. Imagine he has poison immunity on this, that'd be crazy. Uh, also, uh, Clear Grey, thank you so much for the brand new sub. I hope you enjoy your moats, welcome. He doesn't get poison. He didn't from that many, so I'm guessing he can't, or, uh, it requires a high amount and a really quick frequency. The cooldown must be, like, very short. So. I'm gonna have to say that doesn't actually work, but it still might. It just might be like really, really, you have to be like super, super fast with it. Yeah, like making him immune would make sense on this mod, but then giving him that kind of regen would imply that they expect you to probably do this last or maybe a little bit later than we are or just differently, right? Do I get stagger from like hitting him a couple times? Three times? weapon's just really slow though. <laughs> like I have a better a chance of just killing him. Just straight up, dude. Poison knife. Yeah, we were trying to do poison knives, Jangan, but they weren't really working too well. Um, I guess like the, the way it goes, like if, if it doesn't take like 5 to 10 to poison him, it's probably not even worth it because the frequency you have to throw 5 to 10 at in succession to get it to even work would mean you're probably gonna miss doing that anyway, so you're gonna throw 20. And then if that's the case, then it's just like half the inventory every single time you respawn, so. It probably wouldn't even be worth it even if you could do that, but um, maybe like later in the fight it'd be worth it when you can actually throw more, so. Could be something to, to try again. I just don't, I don't, I actually don't think it works. My fat rolling, I was because the weapon that we had on, yeah. That was what was going on. Can't get that extra damage right before a damn. 
if only. Oh, he can do the owl uh, debuff. Get through the Lloyds. That's crazy. What is that? Oh man, he's got like a knee, a, a, like a knee attack. That's some Sekiro. That's crazy, dude. I think this mod compares to other mods like Convergence and Cinders. Was this one good? This one was great, dude. Honestly, well, I mean, we're not even done it yet. We might actually still be on this for a full day, like, let alone maybe two. Who knows? Because, <laughs> like, I thought we were going to be done this within uh, the hours we played already, but there's still there's still things that surprise me in this. So I think it's been, uh, it's been really solid, dude. Heavily enjoyable. I think it's really worth playing. Uh, I think it's worth playing the most for people that have already beaten the regular game quite a few times. If you haven't played a lot of the normal game, it might be a little bit hard, but otherwise, uh, I think it deserves a spot beside Convergence and Cinder's Mod. Hey, he did like a pogo with the uh, the sword there. Also, the aesthetic of the um, the snow on this part, or the white sand, looks really cool. That's way better, in my opinion. How much have we made for charity so far? I can check and see. It's probably the same. Like, usually what happens if you run a charity campaign and you don't push it heavily, you raise the most money in the first day or the last day, but nothing like that in between, so... Oh, we actually did. We did raise a little, little bit more. That's awesome. Um, so we're at 1760 now, which is... That times two in total. <laughs> uh, Beach him. Thank you so much for the 20 bucks, dude. And the heart as well. I appreciate that. Thank you for contributing to the charity, man. About Tree Fitty, yeah. What do you think about Sekiro Resurrection Mod? I actually haven't played it yet. I gotta play it still. It's changed only the basic moves that are completely changed the game, like Convergence, where they added thousand more spells and mechanics. Uh, it's a combination of both of what you just said. So it's like they added more mechanics from Bloodborne. They added um, weapons from all of the games and gear from all of the games. They changed uh, some of the movesets. They designed completely new bosses out of old ideas. And then um, they uh, left some things just lightly touched. So it's a nice combination of everything. There's a little bit of environmental redesign too in certain cases where it's necessary, but very small. Not as big as Convergence in that sense. I think Convergence is a bigger mod, but this is the uh, same kind of, kind of category. It's, it's a replayable... Or it's a way to replay the game that is um, like a reimagining. I take a crack at Madeira in between this just to see what we can do on that. That'd be fun too. Where's the foot cam? It's not coming back until we do the the final sponsored stream for uh, the racing wheel. Unfortunately, maybe after that too. But I might just find some white socks so you can, or maybe better lighting so you can actually see my feet. I don't have to do that. Oh boy, that is an owl move set too. The two hand attack. Uh, 
Uh, if you start this game mod, it'll be very difficult to catch up having to relearn everything, or can you install it and have a great time? Um, it depends on how good, good you are at the base game. If you're very good at the base game, this will challenge you. If you're not good at the base game, you might not have fun. Um, unless you are advised on like what kind of build to make for this and like maybe you could look into other people's playthroughs see what i did and what you like from my playthrough and then use that as a guidance but i think if you're not very good at like ds3 by default it, this will be pretty hard because it's already like it's hard for me and like um like i can even tell you where they how they designed like this and stuff like that i can tell you like the internals of like what that animation's from like you know maybe why they decided to use it, what they're trying to do with, like, you know, the mentality of how the fight works and what they want the player to make mistakes on. Like, I could tell you that, and it's still pretty hard, so... If you are not on the level of, like, being obsessed with it, I think that... it would be more challenging. So it's up to you if you want to... take it really slow and just try to go through it like, oh, like your first playthrough would have been, sort of. But that's, again, kind of what it's like. It's almost like another first playthrough again. With uh, the exception, you will do certain things a little quicker because they are completely changed in every aspect. but it's not nice. Damn. Nice. Oh man, oh man. Night Ghost, thank you for the five months. Welcome back, by the way. Raid. Did we get raided? Um. Wait a second, I didn't see any host. I'm gonna try speedrun um, Elden Ring first day it comes out. No, I'm just gonna be playing the game casually, man. Maybe after that, though. I think speedruns might be a better thing to start with on that game, because I've never started with speedruns on any game that's come out. It's always been challenges first, right? Um, at least if, I, if I'm planning to do challenges, I'd usually just do challenges. I wouldn't do speedruns right away. So I'm going to try the try it the other way around if it makes, it makes sense to do that, or maybe both at the same time. Dude, Prod, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it, dude. Um, if you guys didn't know, Prod was actually the person that showed me this mod. I actually, Well, he didn't like directly show me, but I just saw him... Uh, doing like a little bit of a review on it and it looked really cool so I was like you know what I'm gonna try it and see what it's like and I think it actually has been one of the most enjoyable Let's mods I've ever seen uh, on any game it's like mended. one of my top favorites so thank you man so the world might be mended. uh smoke -a thank you for the three months welcome back dude I didn't I didn't know that smoke -a watches prod unless he was just like lurking here and he decided to 
Watch me, that's crazy, man. Small world. How was your stream, bro? You guys want to see all types of uh, content from specifically Souls related games, uh, primarily DS3, definitely check out Prod's stream. And he, he does a little bit of PvP as well, I think. Uh, he actually has some pretty cool Elden Ring PvP that he did on the network test, so check that out. Oh, he left, he didn't want spoilers. Oh, he hasn't, he hasn't beaten this yet, I, I'm assuming. Okay. But yeah, thank you for uh, rating anybody that came for Prod's stream. So what we're doing right here, we're trying to finish up this mod. My normal content is usually a lot of challenge runs, some speed runs, and then some other variety games here and there. Uh, we're trying to work on a five game zero damage marathon of uh, the trilogy, and then Bloodborne and Demon Souls. Uh, my PB is uh, probably like 80% of it or so, so we've gotten kind of close, but we're still working on that. And then uh, once in a while, I do some other things too. He's the world's worst invader. Well, I feel like if I got invaded by Prod, I'd be a bit salty. He'd probably kick my ass. <laughs> yeah, now we're, we're, in, we're in Gale grind mode now, so it's either I choose to try to fight Gale until I beat him, or we take a break and we do some other stuff. I might kill Madir, because I haven't checked that out yet. I'm assuming if this is how hard Gale is, Madir must be much harder too. Depending on if the guy that made this thought that uh, Madeir was already hard in the first place. I don't know. <laughs> it's actually crazy because, um, they programmed a safeguard for if you stagger him too many times, so he just explodes and does damage if you go near him, and you've hit him too many times within a short time frame. Because I was thinking that he was trying to do an attack while he was getting staggered, but it's like a reaction to staggering him that much. So they must have thought, oh, if you use this, it'll be like too easy or something. Or maybe there's other magic or other weapons that would keep him kind of uh, subdued. It's pretty crazy. Favorite non-Soulsborne games? Uh, Smash Ultimate was my favorite for a while. Uh, Gran Turismo Sport, and I like Hollow Knight, Cuphead, uh, the Metroid games, uh, Resident Evil, Evil Within, Outlast, um, what else? Death Gambit was pretty cool, that was a fun game. Uh, quite a few, quite a few different things. I'll try one more time, then we'll try to go to Madeir. play horror games yep uh, so a lot of the stuff I just mentioned are horror games I played pretty much all the like the good horror games that I that I know exist right, I'd say next to this uh, racing sim and action platforming Actually, okay, this action platforming, racing sim, fighting, and then survival horror would probably be the next favorite. play Castlevania. Yeah, a lot of people have said Castlevania Symphony of the Night's the, the one that's really good. 
Why are people hating on Last of Us 2 and everyone on PlayStation? I've never played Last of Us 2, so I have no idea, man. Uh, I haven't played Jump King. I have played Jump King, yeah. I hated Jump King, though. <laughs> Jump King is, uh... Jump King, they did a great job with, but it's, it's like, really, really... Uh, like, the reward to, like, uh, you know, enjoyment ratio is kind of... Or effort for enjoyment. It's, it's like, not a ratio that's enough for me to enjoy it, so... I didn't continue to play it, but I tried it, though. I played it for uh, probably, like, five hours or so. Funny how you said you found this mod because of Prod, because Prod found this because you told him, so now it's getting around. Oh, there, there you go, man. You have uh, influenced the community. That's awesome, dude. Should play the Asylum Incident? What is that? Uh, Elias calls games like Jump King mental training. It, it, oh, totally, it could be. It could be. But for me, for a game to actually be like fully played, like there's got to be a, like a, a trade-off that's like va valuable to me in the end for it. So if it's not like the value I'm getting back is greater than what I'm putting in, I don't really like feel like it's worth the the time. Um, and also just because again, like that's when you buy a game, you want to get your money's worth, right? So I would do Jump King maybe for like a promo or just to try it out for fun, like if someone wanted me to advertise it, but I don't think I would play it like seriously or anything. I think it's cool, it's just like, it wasn't this fun for me. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. I can't see, my dear. So the world might be mended. Whoa! We definitely have some changes here. Oh, that's a really cool one. Oh, ah. Can't see anything. Blind, nice. <laughs> Feels more aggressive. Well, he's got some, he's got some uh, timers changed on the uh, animations for his arms and then there's uh, some extra effects added too. Can never beat this. You, you could. You just have to want to do it and practice. But um, I think anybody could beat it. Keep in mind, even even people have beaten mods that the creator of the mod can't be. So it's possible. I don't think this is one of them. I'm sure the person that made this could probably beat some of the stuff on it. It might have taken a while, but there has been harder mods where the people that make it can't beat it. So. And it's been done. And usually when you make something, you have to prove it's possible for it to be a thing, right? That's like the proof of concept. So you, you definitely would usually want to know it's it's like you could complete it. But if some people have made things, they kind of kind of winged it, I guess, and hoped that people would do it. My problem on that fight is I can't see. <laughs> they could, they, if they were gonna, like, I think they should. It's cool that they added all the stuff, but I actually can't see though. I need to see. <laughs> uh, they made the bus bosses stub their toes twice in short time before every fight. Hmm. Raid Raid Shadow Legends zero hit speed run. Oh man, imagine. Uh, what is the hardest DS3 mod, in my opinion? Uh, I can't really remember the name of it. Um, but there was one that was pretty crazy. I, I just I can't remember the name. I didn't finish it. Uh, I don't like if people write they wouldn't be able to do it. Might be hard. Costs you a lot of time and dedication. But the feeling that you get when you finally beat it makes up for that. Well, yeah, it's just not for everybody, though. So that's why I said if you desire to do it, you will do it. It's just like... You probably don't want to do it, so that's why you see it as like you couldn't, but you actually can. Ability to do and not do isn't really dictated by your willpower to like actually try it. It's more of just like, is it theoretically possible yet? So if we're just framing it in the mindset of theoretical possibility, that's different. But if you're talking about like, do you want to do it? it 
when you say that, it kind of makes me think it's just like you, you just don't, you're not actually willing to. It's not that you can. Like, theoretically, yes, anyone could. That, uh, has some level of solution to be able to access the buttons and press them or, you know, something can be done in a way that makes the information translate. So, like, a, a mass majority of people would do it, for sure. Might not be made for every single human that exists, but it's definitely, like, mass majority probably do. But think of it this way, though. It's like, you could go to school and you could learn, like, a million different subjects over time, but you have to learn something you want to. And that's like a, you know, let's say you go to your education for like over a decade, maybe like one and, one and a half or 15. Let, let's say you're going from, I don't know, post-secondary or public school, like elementary to secondary. Like the amount of stuff you learn in that time is way, way more information than anything on this. So you still have to do that. And the people that do that wouldn't classify it as anything special, but you spent like how many hours and how much time doing all that other stuff. You could spend a fraction of that just doing one thing and still do it, even if it's hard. So if you've, if you've just lived like 10 years on the planet, you probably can do it just from the concept of you're alive still. Like, you've done things to be able to like continuously like <laughs> like i don't know it's that it's that simple it's just a matter of what other information have you spent the time like digesting and how much do you care about what you actually have learned right so i actually wouldn't take that long in in retrospect at all it would just be like do you have a few extra hours to like spend every once in a while and then it'll be done within like a large handful of hours and that's it the only the way it won't happen is you deciding not to do it. That's pretty much it. Or the world ending, but that's much less likely in my opinion. We're looking at things that are, uh, things that we're trying to see the probability of, right? magic on it. That's pretty cool. I have no idea where he was. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> See yourself as somebody that is less likely to give up on something compared to others? Uh, that's not a question I can answer because that thing just depends on how much I want to do it, right? So I don't think so, no. I think that you're just going to not do something if you don't want to do it, and that's pretty much it. 
I think that the the actual definition of desire is kind of skewed in terms of uh, committing to an action or a decision. So when we look at the definition of that properly, then no matter what, if that's what's uh, desired, then the only thing limiting you is the physical possibility um, in reality, right? So which would just be like you being not alive or the world ending or the universe ending um, or elements of what makes that concept possible not existing anymore, which is usually less likely than, again, just you deciding to do it or not. So um, it's pretty, I just keep it pretty simple, man. It's just like, there's going to be things I just decide I don't want to do and I don't do them. And that's exactly why they're not done because I don't want to. And then there's things that uh, I do. And then in the midst of those actual events, there's uh, resistance points. There's things that, um, you know, create concern, frustration, whatever. But the event still has a beginning and an end regardless based on the pure desire. And that's it. Because everything else follows with that, regardless of if it seems uncertain or whatever at a certain point, it's still beginning and an end, right? Anything else is just complicating it more, in my opinion. Is this underwater? It's not. No, it looks like it's in like a smog that's like green or something. It's very interesting. I, part of the reason I feel like the, the atmosphere in this one's dark is because like he can kind of just like zoom into the corner and then like attack you out of nowhere, right? It's kind of hard to see. It's like part of the difficulty. <laughs> Expecting it to be different. Looks the same. Oh, he's just going wild over here, man. Rip. Beater, my dear. Uh, Mighty Elf, thank you so much for the uh, <laughs> the bits. I appreciate it, man. Instant laser, yeah. It's a green screen. Madeir is a VTuber. <laughs> Sorry if you answered this before, but do you see yourself doing a Sekiro stream soon? Um, I can't really say, man. I don't know. I've tried to do a Sekiro stream a while ago that was a specific mod that I couldn't get to work, and uh, every uh, person that helped me troubleshoot it, including myself, we couldn't figure out what the problem was. So I'm looking into it a bit further with the help of someone else, but can't say they'll be able to figure it out either. They're just going to have to give me their feedback and uh, see if there's something that went wrong. Other than that, though, I have no plans to play it for another reason until um, some other things are done. So it, it will get played again. I just don't know exactly like which day or whatever. Uh, otherwise, if that mod is fixed, then I can play it like literally right after this is done, like in a handful of days. I would love to do it as soon as possible to get it done because I wanted to have that run finished uh, a while ago. So it's my favorite cake. I don't have a favorite cake to Loki. What about you? I don't think there's a single cake I don't like, but I don't have a favorite. So what happens is if he if he decides to do that attack and you can't get behind it within like the first second, you die no matter what because there's nowhere to stand after, so you get up and then die. So you, you basically just can't be in front of him if he decides to do that um, for longer than a second. I 
Uh, dang, do I see myself? I think I do. I So I didn't even know, but the face cam was turned on and I had to turn it off because I was freaking out about it. So I saw myself and got scared, man. Don't remind me of that time. Uh, if we love doing this as much as me, you probably wouldn't be sitting here appreciating it. Uh, maybe not as much. You probably would definitely be making content or doing stuff like that, but yeah. Um, then again, there are people that make content that will still watch the stream so and vice versa, but... Be um, so the world might be mended. I guess the idea is if you de if you desired to do it um, love use quills. enough, then it would be done and you wouldn't question the possibility of it because you'd already have done it or been doing it, right? Or you just believe that you would do it. Is it favorite or favorite with an O? I'm gonna pick favorite American spell. It's more convenient right now. I don't know if I've seen that attack before. That seems really cool. Yeah, and then again, that's instant death. You stand up and you're dead. That's cool, but like, the only thing I change there is I'd make, I'd make the region he does fire, like, uh, linear in terms of like, he starts it at one place, then moves to another one. It's not just the entire floor, because you, you, you should just die in one hit then from the first part of it, so it doesn't have to waste as much time. It's kind of like a rub in your face sort of thing. It's like not possible to survive, but unless maybe you had like crazy amount of regeneration happening on the character and you'd used an ember at the same time and got lucky or the defense was wild but yeah it's just like might as well make the first part just kill you right away do i meditate i used to i haven't for a while though summon king kong <laughs> that'd be pretty funny also jules what's up how's it going favorite uh is uk english it's also canadian as well and australian i believe Do I speak Canadian? Maybe. What type of meditation? Uh, I did corpse pose most of the time. Um, that was my favorite. If that's what you're asking. What do we think? Do you guys vote that Gale is harder than Madeir or vice versa? I think they're both pretty much the same difficulty, but Madeir is like in a way, is packaged in a way where you can win if you don't get into a situation with that one shot, basically. Anything else, or I'm sorry, if you don't get in that situation and he doesn't dash at you and you can't see him, you're fine. Everything else is fine, unless there's even more to the story. So I think personally for me, he'd be easier, but just on like a design basis, I think they're just both pretty much the same difficulty for different reasons. Ever thought of taking a, your challenge runs and uploading them to YouTube? You mean not the uncut version, but more highlighted compilation of a challenge since it's cool watching different challenges. Nobody got time to watch hour long bits. Uh, there'd be no point. The formula of my channel is long form. So um, putting short, uh, like highlighted versions of the runs doesn't, doesn't actually, it, it basically defeats the purpose of what I'm already doing. And then it also disadvantages the algorithm as well for my channel. So I'm already doing like more than that, which is like, I'm doing the better version of what you're saying. Um, so if you kind of understand how like backend on YouTube works and stuff and, um, how to like create content on there effectively, it's sort of based around, uh, time frame for certain types of concepts. So long form content works really well if that's how your channel is established, but mixing and matching long form with short form, if the actual, uh, type is, uh, the same pretty much, wouldn't make as much sense as doing short form content that's more dedicated or separate from that original idea so that's why i do short form stuff that's more uh scripted or like a documentary style and then i have my long form stuff be the the runs but yeah that's been that's been something i've like studied for like years man so i thought about exactly what you just said and then realized the problem with it pretty quickly but it would work for a different type of channel if that's how you built it but you wouldn't want to ruin a channel that's already kind of working by doing that 
And there's no advantage because everyone would complain, so maybe you'd be happy, but there'd be no reason to uh, want less of a run. Of, like, less of the exact same thing. That wouldn't really make any sense, right? Unless, uh, of course, you started with the opposite and then you fed the algorithm that format and then wanted that format. Software engineer and streamer? I'm not a software engineer, no. <laughs> I just do full-time content. Okay, if he does laser right now, we're uh, in trouble. <laughs> but dear, what are you doing? Oh boy. Oh, I, I could probably hit his feet. Yeah, I should do that. Why not? I keep thinking the feet won't take any damage, but they do. It's not going to be quick enough, will it? It's not your channel thing to spam a lot of videos. That's another thing, too, the balance of how often you upload is very, uh... It's, it's misunderstood, unfortunately, because there's people that will do content where you actually have to upload two videos a day to actually have a good standing with the algorithm, and there's channels where, like, once a month works better, or, like, once every two weeks, or once a week, or once a day. It ranges depending on the genre and how you structure everything, so... Um, it also kind of depends on the person, too. Like, I, de I definitely tend to, like, throw away more ideas than I actually complete because uh, I kind of want it to be depicted a certain way, so, like, there's more things that we could have had on there. But they'd be more filler than they actually would be. Um, as enjoyable for me, and there already is some things that are just like less enjoyable that weren't as cool. But I tried that with the experiment and realized that there was no point really. So, unless, um, you know, people enjoyed it and they just didn't give the feedback. But in terms of like the algorithm and all that and optimization, definitely wasn't going to help me or affect anything or just take up the time. So, I think when you do enough experimentation, you understand like the research behind. Uh, the structure of a, of a channel, it becomes a little bit, a little bit more clear on like how you actually handle that stuff. Because it's it's a different archetype per per channel. Sometimes even within the same genre, the same kind of uh, concept, it can be different too. Like you can have a, like an archetype of a channel that is like a genre that's the same as a different archetype of a channel in the same genre, or vice versa. Yeah. Dude, he lasered as he was raising his hand. That was crazy. I don't know about that. Damn. Yeah, the fire doesn't have like a residual uh, effect to it. That's good. The tail, the tail, dude. I, it was kind of funny because I was thinking, I'm like, it'd be really bad if the tail actually got me after all that. But it did, though. That's funny. Ah, uh, do you also upload videos to YouTube? I do to Loki. Yeah. Um, three years 
Uh, drug fee this past Friday. Purple, nice, dude. Congrats. Um, damn, that was close. That was really close. I'm gonna take a really quick break. I'll be right back, guys. I'm just getting more water and go to the bathroom. So give me a second. Been going for like two hours anyway, so it's probably a good time. Put on some music. Um, and then once again, if you guys have enjoyed the stream so far, you wanna uh, know when I go live or check out other stuff we're doing. Here's the Twitter. Here's the YouTube and the Instagram. And then here's the link to the charity page if you want to uh, help contribute towards the goal of helping sick kids um, at St. Jude Hospital um, through uh, St. Jude Play Live. So we've raised quite a bit so far. Uh, we're going to be doing it for another couple days after today. So this is like the third last stream for it. Um, and uh, for everyone that's contributed so far, I really appreciate it. I'm going to double check and see if uh, there's anything else I missed because the alerts are uh, silent for it. Let me double check. And also, thank you for enjoying this so far. Yeah, so we're we're still at 1760. That's crazy, man. All right, I'll be back uh, in a couple minutes.
All right, we're back. Ooh. Cathedral is deep. Deacons are deeper. Now it's time for resident sleeper. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. I love that. Can we make that um, like a normal thing when we go to Deacons? Uh, do subs go to St. Jude too, or is it just donations? Um, so you can just donate directly. Just go to the charity link if you want to. There you go. There's a link directly to there if you want to donate to them. And then you can see, uh, like, your uh, notification should pop up on there, too. So I'm not going to read it as it pops up for all of them, but I'll read back all the ones I missed. Also, Skirm, what's up, man? <laughs> the worm is a god. I am a hollow. Subscribe right now and maybe a follow. <laughs> That's so funny. Can't wait for Elden Ring anymore. I think it's going to be worth the wait. Like, for a game that's that big, after having played it, I think that uh, it's a good idea they decided to release it when they're most comfortable, even if it is delayed, just so they can make sure the game works properly, because if it doesn't, um, I think there's, like, very small things that can make or break games nowadays. Like, in terms of people buying it, if it gets, like, a couple bad reviews or so, and, you know, for a good reason, it might completely screw up the entire trajectory of the game, so... Better that they uh, release it when it's the smartest. Yo, bad RNG, dude, you have done so much, man. You do not need to keep doing things. That's wild, man. Yo, thank you so much for gifting 25 subs, man. I gotta turn the music off. Where's the pause button? Here, I'm gonna save quit. I gotta do it. <laughs> you like games to be completed when they release? I know, isn't that crazy? Man, RNG, thank you so much, dude. RNG's uh, contributed quite a crazy amount to the charity and then also to the channel already, which is just gonna be going back into it from my part of it, but that's that's amazing, man. That's more than one, it is, yeah. <laughs> uh, Corey, thanks, dude. Uh, it, actually, if you don't uh, mind me asking, is it usually like what you prefer to do while you're working, or is it just like, are you just chilling doing other stuff? Because I do the same thing, too. I think a lot of people do. It's like one of the, the, the highest concentrations uh, or the highest concentra concentration of actual viewers active on the website are probably doing something else at the same time, so this majority. So I'm curious, I've heard of a lot of funny multitasking, like people at dinner with their family or at a wedding or like, on, like about to board a plane, just got off a plane, maybe on a plane. Haven't heard of skydiving yet. Uh, I've heard work, I've heard like, <laughs> like with friends, like so many different things, people getting their family to watch. Like, at their own dinner table, that's, that's pretty funny, too. Working on a smart house project right now? Okay. Are those, like, the tiny houses? What is a smart house? Or is it... Oh, it's, like, one of the things that, where they put all the technology in it, so it, like, kind of, like, self-regulates, right? Pessimism, that's crazy, man. You should, or do you tell them that it's your channel or something like that? <laughs> you should try that and see what happens. See if they, see if they care. You do an experiment. Uh, Psycho of the Dead, thank you so much for the brand new sub. I hope you enjoy your moats, man. And I hope I kill Madir this time. That'd be really cool too. I think we're doing really good on this. I just need to not get caught in that laser and uh, have enough health for the end of the fight.
don't get smacked by the tail. Oh, is he doing just big laser now? Yep. <laughs> it's so spooky when you can't see it. Uh, did we learn nothing from the Disney Channel cautionary tale smart house? I actually don't know if I've seen that before. Um, trying to get our cameras to automatically lock the front door if they detect movement and the door is unlocked longer than five minutes. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, is Madeir harder than the regular Madeir? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> definitely harder not by like an insane amount but by just enough where it's like okay Madeir's already kind of challenging on the first time through now it feels like I'm trying to kill him for the first time again but it's not as bad as like Gale is right now I think Gale is still more of a challenge because Gale actually regenerates the health right um this one you don't have to be as like engaged with in terms of like every single situation you don't have to do something fancy whereas Gale there's not really a lot of time to punish him while he is attacking you it's kind of like very, very infrequently can you really do anything crazy on him. We have this, on this we have a lot of time to attack him, but we also don't do a crazy amount of damage. With the bonus that he doesn't heal, so... Or at least that I've seen so far. Got locked into it again. That sucks. That one attack was a mistake. Unfortunately. Harper is getting uh, the camera to speak to the lock. The cameras can already detect movement. That's pretty crazy, man. Well, let me know how that goes. Should do a pacifist run. That'd be pretty cool, actually. It'd be interesting if there's like a mod where you could do that. Um, I guess by using uh, one of like the functions of it. I know that the Pokemon one is pretty similar to that, but like one that's very similar to the normal game, but you have the ability to summon NPCs that actually are decent. 
Because I think that with all the NPCs you can summon, some of them are pretty bad. <laughs> We'd have to definitely be healing them a lot, right? Madir's a mini boy, he is, yeah. It's a cool design though, I like this one better. Just change the, uh, the laser attack, that's pretty much it. Or the one that is the one shot. This one right here, I would change that. I would make the uh, distance of it, like the laser from his mouth and where you're standing, like track a little bit farther back, or I would just separate like the time of the fire for like a couple seconds so you could actually get back behind him again. Or I would just make the laser one shot, like just kill you immediately, one of, the, one of those three. Fix it, I think. You know, it'd be really cool if they had made a tail cut, considering I think they expect you to use the tail as quite a bit of your damage. You should have made a tail cut. Why you want to do that? That's not good. Again. Dude. Tail. Stop. Maybe not. Oh, maybe. Oh, 
maybe not. That was pretty rough. The world might be mend. GG first try. Uh, Ashen, thank you so much for the six months. Welcome back, dude. First try. No one has to know about the other tries. <laughs> Shh. I don't know where the bonfire is. I don't think there is one. There isn't. It's gone. First try after some practice. Yeah, just the warm up. No big deal. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Easy clap. Uh, Dan, thank you so much for the two years. Welcome back, man. That's crazy. Can't believe you've been sub for two years now. How have you been doing? How's your uh, How's your holiday, man? Uh. I'm not sure if we should get. <laughs> More poison air, uh, knives for for Gale, hoping it works. I don't think it would. Um, I guess just trying to get more damage on the weapon would be smart, right? Also bad with names. Uh, what areas boss do I have left? I have the first DLC left and Gale. That's it. Uh, hope, uh, I hear you're going to be learning Dead by Daylight soon. That's very, uh, very pog. You'll love that game. So I played it before, and I did like it. Um, I did enjoy it. I streamed it like a few times or so. I just haven't played it a lot, and I never played Killer. So um, I was thinking just because I understand what it's about, but I haven't played Killer. It's an even better opportunity to learn how to play Killer. I think the game screwed up. Yeah, I think it glitched out a little bit. Alt F4 to the rescue. Well, we're gonna try leveling again and see if it see if it actually uh, functions properly. <laughs> Beat the new bosses, Wades. Ah, uh, as far as I know, yeah. Well, I've beaten everything except for the the first DLC and uh, Gale that I've actually found in the game at this point. There might be other stuff I didn't find that's like super secret, but uh, uh, everything that was obvious and Everything else that wasn't, that I know of, we have beaten. Uh, Dex fight, Elden Ring was really good. I enjoyed it, man. I was surprised with how well they combined the open world uh, formatting with um, the gameplay. It's a good combination. How do you beat Dragon Rider? Um, it'll be in the YouTube video that I upload uh, either tonight or tomorrow, whenever it's done processing. So um, I killed him by just being good, dude. We we did use poison as well, because uh, I had found poison resin. I found two of them, and I what used both of them in the same fight and ended up winning on that one. Pretty be careful. Oh, I thought it was gonna glitch again. It's like too many stats. Hmm. Uh, bad with names, I have no idea, dude. I can't really tell you. There is actually no amount of time in particular that I know. It'll be quite a bit more than now, like at least like twice the amount of time we've been live now then, but um, I'm starting to think that this will probably take another full day. It might even take another stream after this one. We'll see. I don't think it has to, but if the first DLC is really hard, then I'm thinking this will be a full stream of just trying to finish this still. I just want to get answers without saying spoilers for... um. The game. Uh, well, okay. So, are the things you're asking about that, you, like, are they things that you would find in the regular progression of just trying to beat the game, or do you have to do something that's like only part of the mod to be able to figure it out?
hoping for some surprise poison there. Not quite though. I don't think it can be done. I wonder if the tracking on that doesn't let you space anymore. That'd be really hard, actually. Cool, nice. That's definitely a little better. That actually landed. So that, this, the tracking on that is great now. It's not as bad as it used to be. That's really cool they fixed it. Because that was the whole, that was like the centerpiece of this fight is just like under his arm pretty much. That's where most of the action happens. Something that only shows you after you beat three Lords of Cinder. Um... Oh, is it the thing where you go, like you go to like the statue, and then it tells you that if you find other little like gravestones, you can reach, you can challenge like um, stronger enemies and stuff like that. Is it the thing that gives you the dialogue, or is it just like hidden stuff? Dude, Lloyd's Sword Ring actually gives us a huge bonus on this. I didn't even realize. I'm just gonna try this one again, actually. Uh, do you hire an artist to draw that emote and other ones? I did, yeah. Exclamation point art if you want uh, the information from my artist. OBS. Wait, what about OBS? Is that kick a new move? It is. It's. Uh, I think it's from Owl. It should have been an item. Hmm. I probably have the item then. Let me. You can. You can let me know if I don't. I think I actually do have the item though. If it's something from beating three lords, Cinder, because I already did that. But yeah, you're welcome to tell me which one it is. Um, the eclipse thing. Book of the eclipse. Or, um, hmm. That's it, the Book of the Eclipse. Uh, it's exclamation point art, said. Hopefully it's still there too. I think it was uh, on the most current version of the bot. It might have been deleted though on the original one. So yeah, try exclamation point art. Oh, it didn't work. Light strike. Tried it? Okay, yeah, it's definitely not there anymore, though. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to give a shout-out to Carson, then, once we, uh... Or make a command for him again. <laughs> once I have a second. But yeah, I'll put, I'll put his channel in the, um... The command after this is done.
Yeah, on stagger, he just kind of has this weird attack that he does. That's awesome. <laughs> so he just can't be staggered safely at all. In fact, even getting one accidentally is the big bad, actually. That is insane. Oh, and then he actually, like, he can still hit you. You can't stray Pharos on that other attack either. That's cool. I didn't know that. Okay, it's a pretty bad attempt. We're probably going to have to leave this one. So I think I'll try a handful more times. We'll see if we can make any kind of progress. And if not, then we'll do this the first DLC, then come back to Gil. Create a new game. It is, it is very, like... It's very similar to the base game, but then also not at the same time. Obviously, you're playing the same game, but it's also not at the same time. <laughs> uh, Brit, no, I haven't done that yet. You're thinking of the damage this run, right? We're going to go back to that when this is uh, completed. Stagger crossbow infinite or instantly with um, the startup of it like normal, but then it, he still has that stagger that attack thing. That's weird. At least that's safe though. This gives you time. It's cool. That, that tracking is just unbelievable on that thing. There's no strafe at all. It's just a no strafe fight. And he cancels. Just canceled the projectile while it was shooting. Every time, okay. Oh man. Oh, the book tells you about the new bosses, does it? Okay, that's pretty cool. What do you think of the idea of getting a Bloodborne sequel? Ah, uh, that'd be that'd be awesome, man. If they if they could pull that off, I would play it for sure. Uh, let me see. I don't need buffs right now. That's pretty good though. Gale stamina, yeah, he's got a lot. Not as much as Cinder, but <laughs> quite a bit, though. <laughs> uh, when will you do hitless mods? I'm not planning on doing that on this, but uh, I appreciate the enthusiasm, though. That's pretty cool. Maybe uh, one day I'll let you know if I decide to. But we'll definitely be replaying it, though. I gotta try some of the characters on this. There's a starting class that has uh, no arms, and then there's, uh, there's, a, there's characters that have guns, too, so I gotta try the guns. And you can also kick to do damage, so this is the only thing so far that I know of where you can actually do enough damage with just the kick to do a kick-only run. I'm not sure if you could do kick-only on this specifically, but maybe uh, on NG+, Plus if you've got the character built decently. Have the gear already, that'd be fun. Could use this character for NG+, Plus kick-only in the future. You believe in me, Zeph? I think it could be done. It's just I don't really have the desire to do it. That's the thing. Uh, part of the reason I decided to play this is because it's a it's like reimagining the game the first time through, right? So it's almost like a first playthrough for me. 
I didn't actually even play it really to be challenged. It was just like I knew I was going to be challenged as a product of not understanding what the information is. Because it's kind of like a first playthrough, but it wasn't mainly to make the game hard. It was just to make it more interesting and different. That is insane that you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the elbow, dude. It's so funny. Uh, Zeph, they are in this, yeah. Will you do Elden Ring hitless no damage runs, Gabby? I hope so. That'd be pretty cool. It'd be fun to do damageless, I think, on that game. But I'd, I'd also um, have to like wonder how that would be done. So I have to play the game first. I'm sure I'm 100% certain someone's going to do it, whether it's me or not. Or like when it happens, I'm not sure. But I think it's going to be done by somebody. Probably multiple people, um, but yeah, we have to kind of see how the game works. I feel like I'm gonna go back and fight regular Gale and be bad at it now. <laughs> Rally was a thing. That'd be so cool. So I wonder if you can interrupt uh, crossbow in mid attack. Uh oh. Nope. Oh, maybe. Maybe I will. Oh no. Maybe I won't. And then we also have to assume that there's still more to this fight as well. It's not even like everything's really uh, happened yet. So <laughs> did I try the network test? I did, yeah. It was really cool, man. Oh, let's get some more Dark Moon resin now that we actually can kind of kill this dude a little bit. Like half of him. <laughs> uh, Jim, what's up? How's it going, man? He's got a lot of HP. He like The thing is, like in this mod, I'm hitting him for quite a lot of damage. He just heals his health, right? If his health didn't heal, he wouldn't really have a lot of HP. But he has like an infinite more amount than he looks like he has because it can just continuously go up forever, right? Ashen one. In fact, his health regens is dirty. That's actually a theme with a lot of things in this mod. I think the regen is uh, it's, it's notable on like a lot of the things that are difficult on this one. His regen's not too aggressive though. It's actually like it's it's decent enough where you can do it. But you have to you actually have to play the fight well though. It's not like there's gonna be a, like a lot of different strategies for it other than just being super aggressive. Because uh, again, like if he staggers on like unless the, you could do magic and if the magic did good damage, it would be fine. But because if he staggers, he attacks automatically. You're gonna get hit while casting certain spells that last a long time. Um, in potential situations or if you throw items or whatever, so there's still a risk to even hitting him with uh, projectiles and even close range with the stagger too. So if that wasn't possible, we would have already won.
I didn't know he could still do that. So they, they have like a lot of mix-ups in this because like I haven't even seen that yet. That was just the regular combo with the jump. The elbow is unbelievable, dude. I love the elbow. It's so funny. <laughs> oh man, uh, Oter. So we have um, we have Bloodborne mechanics. So I get the quick step if I'm locked on. I think damages will be out of the back of your mind during your first playthrough of Elden Ring. Uh, well, I mean, usually when I play a game, I test. Like I'm testing things and I'm also enjoying it. So it's going to be a combination of keeping the information that's important for other things I have in mind and paying attention to like what works, what doesn't. I'll still enjoy it though. So I think at the back of your mind, there's always going to be everything that's going to be in the back of your mind regardless, right? <laughs> um, but the purpose of actually playing it the first time will not be to figure that out. It'll just be to enjoy it and kind of like, I guess, see what they did as a game, right? The other stuff will just be uh, more focused on after, but there's going to be things that I pick up on from the first playthrough that pretty much everybody will, right? But yeah, it's not going to be like a, like a run... Uh, uh, like a challenge routing run of, of any sort or like trying to like test things uh, extensively it's just gonna be like oh okay this happened when I did this because I was just trying to you know use this weapon and it didn't work so let's remember that that's not good or, you know, this weapon's really decent so far let's try to keep that in mind or uh, you know you can't walk this way unless uh, you do these things first, then this area is open. So going here first in a playthrough might be smarter, so you don't have to, you know, like those. Just the optimization just kind of comes after. Nice, I like that. Okay, I gotta really, really focus on this one. Can you not roll? You can, but the rolling um, is only if you're locked off. So it's kind of like Bloodborne, in that sense. It's like if I'm just not locked onto something, I will roll. Actually, it would be really worthwhile getting more vials on this one too before we do uh, the the fight again next time. Should do that because I'm not using the magic. Oh wow, that's a lot of discs. I didn't know we were playing Frisbee, dude. Holy shit. play this nervy um exclamation point mod in chat so what zwaids just used right there in chat you can click that link and then download it uh just when it downloads uh seven zip or, or unzip the files into a regular folder click the folder drag all the contents in the main folder into the game directory and you're good 
and then just play in offline mode and you shouldn't have any issues. Okay, what else can we do here for rings as well? Um, because he doesn't have anything he's inflecting in terms of like status effect that, that I'm worried about, right? Mm, life ring plus two would actually be better than the healing ring, I think. Oh, it's only a little bit though. Isn't there a life ring plus three in this? 1261 versus 1412. I don't know if that would be enough to survive an extra attack. Could try it and see though. Already has another update? That's awesome, dude. Because <laughs> I'm going to be playing it again a couple more times. Uh, step on the sword. Parry Makiri counter. You can't do that, unfortunately, in this. But again, this is a, this is a lot of a lot of content on and this is focused on Bloodborne. It's not really supposed to be about Sekiro. They just decided to do that just because. It's kind of like a bonus. Ashen one. Messing around with other games till Elden Ring. Uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be playing other games too. Man, I, it's sad the Kirkhammer isn't as good as uh, I thought it would be. The frames are awful on Bloodborne. It's definitely lower frame rate for sure. Never seen me die so much, Steph. Welcome. <laughs> This isn't even really a lot. This is like this. This uh, e the most we've ever died in this run is still not even close to the most I've died on anything. So it's like a very small fraction. Like if we're on one part of this mod for like eight hours straight, like a whole day, then we do the same thing the next day, like sixteen hours. Even that would still be less. But like then I would start to get a little bit annoying, right? So if we're not like on one part for the entire channel or entire stream, multiple days, that's it's pretty normal. Say that falls in line with like the hours, or like that would be on the quicker end of like a completion for the regular game for a newer player, right? So they're trying to make this a reworking for people that have played it. That, that seems like it fits. Although there does seem to be more content in this, like there actually is just more content in this, as far as I've seen. Will happy new year. I was gonna say defense ring is kind of pointless on this one too, because like I'm rarely ever full health, so I don't know if I should go for that. Nice. What boss to have the most deaths on? Uh, Age Dragon Slayer for sure. Played Returnal. I did play Returnal. There's a video on YouTube if you want to see it. Also, uh, Luck Pops, thank you so much for the the three months, man. Welcome back. Happy New Year to you as well. Why no heal ability? Uh, he used a charm on me, so I couldn't heal. It's like the Father Owl uh, moveset, like the debuff that he uses in Sekiro.
Nice. <laughs> uh, he has passive health regen. He does, yeah. End up beating Madeira. We did beat Madeira. Yeah. How many hours do you already have in DS3, Jules? Uh, about 5,000 probably, if I had to guess at this point. Between like 4,500 and 5,000. Um, a little smoke bomb, yeah, exactly. <laughs> regen some BS. Well, without the regen, we would have killed him, so is it? <laughs> or is it balancing? Put the shield ring back on again. Try that. So, dude, the input for that I did was so delayed, it happened like five seconds later there. Holy shit. Like, he was just beating me so hard that the game couldn't, like, load what I did until, like, way after. <laughs> Thing above the boss's health bar? Uh, I don't know if I noticed anything above his health bar. The name, you mean? Is a shield viable in this mod? Not really from what I tested, unfortunately. But I think there's certain situations where like a certain kind of shield could be could work. But like it's like you could use them, they're just not gonna work that well, right? It's gonna be the same as the base game. The base game shields don't really work that well uh, to a certain extent. Like you can't just block uh, Gale, for example. Like he'll probably destroy you still. So I'd imagine that it, they, they wouldn't probably be much better in this, but they do work a little, it's just not a lot. Voice Talisman to stop the regen? You can't, unfortunately. I've tried that before on the other stuff, so I'm assuming... I mean, like, we could see if it's specific to each enemy, but I would, I would imagine if they made the regen a factor for multiple things, it wouldn't just be allowed for this, for example, right? You could try it, though, just to, like, see if it actually matters. This is a, this is a throwaway attempt, anyways. Let's see. Is dual charm, yeah. Yeah, I'll throw a dual charm at him next time. Uh, you just updated last week. Uh, at least give you time to beat it again before an update. <laughs> That's crazy that you're playing it back to back, dude. That's awesome. Use an extra heal? No. Not good. Uh. 
I've never seen that before. That's new. Must be kind of rare. Yeah, the health regen's not that, like, it's not crazy aggressive. Um, like, it needs another mechanic, yeah, another buff mechanic. I like to keep all the mods up to date. You have a hard drive dedicated to just mods, all the major ones for DSR, DS2, and 3. Nice, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, Heaven Gold, we didn't do DLC 1 first, we did this one first. on that one. Sister Frida is going to be hurt. I have a feeling. I was just actually thinking about that. I was like, Frida would probably be challenging too if they're going to change uh, the DLC in this, which they did. They actually did some pretty cool things. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I wanted to use the dual charm, true. Why am I missing a vial, though? Why can't I? It says I can only use 10, but... I have 11, that's so weird. So the one doesn't matter, apparently. Wait, is the dual charm the thing we want? Special effects in vicinity? No. No, it's the other one. Okay, I don't have the one we can use, but we, we tried it on another boss and it didn't work. Some of like, common sense tells you it wouldn't work on this. If that's like a new theme for this being redesigned. Is that the best healing? Um, I think we have it upgraded to plus five or six at the moment. So it would probably only be, oh no, it's plus five. So yeah, you could probably increase it a couple more times. Um, it wouldn't be too much better because the, the way that the, the heals work in this, they're, they're like the kind of health you'd get back from a blood vial. So it's like very low amounts of health you actually end up healing. Uh, Mighty, I, I did. He uh, So on Stagger, he does like an automatic attack uh, that will uh, stop you from being able to do any damage, really. So you just can't really Stagger him on this. It's not safe unless you're on Phase 1. Like, you, you should. You probably will, in inevitably, but you, you shouldn't use that as a strategy, though. It's a little too difficult in that sense. Combination of rings that I have right now is better. Because um, then, it, like having the, the the Sun Princess ring, it lets my uh, sort like shield ring actually work once in a while at least if I heal close to what I need to. So there's like a few attacks I'll probably get hit by that won't do as much. That equal more than what Life Ring would grant me. Here's the funny one.
so he's got the delayed the delayed one hand thing is kind of screwing with me now too it's a little crazy that one yeah <laughs> hmm didn't you beat Gale without getting hit uh, I have many times yeah those always heal for 35 or 40 percent feel like um Bloodborne the Vile's max level heal you fully with two or three of them vials at max level so I don't think you can level vials in Bloodborne can you unless you're talking about using runes like vials just are the same they're just percentage based like there's no item to increase the strength of them or at least equivalent to like using uh, bone shards or sublime bone dust That poison type consumable, he can't be poisoned, unfortunately. We already tried that. Probably more than I should have, <laughs> but we tried. Again, if he could be poisoned, he'd already probably have won. A little bit easier. Phase two is normally my hardest, so maybe we can get some something of a regular phase three. No, not really, just some more shenanigans. Oh, okay, whatever that was. Okay, maybe that buff he was using early before. So that has like a splash damage to it, which means that close range, you'd have to like set up for it. So I'm wondering if it's just safer being far away here. I don't know what that is. Can't really see. Two Gale, I got magic too. And they still got the same response, the stagger response there, yeah. That kills on impact, nice. What if he regens back to phase two? That'd be hilarious if his health went back to phase two, they reverse the fight. <laughs> be so funny. Uh, what patch are you on? Is this the latest one? It was updated not that long ago, and heals do heal more in the new patch. Um, I'm on the update from whenever I started this, so whatever the current version was, like four days ago, five days ago. So I downloaded it a day before I started, so yeah, about five days ago. Oh, we should get more buffs. I'm going to try fire on this one. Adnan, thanks, man. I appreciate it. The 
than you are on the new patch? Okay, so it was even less healing before? That's crazy. <laughs> Who made this? That's crazy. Alright, let's go and get more buffs. What's different about Gale from the normal game? Uh, pretty, like, I mean, if you played the normal game, you'd just be able to look at it and see, but... Um, if you haven't played the normal game, uh, just moveset related stuff, uh, new attacks. And uh, they changed like the, the environment a little bit, but mostly just like the lighting and the color of the, the sand. Regen in a boss fight's just a lazy way to make it harder, just stretching and boring instead of challenging. Yeah, I think that it can be it can be used in that way, definitely. Some of the ways they use it in this I wouldn't say are exactly like that, but they definitely, um, depending on how you want to handle it, they can they can be the reason that you're not winning, for sure. Uh, is this a new mod? It is, yeah. You haven't gotten to Gale yet? Okay, so yeah, Gale is uh, normally... <laughs> well, basically, like, he has a lot less... Um, he doesn't heal himself. He has a lot, like probably half the amount of attacks, maybe 40% of the attacks he has on this. Or at least in terms of variation with the fact that some of them can be um, manipulated um, that are normal ones. So all the normal ones that are slightly changed or can be changed in the fight, cancelled or and, and or including new stuff. Yeah, that would be like probably, I'd say more than 50% more stuff in the actual fight information wise now. And then... Um, Again, just can't be staggered, so that's unfortunate. Or the stagger has a repercussion on it. And so on and so forth. Oh boy. And then also bleed in the first phase, too. That's pretty crazy. Kill me. Thank you. He can heal back to full health while on phase three. Yeah, pr pretty much. Like if you weren't quick enough, and I think on the part three, that's where you're gonna lose a lot of damage because you can't hit him as often. But then again, when he charges up though for each um, AOE that he does, like that explosion, like you get two free hits right there, which is it kind of it makes up for it. it. Just seems worse for a little bit, and then you make up for it. Okay, fire is definitely better. Helping a bit. Is there HP rally mechanic? There isn't. If there was rally, this would be a lot easier too. So I think that rally might be added to like maybe a later version of this, but it hasn't yet. Because if rally was in this, a lot of the stuff we've already done would be, um, it, it just would be easier even by mistake. Like even without me trying to make it easier, I would just accidentally get more health back, right? Um, so I'm not sure if that's like something they're going to implement, but it seems like it just because the way the health decreases, it shows the the health that you could rally back in orange.
Okay, I can't attack. I was trying to see if I can attack in between that. Okay, nice. I can still do the little kick in that, too. That's crazy. Whoa. That's pretty wild, too. That went th through the ground downwards. Usually what goes over my head. Yeah, so it's kind of a mess. Is this Elden Ring? Uh, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, is this a DS3 PC mod? It is. Exclamation point mod in chat if you want to see it. Feels weird to see you take damage while playing. Uh, knee loss? I know, right? I know. <laughs> uh, Jules, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out, by the way. I appreciate it. <laughs> did I beat Madeira? I did, yeah. Uh, it's the same dude as yesterday. I just got to Gale this stream, so I haven't, I haven't played this boss yesterday. We were on... Um, well, I guess it wouldn't have been yesterday. It would have been last stream. We were on um, Cinder, I believe, and then I think we did... We did False King as well, and then some other stuff leading up to Cinder. Totally confusing to watch. <laughs> That's funny. Excited about the DVD thing with Otz. Yeah, it's really cool, man. I was actually hoping to uh, get some tips from him on how to play that better. So I guess him uh, giving me a ton of advice uh, is something that he wants to do as well. It's something that would help the community solve a problem or solve a debate. So I'm very glad to be a part of it. being kind of dumb on this one. I was being kind of big brain, then I was being kind of stupid. Unfortunately. 
feel like the one hand delay overhead is a third phase move set and he accidentally uses it in phase two sometimes because the same thing happened with that um poise buff or like the the thing he puts on his body the white buff which seems like it'd be poise now he's disappearing where are you where'd you go Just for fun. Just for fun. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> What's going on, uh, V Sweat? How are you doing, dude? Maybe you can two hand and hold block after dodging. Nah, you can't, unfortunately. You can't block this stuff. <laughs> um, there, no, there is no after anything. It's almost just like you attack and it's still not enough time sometimes. So you really just got to be careful. There, there's no after. It's After is mainly like you use the frame, the three frames you might have to escape. <laughs> if there was time to do all that stuff, man, like the, the only issue with that theory is if that would work, then there's so many other things you could do that would be easier to win way quicker, right? Because that means you have time. Um, but that that's also hoping too that blocking would be good enough, which we tried in this game or in this mod. And if anything, it's the same as it normally would be, so you wouldn't really be able to block bosses, really. Like maybe a little bit, but nothing crazy. Not to mention you need a big shield and have to be fully upgraded, and then you'd also have to have the stats to not fat roll with it, which we don't. Unless we have worse armor on. Can you see the weapon stats? It's maxed out, um, but I can show you though. Just give me a second. Let me finish this first. That backhand does the most damage out of any attack that he can do that I know of so far, so that's a really odd attack to choose for that much damage. Nice. The correction kick, that's like you weren't dead, we'll just kick you. <laughs> that beat Soul of Cinder, I did, yeah. We just have to get Gale and then the first DLC. Don't want a backseat, making observation, use Ludwig's Holy Blade and you do around 600 AR with no buffs, so it could be an option if this ain't going places. Unfortunately, I don't have enough of the Lost Souls to buy it. Um, I, I'm actually only at half of the amount that you need for that weapon. But yeah, the AR on this is very similar. It's uh, 678 unbuffed, so that's already better, actually. Also, Race, thank you so much for the three months. Welcome back. So the world might be mended. 
<laughs> he went in. He's like, I gotta kick you before I go into phase three. I just gotta kick you before I go into phase three. <laughs> Lord Daff, thank you for the 23 months. Welcome back, dude. How's it going? It's got hacked. Sorry, I just got back from getting food and see another curse on your screen trying to buy something. You just got hacked? Really? That's interesting, dude. I'd probably make sure you don't use the computer anymore. I should probably check it out first. part of something else with a little something something extra a little funny stagger yeah so you would just been screwed i would have been screwed uh set to fail thank you so much for gifting uh, dark souls what's up man i appreciate that dark enjoy your moats welcome is this boss harder than cinder um I'd say it's it's like almost the same, if not maybe like a little bit harder, but like it's pretty much the same in terms of difficulty. Just he he can uh, regen his health, whereas Cinder wasn't regening his health, I don't think. Cinder was just setting me on fire instead. <laughs> I'd rather be on fire than have the health regen, because then I could still win a little bit quicker. But yeah, they're very close though. Which is kind of cool, because usually I think that Gale is uh, considerably easier than Cinder, in, in, on a mechanical basis at least, so that's pretty cool. Not the blood loss. Not that. Never that. <laughs> Gale fat rolling has been quite the experience. Oh yeah, Vsput, how is that, dude? That sounds wild. Madman Vsput over here trying to do uh, Gale fat roll only. Can you guys imagine what that'd be like? If you haven't checked out his channel, definitely follow him. He's doing runs that like just need to be done, but just people are scared. Like that kick from Gale, man, it's just, <laughs> that's scary. 2PB, Gale and Cinder is everything. True, true. Yeah, Cinder Fat Roll was pretty hard, I remember that. Because isn't there, like, scenarios where if you don't go, like, a little earlier, like, you're almost, like, intentionally early for the next uh, situation to give yourself the recovery time to escape it? Like, you have to almost kind of preemptively decide on a, on a certain... Or, like, kind of set it up so you can encompass, like, two situations at once with one action. Or one, uh, one type of... Thing. You're intentionally early a lot, like, for Dancer, true. That's scary, because then that means you're actually being sloppy to be able to to get the recovery, but then the frames are kind of shorter, right? So it's even shorter than the frames it gives you by default.
Damn, shouldn't have attacked again there. <laughs> After the explosion. Uh, only 64 people in the Discord for the mod. You love new mods because this will develop into something crazy in about a year, most likely. I think it already is kind of developed. Like, this is the idea they were going for. I don't know if they released new, earlier versions of it, but it seems pretty... Uh, Pretty crazy so far. I could, I. It would be awesome if they added even more stuff, but I don't even know what else they could really do. Just like small things with um, extra animations and like the item content, maybe. I mean, of course, they could just like port things from Bloodborne, uh, like enemy-wise or things that haven't been done yet with that. But I don't even know if that would be necessary for it to be cool, right? Speaking with the difficulty, well, they could always release two versions of it too, right? They can make one that's for like the enjoyment, then one that's for the hardcore people, like they've done with some things. Because, like, I feel like it would be a shame to take away the way they did the difficulty on this one specifically, just because people are complaining. I feel like this, on this one, like, you're 100% certain, like, you've done what you've done. It's not really based on, like, you can't really get lucky on this. There's no handicaps either, really. Even within the actual game's items that I've seen, it's more, more, more so just, uh, you know, getting good. At least with most of the stuff. Okay, after that one, I gotta watch out for the backhand. Uh, why so little stamina? Uh, you don't really use like a crazy amount of stamina playing properly in this game. So basically like, you could have stamina to play bad on purpose, but if you know you're gonna play well, or that's gonna be part of the focus anyways, you end up actually not using the stamina you put in past a certain point. So we're rarely ever actually like trying to look for stamina and not having it if we're playing uh, well. The only reason to have more would be to actually like it, like intend to make mistakes, right? I guess that's the best way to put it. Or to safeguard uh, certain scenarios. Unless, unless you're using like crazy, crazy uh, dem demanding weapons and you somehow can get enough hits off on something, which would be pretty rare. They'd probably have to be really slow for you to hit that many times. So kind of like, I guess the best way to put it, like 10, 10 endurance on the base game actually goes quite a long way. Like that's enough to do a lot of stuff, but a lot of people would say it wouldn't make any sense because uh, they're used to needing the handicap to be able to make mistakes with the stamina management, right? Wait, I'm doing one set. Oh, it's probably because he's in the middle of the thing. I was like, why did it hit 176? I got distracted there. <laughs> Seth, thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Heard of Father Owl. Now meet Gale Daddy. <laughs> Today you're learning your trash because you're always out of stamina. <sighs> yeah, it kind of depends, man. I don't know. I guess like with certain character builds, you might actually need more. Like if you're using really heavy equipment and it regens slower. But if it regens fairly quick, it's not, it's not like the biggest deal. Um, you should have enough for like a lot of different actions, but depends on how you're playing the game, right? Like, 
you just want to have like a fun time, then having extra might be more fun. If you want to be like, if you're just trying to be ac accurate, then there is no need for a certain amount. Like the actual lowest they give you when you start off without leveling at all is usually enough. But enough versus like, you know, a comfortable amount might make it less fun for you. So if you, I think if you want to enjoy the game, level stamina as much as you want. For me, like the only way to actually have the advantage I have on this now is because we didn't put stats in the stamina, we put it all into the damage uh, and the health so we could survive this kind of stuff. Since, you know, the reason I'm losing isn't from stamina at all any of the times, it's mainly just losing my health or uh, not, not DPSing them before they out-DPS me. can still bring that around. Visva, did you see that, man? You were the only person, I think, that's here that would actually realize how ridiculous that is. He, he like, okay, so he has a recovery that doesn't actually decide to do the attack, but it, it, it starts off with the startup of the attack, then it turns into not doing the attack if you get it a range, but then he brought it back into doing the attack again after deciding not to, so that was pretty crazy. That is, that is the coolest thing I've seen so far. <laughs> That would, that would, that's almost on the level of he just is like sentient, man. Like he literally decided that uh, based on what I did, like he changed what he originally wanted to do at the same time as already doing it. Without it being canceled, you know? Like that's, it's like a reverse cancel. It's like a can the cancel got canceled. mod coming for DSR this month. Yeah, uh, Nightfall looks really good. Delay with the one hand, man. One hand delay, the weird cancel cancel, and then uh, the kick, dude. <laughs> Those are hard. Those are pretty crazy. And then I guess like uh, like the lightning, uh, the environmental lightning with the sword, too. That's pretty crazy. Is Gale scream like that in the base game, or was it cut as a, yeah, was it a cut animation? Um, it could be a cut animation. It could be reused from other stuff, but... Uh, no, he usually, he usually just goes to the cutscene right away. Let's oh, I need more buffs. So the world so the world Angry Gamer, what's up? How's it going, man? Half a year. I'm going to take a really quick break. Take I'm going to let Gale kill streams. me while I, while I chill here Less for a second. Break. I'm going to take a really quick bathroom break. I'll be right back, guys.
Imagine destroying your vocal cords and then just they remove it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we're good. Yeah, Polyline, thank you so much for the six months. Welcome back. Half a year. Uh, did I finish the hit this run? Uh, Frog, you're, you're probably talking about the damage this run? No, not yet. Um, I'll put it on YouTube when it's finished. But yeah, we'll be going back to uh, attempting it right after this is done. Uh, sell. We have a lot of stuff to sell, actually. I wonder if you can use these. I'm assuming you, you might be able to, but I don't know what it would be for. I feel like by the time we figure it out, we'll already be done, so... Hmm. Also, human pine resin is 1500. I wonder if that would be better on Gale, too. I feel like that and Dark Moon are a little bit better. There's none of that left, so I'm going to get the human pine resin this time. Ashen one. How's this mod overall, Lux? It's cool, dude. It's really cool. Can you sell stuff in DS2? Uh, you can to Gavlan. Uh, but it's like at a really, really cheap price. Like it's not the same as this. So you would only, yeah, you wouldn't really have like an actual way of selling things for the same amount they're worth, really. Did I read the Book of the Eclipse? I, I uh, read the description of it, but I haven't, I don't know if I, I've used it yet. Passion. Let me see. Yeah, so I can't use it, but I had I have read the description. It says go back to these places. I think I, I think I saw the corresponding tombstones you need to use with them. They fixed the broken English on this. Ah, uh, I don't know. It's not really that much broken English. It's only just like a handful of spelling mistakes on stuff that most people don't even read, so. Would I do Cinder's mod again if it gets updated? Maybe, maybe at some point. I was thinking about that before this one. I was thinking, would it be a good idea to go back to Cinder's? If you want a surprise, there's one in High Wall. I think I found the one in High Wall. I just didn't have the book yet. See, I was thinking of going back and checking that stuff out after the DLC is done, but um, I don't know if we'll actually be able to do that today, though, because we might not even finish the DLC today. So it might be another couple streams. Whiskey, whiskey TV, what's up, man? Yes, so you killed Nameless without getting hit thanks to your strategy. You officially beat the entire base game for the first time. Better late than ever. Congrats, man. That's awesome. That's really cool. Entire base game, so that means you haven't done the DLC yet, then. Yeah, that's, so this stuff just seems to be like very infrequent, like the whole invisible thing. I only saw that one other time. It was in phase three, I think. So I'm wondering if sometimes it glitches out and loads things that aren't supposed to be happening at the time. Because it definitely did that with Dragon Rider, right? Oh man, too many arrows. What's happening here? Broken chair. I might actually end up doing this without buffs, because I was going to say to go back and get the Dark Moon buffs every time at this point will be expensive. Unless we switch back to fire. But they didn't have a huge, huge difference. I 
revisit them since you picked up the book. I haven't, no, I was going to actually do that after I beat both the DLCs. You won't say anymore? No, I, I appreciate the the advice, dude, because I, I did actually check that out and I was planning on doing that. I didn't know that was that, that was what you were talking about, though, so just to clarify it, make sure that we're, uh, that we're checking out all the stuff in the, the mod. I appreciate it. Does he actually just take 137 damage on buff two-handed? Or is that def like he was like getting defense in his attack or something? What the hell is that? Beat through the DLC yet? No, we haven't tried it yet. Um, yeah, I kind of wanted to do this first. He had defense for some attacks. Yeah, that's what it seems like. I was like, there's no way the, the buff... They did nothing there. <laughs> Still poison resin? I don't, but poison doesn't work on this hero, as far as we know. We used uh, we used about 40 uh, poison throwing knives, and he didn't get poisoned once. Which would make sense. I mean, if, if he could be poisoned, this would be a little bit easy, in my opinion. Like, it'd probably only take an hour. Maybe a bit less. <laughs> Get hit with the most damaging attack there is right after you just used all the heals. Nice. Nice, nice. Limb specific? Does look like he has defense for some attacks, yeah. I don't know if it's... I've never, like, noticed a limb thing in this, but... Yeah, we were, I think we were hitting him without a buff for a decent amount of damage before, so just certain things he's doing, it, he takes less damage. And then that makes, like even the buffed damage half as much so he, like he can reduce the attacks by about 50 percent with uh them being counter hits which usually it'd be double or, or it would be like 1.5 times or something like that right that's kind of funny it's like the opposite of what a counter would be The attack verted which one also jorgev what's up <sighs> is he taking less damage because he's about to attack um so when he's in an attack he actually takes less damage so think of like counter damage but then like it's the opposite so you, you do less damage instead of more no hit runners mod that'd be hilarious man It would be a pretty good one to do one on if you're going to, out of a lot of the ones I've seen. I wonder if Gino will play it, because I haven't seen him for a while. 
he, he liked to do the hitless runs on Cinder's mods. So I feel like he'd probably like this. Okay, that can still miss, but then mm, you get the recovery behind, I guess. <laughs> Haven't seen that yet. That's new. There's a lot of shit in this, dude. The amount of information in this fight is the equivalent of like five different bosses, at least. And then if we're speaking in Demon Souls DS1 terms, it's like the equivalent of the entire game of Demon Souls. <laughs> I've seen the range and the Claymore angers you so much, yeah. <laughs> Active poise, would that make him take less damage? Yeah, so it's basically, if you think of it as like counter damage with the opposite, yeah. It's like, so he, uh, he's just like, I don't care. I'm just gonna tank everything. <laughs> uh, Eben, what's up? How's it going, man? You're different, he was, yeah. Much more explodey and lasery, definitely. The environment was pretty dark, too. That delayed uh, one-hand attack is brutal, dude. I think that's my least favorite thing so far. <laughs> it's the hardest, for sure. Because um, it has the same start. It has the identical startup to the other attack that it's supposed to be, that it's based off of. 
There's no indication for that one. And then you have to also set up for it as a... Or you, it makes you want to think of the two hand, because the two hands change too, so then you're like going through like three possibilities in your head. Phase three practice. Uh, Everlasting, it will, yeah. Uh, did they improve any bad bosses like Wyvern, Deacons, or Walnir in this mod? They did, yeah. Um, <sighs> Walnir wasn't too different. Uh, Wyvern not in the game, as far as I know, and then uh, Deacons was a bit different too, but like pretty similar. It's a little bit tankier. Why are there vials? It's supposed to be like a Bloodborne mod. So they took a lot of stuff from Bloodborne and they combined it with this. Reminds you a bit of some old school YS bosses avoiding attacks for most of the time to get one, two hits in. Pretty much, yeah. And I think Bloodborne's kind of like that too, but then they, they usually um, have other mechanics and it like the like the or they have they have like other items. Like for example, pellets can help that. And then like the right strategy can help that too. Bloodborne health regain exists in this. The rally? No, there's no rally in this, unfortunately. I think they are gonna incorporate it though. Like they have they, they should. That'd make more sense, but then they have to rebalance a lot of stuff. Or they could just make it really minor. Maybe get like a quarter of your health back that you lost. First time in a while I've had to get good. I always have to get good, man. Getting good is the name of the game. I don't know if anyone in the world's that. played mortal shell the last two phases are insane yeah the second one i mean actually the second one now is becoming kind of mild but like the third one is crazy though because the third one still can use all the stuff the second one can so it's basically just um the second one plus another move set or two whereas in the normal game the third phase is completely different it's actually easier than the second phase too normally but then they they actually made it progressively harder which kind of fixes that situation I felt is the case with the regular fight, so that's pretty cool, but, um, yeah, the second part now is not, like, even the problem, it's mainly just, uh, making it to the end, right? Also, I can't even heal often enough to really even, like, I could actually just waste, like, uh, health in the beginning, and it doesn't even matter, because I can't even use the heals I have, since there's not a lot of opportunities to. So, you don't even really need that many heals for the fight, you just need to play really good. And not do that. That would help, too. <laughs> so, new areas? Uh, not really, no. Orphan of Cost Music. 
Is that what the soundtrack is from? I wasn't sure, actually. That's so funny, I hit his health lower than it was supposed to go and it went back up before the other part. <laughs> it, it knew, that's funny. Lay on the overhead is so funny, man. Oh. Uh, you lost your motivation to study, vision. Do you have any recommendations? You were sick, but you're not sick anymore. You can't focus. Um, what do you have? What have you been doing in the meantime? If you had a PC, you would play this. Looks super fun. Oh, dude, it's worth it for sure. If you act, if you ever have a chance to, definitely get it. Yeah, vision. The best thing I can say is like whatever you're already doing, like in the meantime, um, like make a break between what you're doing and then just do like 10, 20 minutes of studying, then go back to what you're doing, then take another break. So every hour, do like 20 minutes of study. Or start with like a lower amount of minutes and then every can set and like a, maybe the next day, if you still have like multiple days study, then change it to like half an hour, then change it to an hour. Um, you'll probably end up going over the time that you actually want to without even realizing after you do it enough, but just like do like small amounts of it instead. See if that works. So you're not like trying to take it all in like at the same time for like hours and hours and hours, right? Unless that's what you need, but if, if, if you're okay with doing it broken up, then that might help a bit. The stagger got me on that, damn. Just finish updating the mod, you're gonna start fresh? Oh, good, good luck, dude. <laughs> good luck. Just, just, yo, like, the fact you even beat the Swades, like, that's pretty cool. That's, like, actually really cool. I have respect for a lot of people that have beaten this. Um, you thought the bolts got me? The bolts did, but the bolts are from him staggering. So if you stagger him, he does an automatic attack in response, where there's an explosion and then there's bolts. So it's because I staggered him that I died, because if I didn't stagger him, he wouldn't have done the bolts. And I tried to evade the bolts, but I couldn't, so like just trying to like go back to the core of why that happened is mainly because I staggered him. I didn't really know though. Wasn't counting, so. I could always try to count and see. But I mean it's a, it's a good thing. Usually like you can still get like an attack or two if you uh, are very good when he staggers, but you can't just stay there though, you have to like kinda get out of the way for a second. 
You want to see Hob play this mod? If you can get Hob to play this mod, that'd be so cool. I'd definitely watch that. playing mods on stream i i don't know i'm not sure actually i think he's done randomizers before right so the audio swim wow what's wrong with the audio is it the game that's sounding weird or is it um the commentary because the site has an issue with audio that's uh, pretty common um you just have to refresh the actual page or close it and open it again it should fix it it's usually if like the actual game audio and the music is screwing up so you're randomizer right now there you go Here's your answer. be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Love you. The mix-ups on the, uh, the jumps are just like, unbelievable, dude. There's so much variety that could possibly happen that it's actually... Uh, it's like half sentient. <laughs> or it feels like that. RJ, thank you so much for the 19 months. Welcome back, dude. The damage from those rings, yeah. Hobble Doom Auto runs when he's done with every conceivable possible run in standard games. About 5 to 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right. Alright, more buffs. More buffs, man. I'm gonna get some fire again. Shady or shady? I'm not sure how to to say that. You're gonna have to help me, man. Thank you so much for the brand new sub. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your moats. Welcome. Uh, have and have a good rest of your sleep as well, or a good rest of your evening. Have a good sleep. Sorry, I kind of scuffed that a little bit. We got we got uh, Gale uh, Hollow Overhaul mod brain right now. So <laughs> forgive me. Uh, would you see the melee combat in this mod has more to, more to it than the one from Convergence? Oh yeah, for sure. For sure, man. That's that's from what I know, though. I mean, I haven't played Convergence um, a crazy amount. I've played it twice. 
It's not a really huge amount, but so far, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna redo that one. That was not good. Convergence is mostly magic. It is, yeah. It, it focuses on weapons a little bit, but it's more magic, yeah. Shaw Dynasty, but everyone says... Oh, it's Shaw Dynasty, my bad. It's That's the that's the way you break it up. Okay, yeah, I'll call you Shaw then, my bad. <laughs> Thank you for... Con like, I would have never never guessed that. I thought it was uh, Shady Nasty. I didn't think it was uh, Shaw Dynasty. No W. The brain can't compute. Why is Arena blue? Because we on the moon, dude. Because Gale is an alien now. I'll show you why right now. We had health, but I don't know where it went though. <laughs> Bosses have new moves with this mod, they do, yeah. What makes this mod so hard? You never played Bloodborne? Uh, it's not really about like the Bloodborne stuff that makes it hard. It's just like uh, reworking, so um, it's kind of giving you new new information, new stuff if you've already played the game quite a bit. So basically, imagine it as like going through the, the regular game for the first time, not knowing what to expect, and then it's kind of like. It's kind of like that, not completely, but just a little bit, though, um, for people that have played the game quite a bit. So it's, like, built with decent players in mind, not so much, like, this is going to be a great thing to play if you're not the greatest at DS3. But if you're pretty decent at it, it says specifically for veteran players, it'll be a nice first playthrough again. That's what it seems like it's doing. Doing a good job of. <laughs> definitely doing like a part three and four or, so, or, or I guess like the way I upload it we'll try to do part two but <laughs> we'll, we'll have to be streaming this another day at least unless um unless we can wrap this up now and then the DLC that we haven't done is easy and the other stuff is easy but I doubt it probably need another like full day just for the extra stuff outside the DLC maybe two so might be on this for another uh while so I guess about two to three parts at least when it's finished Probably be about 10 hours each. Who did the mod? I actually, I have no idea who made this one.
You haven't done DLC 1? No. I've done DLC 2 up to Gale, and then we still have other stuff that we can do that is uh, new to the mod. After we've... Uh, I mean, I can do it right now if I wanted to, but I'm going to wait till uh, the DLC is going to do it as like a DLC part 3 kind of thing. Like a third, almost like a third DLC. That's what I want to do it as. But I don't know what that stuff is yet. I haven't seen it yet. I'm assuming it's harder than this, but only based on like just like the progression, like the fact that we're, you'd probably do it after you've beaten this, maybe. Unless it's the other way around, it's actually easier, but either way. Pretty sure this mod has Chalice Dungeons, does it? Maybe that was the uh, the thing that they, they added to it that I was talking about. So I want, I want to save it for a surprise. I don't want to like check it out first, then go back to it. I want to do it once we're done everything else. Delayed one hand attack that early is kind of weird. I don't know. Because it is a phase three. It's like part of his phase three moveset. He does it most often then, it seems. But he like he just randomly will throw it out once in a while on this part. But it's not like RNG, really. It's kind of just... It's almost like a different subset of things. It's it's almost like um, it's not part of the moveset, but then it, it could just become it randomly. Like once in like dozens of uh, attempts. And then it's always a thing in the first part. But then other things from the previous parts of the fight can be like one in several dozens just randomly thrown in there, you know? And I don't know if that, like, the way that's programmed actually is, uh, like, a separate set of information that just, like, is a yes or no, or if it's part of the main pool of things that are happening already, but, like, extremely rare, like, rated very infrequently or something like that. Because it doesn't seem like it's, um, input read or, uh, manipulated either. It's, like, pretty just much raw stuff that's the decision they're making. Just, like, a choice from the... The AI, but that's pretty crazy though. The title clip? <laughs> Is there actually a clip of the title? Oh, the, the read the title meme? But people don't read titles though. We already know that's fake. You can't simply read titles. That's new too. That's brand new. I literally have not seen that yet. And then he did the mega delay there. So mega delay is part three too. Okay, nice. So you gotta always be ready for mega delay. Be ready for the uh, kick. And apparently his sword can create like an AOE as well by itself. That's some new stuff. One does simply not read titles. You don't know. The titles read you. Uh, Spirited, I have no idea. I wish I knew, but I couldn't tell you. 
So you can just you can just guess any number and we'll say it's correct. Dude, I just like guard broke him and it did damage. That was pretty cool. Accidental delayed one hand dodge, nice. <laughs> Oh, maybe that's why they put that in there, because he, he, like, wants, he, like, does a, it's not even a combo, but it's, like, overhead, 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 but then, like, he'll mix up in between if you do something else, and, like, you're not, uh, and if you're not doing anything for, like, the first little bit, he seems to not mix it up. It could be, like, devoid of your actual input, like, he'll just do it, like, whatever way he wants to do it, but, like, because he can continuously, conti like, he can just restart that attack, like, four times in a row, I guess the having the slow one makes it worthwhile for that particular situation like it would make sense so i was wondering like why does that even exist man <laughs> but if he can use it there that actually makes a lot of sense like just by itself that's kind of just funny bro Guard break did 20, two, uh, 218, yeah. That's awesome. Before it actually came to that. that was weird. Uh, General Nippy, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I appreciate it, man. <sighs> welcome back. Or welcome. Hope you enjoy your moats. Playing this for the first time, you died about 10 times uh, killing Dancer. Really? Dancer is the same in this one. Other than the... Uh, unless you're talking about, like, um, you're playing DS3 for the first time. I was going to say, in this mod, Dancer... The only thing that was different is her, the animation for her explosion was just a little bit quicker. That was it. At least I realized. There could have been like some other uh, speed tweaks, but like it would have been very tiny though. This is screwed up for me when I played it. Which one do I suggest? Uh, you want to play some Souls games? Um, honestly, whatever one looks the coolest to you, play first. Whatever one you think you're going to enjoy the most. It doesn't really matter too much. I'd recommend for a first playthrough, DS1 is really good. 
Uh, Bloodborne's pretty good, and then Sekiro would probably be my most favorite for a first playthrough, but... Yeah, honestly, it doesn't... Doesn't matter too much, just whatever one you think looks the coolest. Because then you're probably more likely to uh, stick with it, right? was too quick. Okay, we're dealing with Invisible Man now. Mr. Invisible coming at us. Okay, there's a phase four. Nice. That's new. Probably still combining everything we can have happen on the other ones though, just in case. So we don't want to get screwed. Imagine he slows down at the end, that'd be hilarious dude, I wish. Unfortunate. That was a good attempt, though. That was the best one. I take a really quick break and get more water. I'll be right back, guys. Notice the HUD was from Bloodborne. It is, yeah. <laughs> chair stream. The chair. What if the chair beat him when I was gone? That wouldn't be fair, would it? We would we have to replay it. Do chairs count as a win? All right. It's the first phase of this boss from. First phase of this boss from Rom OST. Um. I can't remember, dude. Honestly, They're like I, I think this is the Orphan OST, which might be the same as Rom. They might both be identical. Sounds like it could be wrong as well. I haven't listened to the OST from Bloodborne in a while, like while playing. I can remember some of the songs in my head, but not like what they all go to. Only like maybe half of them. How do you get more viewers on Twitch, Urfan? 
make content that people like. And uh, stream a lot. That is the... And then also grow on other platforms, too. If you want to get, like, the most viewers quickly, then uh, become popular on other platforms. That's super important. Seems like they want you to be super aggressive phase four, some stupid healing on him. Well, the healing's still the going on the whole time, Lex, uh, except for phase one. He, he heals in phase two. Um, so it's the same thing. I don't think it got any faster, did it? Look the same as it was before. I think phase four actually is the easiest because he actually gives you openings. <laughs> phase three seems to be the hardest so far. But I could have got lucky on the fourth part, so we'll see. Cheese, what's up? This seems insane. Yeah, are you gonna play this, man? If you want, if you want a good repl replay of the game, because you were saying you felt like playing DS3 lately, this is a really good reworking of the game. I would, I would really enjoy watching you play this. It's always weird, so actually catching your streams and not just watching uh, YouTube. Well, welcome, dude. I appreciate you uh, making it, man. Uh, okay, let's let's get a good attempt again. I gotta really focus for this one. I think using green blossoms might help in the last part too, just in case. Uh, like if I make a mistake, because uh, I don't really know anything yet, it can help me fix it a little bit. Like I won't get punished as much for missing, but... Yeah, let me put those on. Or actually, I'll just use, I'll use the good one from the menu, there we go. came back. That sucks. Gonna do 24-hour Elden Ring stream? No, I'll probably never do a 24-hour stream again in my life. Um, there's not really a reason to. <laughs> good thing you picked up Zero Souls. That, that's what gave me the good luck, yeah. I will be playing Elden Ring on release, though. I'll be playing it, like, quite often, just it won't be a 24-hour stream. Uh, King Eckbert, thank you so much for the five months. Welcome back. I'll try, man. I think we can beat him. This is like, we might be able to beat him today. I would love to have at least this DLC finished today. Because the other parts of it, like, Madeir was pretty hard. Half Light was a little weird and it took some time, but it wasn't too bad. But this is, uh, I changed my mind because now that I know more, I would say this is the hardest thing in the DLC for sure. Which is kind of good because this is the end of the actual game normally, so they made the last thing you do in the entire series actually. Like, very hard, so. Which, which um, mod should you start with? Cinders, Convergence, or Hollow? Uh, I'd start with Cinders first, probably. Because Convergence is harder than Cinders, and then this is harder than both, in my opinion, so. Let's start with that. At Eldori, yeah. <laughs> it is, dude. There's there, there's even some things that like just even surprise me where I'm like, man, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it, it's kind of like if you were to play this game for the first time again, they made something really awesome. Like they made a really cool enemy and you're like, oh, dude, like you're just getting your ass kicked and having fun. 
but you're like enjoying the ass kicking, so it's like a it's like an enjoyable beatdown. Rather than the an artificially skewed beatdown, right? At least for me, like with for the way I play this. Oh yeah, I forgot I forgot that guard break actually is kick. My bad. So yeah, the mechanic of guard breaking has changed to kicking now. Or no, kicking is already in the game. What am I saying? Kicking's in DS3. Sorry. My bad. Pay no attention. <laughs> Wouldn't have enough patience to beat this. I think that's why it's for the people that are like veterans of the, the normal game. Uh, probably more in the sense of the people that are like really, really like into it. Like when they play it a lot. Not just uh, like your average person that's beaten it a bunch of times, but like more, more so the enthusiasts. I didn't want to rebuff. That was my time to heal. I didn't want to rebuff. How long have we been on this boss for? Uh, probably like two and a half hours or so. Maybe a bit more. Uh, when you started this mod, did you think it would take four days to complete? I thought it would maybe take like two or three at the most, but I wasn't sure how much of the actual mod we were going to play either, right? Because I want to play it again in the future. Also, dude, BZ, thank you so much for the host, man. I did not see you when you hosted. I didn't see it show up in chat, but thank you so much, man. I see it on the recent events. Uh, if you're still here, I hope you had a good stream. The world might be mended. I'm gonna give you a shout out right after this is done. Hey Squilla, stream beam going well? Uh, Mira, thank you for the 11 months as well. It's my weapon of choice. This is the uh, Sword of War, I believe it's called, or something like that. The reason. Uh, yeah, Sword of War, yeah. Oh, he's doing that in phase two. What's going on here? And then, dude, I love I love the the the, uh, the very convenient uh, back away, like the back steps, just so like you miss even if you could hit out of getting destroyed on the other attack. He's like, I did, I did screw you, and now I'm gonna idle, but my idle's gonna go backwards, so you miss by like a foot. Just in case you thought, even on the, you know, taking damage, that you'd have a chance after. <laughs> oh man, dude. You take a break because Sword Saint's been kicking your ass, Wayward. It, that's definitely a break, boss. It's, it's kind of like, um, kind of like this, just like a, a normal <laughs> one. Though. That's a spooky sound. Wow. I'm going to let this one go. Got to Ishin three days after not playing for a year, so you're not complaining. That's pretty crazy, man. Three days after not playing for a year. If you hadn't played the game a lot, that's, that's decent. Spartan kick only run. Yeah, so you can actually do a kick only run in this. Like, the kicks do damage. Uh, just, I'm not sure how feasible that would be to actually win. But if you want to beat the base game, though, I feel like you could do a kick only. 
best design boss uh, on this mod so far, Gale, definitely. There's some other really, really good ones, but Gale is, uh, Gale is the winner. And then I think Nadir would be after that for me, and then Cinder. Restore the heals on Bonfire, you do, yeah. So it's the same thing as Estus with these vials. They just heal less. They have a different animation. Most people wouldn't have the courage to live their dream like that. Muskrat, I think it's really bold of you to make your channel Slave Night Gale Battle only channel. Most people wouldn't have the courage to live their dream like that. I know, right? I know. Uh, this is a Slave Night Gale only now. <laughs> I might as well only upload this part of the run. <laughs> Do you restore heals and bonfires? You love how even after death enemies are going crazy on the Pile of Ash? Oh yeah. It's not, it's not souls if you're not getting uh, pummeled into thin air when you're already thin air after you're dead. Uh, Egg, what's up, dude? How are you doing? That was a little bit of a sus intro. Oh, he does the kick in the first part, too. Maybe that was one of the lucky ones. again. Nice. Uh, 
turtle, thank you. I appreciate it. Doing good, Egg? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. Uh, I got Nemesis in Returnal. You're right. You just got to commit to the rogue format. The poison weapon helped you greatly. Love that game so much. It's fun, man. But like, it definitely makes you reconsider if you want to beat it or not once you've played uh, most of it and then die, for sure. Um, but yeah, that's congratulations, man. That's awesome. Okay, I need to, I need to actually go back to Firelink now really quick. That was a good attempt, though. I was a little sloppy at the beginning of the, the third part. But yeah, third part's got a... There, there's a really big opportunity in the third part that's perfect, but I need to um, not be hit by arrows before it happens, because if I can remove that and then do everything else the same, I think we can get to the fourth part pretty consistently, and then that's just a matter of uh, what, what is our health at at that point and how many heals we have left. And can we use them? Do I know how to use them? Uh, which is the hardest boss, in my opinion. In this mod, definitely Gale so far. That'd be the hardest for me. I saw one, no hit. <laughs> I saw one on this. That's pretty funny, man. How is it that you can remember where every shard chunk slab in every DS game in Bloodborne is? I don't. I don't remember any of that stuff. I don't think anybody does. I mean, some people might if they're like collectathon people, but then they wouldn't know other information necessarily if that's how they like, like to play the game. But I bet you even they forget. I've never known that ever at one point in time. Even just for like one individual game. But I've used pretty much like for DS 1 and 2, I've used all the weapons and magic. I, I'm pretty sure in PvP, like for the most part. But I can't remember where all that stuff is though. Like you forget it pretty quickly if you don't keep doing it. Uh, Moto Suit is pretty good, man. How about you? How are your holidays? Plan on fighting Madeira? I already killed Madeira right before this. So we just have to do Gale for this DLC. attack in between those. <laughs> Reverend Trail, what's up, dude? How's it going? This is a hollow overhaul mod. Does he have tears? I don't know. Find it easier to memorize all item locations, but not what item it is unless it's a bone shard. Okay. Yeah, like actually knowing what the items are, like you could, it just would be like you probably have a reason to. Casually, though, I don't know if anybody would remember that. Or at least, like, majority of people, right? 
waste too much time looking at DS3 maps, exploring with new characters, you remember a lot of the item locations. There you go. So that's why I was saying, I think it depends on how you play. Like, if you're more of a collectathon or all achievements person, you probably would remember a lot more. really cool it is it dude it's super cool i'd recommend trying it if you haven't already i have enjoyed it quite a bit so far imagine at the end gail uses tears of denial oh i would i would cry then that'd be pretty funny <laughs> tears of denial would be coming from me at that point Cringe de nail. <laughs> of the of the nail as well. Kick. I've never seen that. It's a left side, but maybe it's like more influenced by being on his left. It seems like a left side move set of some sort. Which means he has um potentially more attacks we haven't seen yet. Or that we'll see ones we haven't seen as often if I start playing a bit different. Which we don't want. I will take not that. That's two free hits there. I was like, who cares about free damage? I have free magic forever. He's got like the um, Spellcaster Senior Club card right now with all the discounts. Oh my god. Nice. Watching you die makes this look so easy, but then you remember you have no shot at beating this since you're a no hit runner dying to a boss. Watching me die makes it look easy. You mean like watching me die makes you think that it could have been done a lot easier, like that I played bad? Is that what you're saying? Or, um. Because, like, usually wouldn't it be being done well make it look easy? <laughs> okay, I see, I see. Yeah, I don't know. For me, like, if I saw this and I hadn't, um, played the game as much, I guess there wouldn't really be discrepancy. But if it was, uh, that I had seen the game before I played it, then it'd be pretty easy to tell that it's definitely different. Um, I don't think this will be a mod that a crazy amount of people will beat, but unless it gets like changed, but it, it'll be cool to see other people do it. But definitely curious to how they'll set up the character and everything. Is our weapon that we have is actually pretty good. We actually picked a decent build. It's not obviously like heavy on magic or anything, but for melee though, it's pretty decent. Because uh, we have a weapon that's not even the heaviest classification, hitting damage as if it is. Pretty much the same as the cell sword, it's just a bit slower right now, so. And, and it, like, the scaling might still go up. Might still have some more damage to get.
can't see there. Pretty much be uh, much DS3 meets Bloodborne, yes. With a little bit of uh, stuff extra. Instant transmission in the same spot to continue the 58 combo. Oh yeah, like there's a lot of that's, that's why I think that um, it's uh, it would be fun for someone that's played the game like quite a bit because uh, there's not a lot of like all your checklists of what you're actually doing is completely different. And then on top of that, the rules of which the checklists operate on are are like pushed a lot further in terms of like the limit of what is actually being done at once with AI. So it's pretty cool. It's like actually like a creative way of making it harder. Not not as much just being like unfun. At least for someone that wants like something challenging that's like more flashy. You have to learn it all over again. Ah, uh, you do, yeah, you 100% do. <laughs> um, and I think it's actually funny because you could take somebody like if they were pretty good at this kind of stuff, but they had never played Gale. I bet you a person that's never played Gale ever would have the same chance, if not a better chance, than someone that has been really good at Gale and could do it perfectly. Because being able to do Gale perfectly would almost be a curse on this, because then you'd be thinking in a mindset that won't work. So having no information versus the information that exists previous to this, like that's in the base game, might actually be better. Uh, as long as the skill is still there. Or you could learn as fast. So this is like the one where I think like knowing stuff previously would actually maybe hurt you more than it would actually help you. Kind of like Sekiro, if you're, if you're used to this game and you play Sekiro, you think that it works like this game does. Hunter's Charm stop the region, it won't, no, unfortunately. include rally mechanic they didn't know you must unlearn what you've learned yes also adam what's up how's it going adam i'm doing pretty good thank you for asking man
Nice, dude. Of course the discs. Of course the discs. So I gotta, I gotta pivot the camera, and I gotta be checking for the discs a bit more with the camera, I think, on this one. Because that's becoming a problem, too. And I also, I eat the discs on phase three a lot. It's another problem. Uh, Bobet, thanks, man. Thank you, I appreciate the belief. <laughs> phase zero is one hit away from death, maybe red tier stones in order. No, no, you take too much damage, and this is no way. <laughs> I hear what you're saying, but um, I think that like you're maybe misunderstanding like how like the level of the th the things I'm doing well that you don't see going wrong, like how likely it is to screw them up, um, or maybe even just damage I'm taking that you're missing that I'm taking. Uh, red tear stone. We would have already been dead four times like since this start or three times since it started, right? I could count probably like twelve deaths we would have had in the same fight if I started using that, and then it's like okay, are we making it there? But at the very end, let's say like we're on a good attempt and I only have a little bit of health left, yeah, that would be a good idea. Then I would want to use it. But it's only 20% in this game and that's not going to... It's not going to do as much as a boss that wouldn't heal his health back that, you know, maybe I could hit a little bit harder or stagger even. Then it would... I could capitalize on it. And I'm going to do that twice. That was really annoying. The subpar phase two. the disco out rotate around the back of him so the thing is like I, you don't really have a choice of doing that Bo, but it's not really like you decide where you can be placed in this fight he he kind of decides <laughs> so it's not as simple as just walk it's like oh you can just walk over here it's like no like there doesn't exist unless you uh absolutely have to to survive right so i can't really choose where i'm placed i just have to deal with what's going on so the best thing we can do is just uh, like see them and dodge them on the phase transition. But any other time, we're actually going to be missed by them if we're like point blank, right? If we're in front of them, it'll still it'll still happen, or at least it should. Like the other times we've seen that. But I, I wish we could do what you're saying, and it was that simple. I think even taking the time to think of that would already like have you screwing up on whatever's going on. Like, let alone actually being able to perform it, like, mechanically, right? Stayed in front there. That was bad. They knew he was a beast, hence the bonfire is right there. <laughs> well, yeah, the bonfire actually normally would be here, but I'm glad they didn't remove it. That'd be that'd be crazy. Running half an area before this guy. Oh, that, yeah. Let's not. Let, even in the regular game, let's not make that a thing.
not sure how that one came out. That's a little weird. Don't know if we're in full agreement with that one. Nice. This looks awesome. It is pretty cool. It is, it is definitely pretty cool. Is it a choice to not heal? Like, does he punish you for it? Never mind. There is the heal. <laughs> I know they look like lifesaver candy, but don't believe it. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. I choice had a child with Abyss Watchers. <laughs> it's like if Gale just decided to eat the Abyss Watchers. And everything else in the game. That Pogo looks like a Yoshimitsu attack from, uh, from Soul Calibur, actually. That, like, literally is one of his attacks. I wonder if that was from Sakura. When you thought things were cool, but you were actually a fool, and Gale made you drool from taking you to school. The feature-length film, Ask Him, in theaters. <laughs> uh, Kez Ray, what's up? How's it going? Oh boy. Does he heal? Yeah, he's constantly healing after phase two. That is what happens. See if we can beat him in the next uh, like 20 minutes or so. It works. Would have been cool. I wonder if sometimes in phase one that you actually can knock out more health than other times. It kind of looks like it sometimes. You do be seeming that way. That's also a two hit start right there. That's free. Some two hit starts I'm missing. And missing that kind of just screws it anyways. Slow, oh man. <laughs> Their face is ridiculous. The the third one is just kind of hard to see, but then you also have the timer being uh, kind of wait. The time frame is kind of screwed up because he wastes time, or he does things you can't actually punish. But then it's hard to actually see what's going on when he's doing it. So you have to kind of um, you have to be in pretty good locations on that one. You need a bigger sword? You think so? I have the Kirk hammer, but it's a little bit less damage though. Look at that fat RTSR Kirkhammer. Let's go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no SS Flask in this mod. Um, you have uh, vials, which are basically the same thing, but you just heal less, though, when you try to heal. And the animation's a bit different. Try the Kirkhammer for fun, see what happens. Like, the regular attack is really, really slow. One hand is a little bit quicker. I 
383. It's not as good. It might stagger him a bit more, though. Because it hits like 380 something, and then the other the other sword hits more. It's a little quicker too. Scale a werewolf creature or just weird? Um, he's a cannibal, as far as I know. I think I'm pretty sure he ate, he ate the dark soul, or that or he's consumed by the dark soul, and then so he's eaten a lot of people. <laughs> but I, I don't think he's a beast though, or anything like that. He he was a human originally. feel poison resins even if poison knives didn't work well the thing is po if poison resin um, would work then poison knives would actually work even better because you can hit poison damage quicker with poison knives right Let's so I, I don't believe there's like any the possible way to poison them uh, otherwise like the the most surefire way would be so using the, the knives uh, hitting with poison resin takes longer usually this and you can you can spam the throwing knives really trial. fast so I don't know if that's a thing for the main game. I haven't used them in the main game, as far as I remember. But you can throw the knives extremely quick, like quicker than you can actually hit with the weapon. And each bit of poison they inflict, even if it was less, it would still be quicker than uh, the rate of poison with the weapon. So, plus that weapon's hitting twice the value every attack. Because it like has some special double hit thing, but yeah, it's still... It would have been possible with the, the knives. Like, unless they made a mistake programming it and they literally made the knives not possible, but they wanted to and they forgot to actually update it. Like, that'd be, that'd be the only way I can think about it. I don't think by design they'd make the knives not work and then poison resin work, but then put knives in the game. You know? You see him as a frail dude, then you fight him and he's a beast. Yeah, I think that, um... I think he just like consumes a lot of uh, souls of people and then just kind of, I don't even know, I think he like, did, didn't he like hurt this dude that's crawling across the desert or the guy that you see in the beginning? Can he be parried? I would imagine no. Um, like normally he's not parryable, but I don't know why they would add him being parryable in this for any reason if they already made it like this hard. It's kind of... Kind of shows they made it that hard just because they think that you should struggle more than normal, but um, yeah, who knows? I don't even know how I would even manage to start thinking about pairing up this. More difficult than Dragon Matter? Oh yeah, way more difficult than Dragon Matter. Have a good sleep. I'll see you later, man. Looks like I'm struggling as much as you did in your first plate time fighting Gale. There you go. Isn't the sword hitting 273? Uh, with the buff on like a regular attack that's not defended against, it's like 403, I believe. But I can double check and see. I think it depends on the part. But yeah, it depends on um, counter damage, uh, one handed versus two handed versus uh, rolling attack. And the buffs of 404 is what we're hitting. 
but that's with less stamina costs, and that's quicker too. So DPS-wise, this definitely is a little bit better. Discs again. That was a really low. That was a low face uh, two there. Healing by attacking right after getting hit. Also, in this mod, it's not unfortunately no. There is no rally yet. Thought about getting Dark Souls or Bloodborne. Uh, the board games decided you like being married more. <laughs> Those board games apparently are like collectible. Now, I, I the one um, I think it was the original. DS board game. I think it, it was like 270 bucks when I checked. You can you can play them on Tabletop Simulator on Steam for like whatever the price of Tabletop is. Like there's a free extension for it. Or, um, I guess like a free version of it on there. Do the father move? He does father owl moves. Yeah, he does. He does like a lot of different stuff. He knows karate, man. We'll just say that. You've learned how to play Tabletop Simulator? Uh, it's kind of weird, actually, but you can do a lot of stuff on it. You can technically watch streams on it, too. Or, like, whatever. Like, there's, like, an iPad on it. You can, you can use the iPad on the game to, like, use the internet on the iPad, which is really weird. So I think the weirdest thing I did on there is just watch my own channel <laughs> while we were actually playing it. Going flying. We going flying. Of course, a disc. Yep. Let's see what other range things can do from this. The lightning does quite a bit on that, actually. when you get too far away. No, I was thinking like maybe if you just cast that thing over and over again. There's the, the 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 way that this seems to be conducted the best is not trying to use any kind of strategy other than just like being very aggressive. Like you kind of you don't you don't really have time for a lot of stuff on this one. Uh Toka Toka Tokatado, what's up? Man? I'm not sure if I said your name right. It's going pretty good. How are you? Finish the master, and I haven't, Peter. No, no, we haven't actually done a lot of it super recently, but keep going back to it when this is done.
recovering well from New Year's. Still, sorry, you're well, you're recovering from New Year's. Nice. Good luck with your recovery. I was banking on that not happening. So like there's some there's some things like I guess we could not wager on that, but it wasn't the greatest attempt anyways, so <sighs> don't think just fight. Yes, that's exactly the best way to put it. Well you still want to think a little bit, but you don't wanna <laughs> you don't wanna think too much on this one. You throw a giant stone, it's uh it's like a debuff, so basically you can't heal if you get hit by that. It's like a little explodey thing with a pod. Here, what's up? What's going on, by the way? How are you doing? But they still trying to attack. Oh, man. It's funny because I'm going to like end the fight and he'll start doing an attack and it'll it'll come like I'll, it'll hit me tomorrow. It'll, it'll still be going tomorrow. That's how big of delays we have here. was the carving stone that'd be hilarious like middle of the fight and then all you just see is like the arch stone carving. it's like thank you <laughs> very good just like in the middle of the fight <laughs> oh no i would cry at that point too that'd be bad uh. Ooh, trying to heal. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, man. <laughs> Imagine Gale throwing dung pies every time he kills you. Be so funny, man. Insane, yeah, I know. <laughs> Surprise, no one has made a mod making the custom stones and get good. <sighs> it's like, good, good. <laughs> oh, we could make our own. There you go. Let's record it. Feet Campbell help you anything, so 
being on the incline looked like it worked better. It was actually really dangerous being on the incline there. That was scary. But I mean, in that area, at least uh, we're not going to run into an object, right? Got stuck on the chairs a couple times. Oh, we put, we put the wrong ring back on. I'm silly, man. Oops. That'll help a little bit, at least. Although, we needed that full health, so... I'll help him around full health, which is, like, never so... Might be worth changing the setup on that. He's like, I want a kick. I'm not really sure how the lightning thing works in the sense of like, where do you go when that happens? Really? I don't know. Never knew about this game. What's this game about? Uh, DS3. Uh, you're basically just trying to uh, kill a bunch of bad dudes that are bosses and uh, basically link the fire. The fire is like a thing that indicates like a cycle of life, I guess, in the, the game world. And um, there are people that you have to kill that are called Lords of Cinder. You have to put the cinders in their throne. And that's basically it in a very, very short explanation without getting too complicated. But it kind of is more complicated than that. Um, and you're cursed by the dark side which allows you to respawn. That's the best way I can put it. There's a lot more story than that, but I can't explain it in a short uh, sentence, unfortunately. And then this mod basically just takes another game that's similar and combines the elements of that game with the base game, and modifies a lot of base game stuff. Uh, Boris, why must? Well, I mean, like, the entire uh, playthrough has something. Like, uh, there's nothing that's completely untouched that I've seen so far. Like, there's there's something small, at least on everything. But if you're asking why did they do this much, I think I think they wanted this to be, like, the hardest thing in the, the mod so far, at least from the look of it. They wanted it to be, like, a big finish. That's what it seems like. doing the kick twice there come on no, no two kicks thoughts on green bananas not a fan if you say you like green bananas we said we can't be friends <laughs> the lore is pretty simple there's this dark souls thingamajig that grants people humanity which basically which is basically consciousness and also hyphen interesting now yeah that's you could add that too Green bananas like children, lots of potential. Just need to be patient, wait for them to be ready. <laughs> you do enjoy the green bananas, we said. You, why, what, like, what? But do you like regular ones, or do you just like green ones? It's the Elden Ring health bar. I think it's the Bloodborne health bar, but... Um, they might be similar. You like ripe as well? Okay, well, as long as you like normal ones too, then I have no problem with that. If you only like the green ones and you didn't like the ripe ones, I wonder exactly what it is about the bananas that are interesting, because like, definitely the flavor changes quite a bit, right? It's less sweeter if it's uh, not green. Let's 
Strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. It's been a while, Spilla. I'm a bit unhappy that I missed the rest of the mod, but I hope you've had fun. I'll have to catch the bot at some point. They're like, you were thinking of healing, but you're not allowed to, though. Not allowed to. Pi, thank you for the 40 months. Welcome back. Why'd you go with that sword? Which is it? It's called the Sword of War. Uh, why? It, it seemed to be pretty good, and it had a cool weapon art on it, and then uh, ended up actually doing pretty good damage once I increased the upgrades on it. Banana bread at work. Your work gave you banana bread, really? Is that what we're getting at? Uh, Scrum, I'm doing pretty good. How are you, man? Do any fast hitting weapons? So that's not really my issue, unfortunately. It's just, um,. Simply uh, playing good enough. Like, uh, a quicker weapon wouldn't actually help me here. My weapon actually is really good for this. It's just mainly like my performance in the fight overall. It's gonna be a bit better. This weapon's actually incredibly good. It hits like 638 AR on a, on a mid speed attack weapon. It's pretty damn good. And for a mod too, that already decreases a lot of the uh, your ability to kill things. Super delay. I knew he was doing that, but I didn't set up for it, right? Would it even be possible to do this damage, Bliss? You could, but like, would someone do it? Probably not by choice. Um, <laughs> is it theoretically possible? I'm pretty sure everything we've done so far is, except I don't know about Dragon Rider, because Dragon Rider, you take damage from the flames even if um, you don't try to engage with him sometimes because they appear behind you, so I don't know how that would work really. Um, but this one, I think you could do perfectly. It would just be really hard, though. Uh, Dish, thanks, man. So the one-handed run on YouTube. What the <laughs> love? Thanks, I appreciate that. Yeah, it'd be cool to add some more games to that playlist soon. You still have to do demon songs like that.
little bit late on that. If I frames with the quick step, I do get. Yeah. Next challenge is hollow overhaul damage. That's not quite no. <laughs> that's a that's a good one though. That's funny. Oh, it's that sword. Um, from what you read on the Discord, the weapon art for your weapon is meant to be really OP. It is, yeah, it's pretty good. I've been using it a lot. It just takes forever to use. Why don't you heal? Um, I kinda can't. <laughs> if like if you saw me and I wasn't healing, it's because there's not really a reason to. Because uh, it won't work. I don't think there's uh, there's not a lot of times on this that I didn't heal when I should have that I, when I could have. It's just a accessibility thing, right? That was, that was obvious, I don't know why I did that. That was not obvious, but it made up for it. Nice. No, it's actually just my network, uh, Dark. Unfortunately, sorry about that, guys. What does Sekiro move do? Cancel uh, heals. The Sekiro move. Um... Wait, what do, what do you mean by that? Oh yeah, oh sorry, the Father Owl move. Yeah, uh, it does it does cancel heals. Sorry, it's a debuff. My bad. I thought you meant like something I could do. I was like, what? I was like, I can I can cancel heals? Yeah, we'll redo that one, that was pretty bad. Yeah, the ball is uh is a debuff. You have an idea of how to win? There should be a power button on the PC somewhere. Try hitting that, see if it works. I will be soon. I will be soon. Actually, no, I won't because I still have to upload the other stuff. So, yeah, we'll be definitely finishing this up soon. Coming back tomorrow. I said 20 minutes, it's been 30. So, usually my just one more lasts for an hour or so at the max. So, we'll see. We'll see where it takes us. He has enough to transition now, but he wasn't though. That's super weird. Fix your net. Can't, unfortunately, man. Sometimes it just does that. Even in a regular game, it's a boss you can never beat. Gale, I think you, I think that everyone here could beat Gale normally. I think it would take quite a bit of effort to do it this way, but definitely I think everybody could beat Gale. me all the hits if you can beat gale anybody can anybody literally could that has a method to actually do the inputs for sure Oh. 
that. The scene drops every time Gale gets close. <laughs> it's him. It's Gale. That's funny. It's pretty good timing anyways, though. I think we'll try a few more times. We'll see if we, we'll see if we can get uh, two more phase twos, at least. Dark Beast Carl. Dude, I hope they implement Carl and Cone Carl. That'd be awesome. I think I'm gonna beat him today. I think there's a there's a low chance today, but. I can still probably do it, it's just, uh, it's not super likely if we're only gonna do it three more times. Or, sorry, two more good phase twos. There's a little kick in there for no reason. Both staggering bosses in Bloodborne, then ripping their guts up for a third of HP. I know, yeah, I wish you could do it on this. Yeah, super. I'm glad they I'm glad they did it this way. It's really cool. I wonder, but the thing is, like, for me, like, if someone was gonna claim, like, they would be doing a lot more stuff to the mod, I'm not sure what else they would do. At least from what I've played so far. Like, at least without changing the idea, because, like, there's only so many more things from Bloodborne that would actually matter a lot, right? Terrible start, we're gonna throw that one. Nice. Balance between all systems and Elden Ring. It definitely does seem like Elden Ring, it's like not really relative to the other games and then also very relative at the same time. It's kind of hard to explain. It's definitely like a very different game, but a lot of like cool stuff that you probably enjoyed that is uh, put into it.
Hmm. So somehow my body, like the character's body, staggered him as he landed there. That was weird. <laughs> get them, get him stuck in the time loop. Yeah, we need the time loop, dude. The time loop would be good. Demon Souls have a DLC. It doesn't, unfortunately, no. Chandra with the door shields? I haven't, no. Okay. Ooh, I feel angry. See, I wish we had more of this attack. That's fine. I'm okay with that one. I'm actually missing one attack in that, too. Do try poison at some point? Yeah, it doesn't work, unfortunately. Alright, I'm gonna have to try harder than that, man. If we could just make every single attempt my best attempt, or if we can make my best attempt my average attempt, then this is gonna this is gonna be pretty quick. The best attempts are few and far between. Yeah, that like that that and that uh lightning. I don't know about that. That's the only thing that's weird so far. It's because I don't know if you can actually like if that's avoidable or not. If it is, then it's fine. But like, there's nowhere to physically stand to avoid it. Like it's just the radius is too big. You can't actually reach a place where you're safe. You'd have to actually iframe it. But I don't know if like the um the overlap on that is like really really big. And it, like lingers. That's what it seems like. Try a nuclear bomb, that might actually help a little bit. It's very possible.
<laughs> He's a kick anyways. Okay. Yeah, so here, big light. Yeah, you get staggered regardless, so I don't know. It's kind of weird. Kick still, yep. We love the kick, yeah. Loves the kick. Kick a signature. Nope, couldn't see. That was a good attempt, though. It's pretty good. Don't like invisible go. Yeah, it, it makes it harder to kind of like not only just hit him, but like you have no idea what's going on. So think of it kind of like as if you were locked off on princes by them glitching on a chair every single time he teleports. There's no way to know where he's going to pop up. You can't see the animation in time because you can't look where you know he's going to be because you don't know where he's going to be. And then the animation actually only is visible once it's already hitting you. So you'd actually have to be pretty lucky with the camera angle, I think. That's a little... I don't know, I would probably change that. I'd make him visible sooner, just so you can know, like you can locate him with the camera first, because the lock-on's kind of scuffed, so. That's the only issue there. We'll try one more time, we'll do one more. Let's get some more buffs. For next time, as well. Does Gale heal? He's constantly healing after phase two, so his health just goes back up every second or so, or every couple seconds. Another hour? No, not another hour. <laughs> it's a good mod for noobs like a noob like you. Uh, I don't know, man. Um, just go to the modded playlist, exclamation point playlist. Check it out. Check out all the stuff we've done and decide maybe just by looking at it, seeing if you like it. Um, maybe a randomizer would be fun for you. If you don't want something that's like super, super hard. crazy because I don't even know like his resistance like to even use resistance against him too like he is not really doing a particular type of damage other than maybe the lightning but that's not like even amounting to a crazy amount at all so that's like a little tiny bit of damage what's going on Hambo play through the game unmodded then go into mods yeah, I think the person was asking like if you're not as good at the game maybe but yeah, if you played it once, then I think a randomizer would be fun. Um, trying to think of like what else. Cinder's mod may be possible, like that might be okay. But you'd probably spend a long time on it just because it's very, very different than the base game. So any amount of time you can save is really just from knowing stuff about the base game that's still the same or kind of close. Like the areas and the way they, they roughly are laid out. But even then, that's still changed a bit. So I think um, that's definitely easier than this, but it might be a little tricky still.
Okay, there's the <laughs> the little the little projectiles. Nice. Ooh, okay, I am going to call it at that. We'll make this. Uh, I guess it'll be so. Part one is already uploading to YouTube of this run. Um, it's going to be about ten hours. Part two will probably be another. 11 to 12 maybe and then part three i'm assuming we're gonna need another like probably 10 hours for the other dlc too or something like that so i'll probably do it in like three major parts the total playthrough time i'm aiming for now is about 30 hours uh and then yeah so just stay tuned for like the bits of it uploading to youtube here's the link if you want to know when it's there here's the instagram here's the youtube or the sorry the twitter and i'm gonna find someone we can host and surprise thank you so much for enjoying the stream today guys um also for anybody that contributed to the charity uh so far through us doing this uh thank you for helping us raise money for charity too i'm just gonna double check again to make sure the campaign on that is not been updated at all if i didn't miss anything oh i, I think i did uh psycho uh, i don't i can't even see the rest of the name psycho gifted uh 20 to the charity thank you man thank you for donating 20 bucks so we're at uh, 1780 now, getting close to 3600 total. We're at, uh, I guess it would be um, 3760 in total. So I appreciate that. That's awesome.